If I were a mighty wind, I'd blow away all the sorrow. If I were a mighty wind, I'd blow it all away tomorrow. I'd come rushing down the mountain without a word of warning. Rushing through the mountain if I were a mighty wind. If I were a mighty flood, I'd wash away all the sorrow. If I were a mighty flood, I'd wash it all. If I were a mighty wind, I'd blow away all the sorrow. And if I were a mighty wind, I'd blow it all away tomorrow. I'd come rushing down the mountain without a word of warning. Rushing through the mountains in a mighty, mighty wind. Rushing down the mountain without a word of warning. Rushing down the mountains. Of my
name is Zing Black. Got your hands up on your hips like a pin up in that fit. I be lying to my lips, say anything to see a dip. Drop a low, let it show. Do your thing out on the phone. I'ma count to one, two, three, call us on the phone. I'm better when I'm with you. I feel it in my blood.
can feel it coming Thunder about to rush in Can you feel the buzzing? Can you feel the humming? Like the top down on a 65 What a time to be alive You can't stop this hurricane It's in our blood, it's in our veins Drops, kicking off the groove like a Friday night at Bonnaroo. You can't stop this hurricane. It's in our blood, it's in our veins. We're gonna be running wild. Adrenaline running high. Can't hold us down, down. No stopping us now. Mi na 
nam ya wolo lo la ni gba mi nam ya vola ni gba jilo mi nam ya vola ni gba jilo nti fa fa nti fa fa nti fa fa de nti fa fa nti fa fa nti fa fa de In a vast world, a unique challenge begins. Competitors come together, exploring unknown lands, remote places, forgotten back alleys. They seek hidden secrets, driven by a love of learning. Embracing the joy of discovery, they create a shared future. In this great contest, new stories unfold and heroes are born. Together, they master the art of finding anything anywhere. Welcome to the GeoGuessr World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome to the GeoGuessr World Cup. We started yesterday with 24 players from around the world, representing their nation and representing their skills in an incredible contest. We are down to just eight. But fortunately, we still have our entire broadcast crew here to take you through the action. We're so excited to be joining you for this groundbreaking event, and we're honored to have you watching. My name is Rachel, aka Seltzer. I'm your host, and joining me at the desk today, I've got Geo and Bloom, who are helping me analyze the games. Now, both of you, we had a very exciting weekend of matches. How are you feeling coming into today? It is going to be wild. Seeing everybody actually in here in the stadium, we didn't have a full audience yesterday or anything like that. It makes it feel so real. Yeah, I'm so excited to have an audience behind us. How is everybody? What's going on? Oh. So sure. excited to have everyone. Everyone played so great yesterday, and we're down to an incredible top eight. Excellently said. And if you weren't able to join us yesterday, we do have a quick look back and a look ahead, too. Let's take a look at the tournament format see how our players have been playing to achieve what they have achieved. Taking a look here at the group stage, we divided them into A, B, C, and D, Bloom, and they have narrowed themselves down. They sure have. It was a battle to write home about. It was beautiful, and everyone played so well at the end of the day, but we've got left 
only eight players. Absolutely, and we threw three different game modes at them, Geo, taking a look at what they are. Whew. We started everybody off on move. Yeah, each of our games were a best of three, so you could start things off on move, go into no move, and if you made it through into the third round of the best of three, that's when we had our NMPZ, which is arguably one of the most stressful or the most stressful game type. We saw quite a lot of that actually yesterday. Yeah, we were lucky enough to make it to those final games, and it was thrilling throughout. All of our players brought so much skill to the table, and I'm proud to have them back in the studio today supporting our remaining players. We've got wonderful people here, and uh, we've got a big audience as well. Welcome once again. We want to just make sure you guys at home know that they're all here. And all y'all at home, you're in good company. Now, let's take a look at the action from yesterday to catch us all up. It's going to fight. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> it was oh, Brazil. It's Brazil. Oh, my God. And Illox on it. That's massive damage. That's AK. Well, that's that's a win here. Hey. Anyway, everybody at home, I, do, also, I like, think that's you the know, situation. You, you really find out I haven't got any confirmation moment. yet, but I do think that'd be really awkward. That's that's <laughs> well, super awkward, yeah, because the way you said it, Paula, it sounded like you got some information. <laughs> but it was a good, a good narrative, right? <laughs> it was Maybe like, let's yeah. Up close. They're, They're both so the close. Same road. They're on the same road. There will be damage taken. Five seconds. Oh my god. Three. Time's taken down. Two. He's gonna lock it in. One. Triple. Wait. He five Wait. K. What? If it's near the lake and Debris right, it is. Oh my god. And he's 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 flabbergasted. There's no way. You saw them there in our recap. Let's take a look at those groups once again, see who played who. We have our four players emerging at the top of the groups there, Bloom, and they moved right on into the quarterfinals. But tell me a little bit about these two we see underneath them. Yeah, we, we sure did. They did incredibly well. Underneath, though, we have Zigzag and uh, Traboda going through, as well as uh, Lenly and Fungus, it should be a great set of matches coming up here, but Blinky and Consus winning every single game in their groups, insanely impressive. Yeah, we saw some names even on the on the groups here that didn't make it through that we're all pretty surprised by, but with such a field of talent, Gio, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, I think the big one that was the topic of conversation yesterday had to be Harmless, because going into group D, the group of death so called, Harmless and Blinky were the two that everybody was looking at, and Harmless not even making it into that top three, I think I took, I think, took everybody by surprise. It definitely did. Harmless, a fan favorite. We love him, show all the love. He still played incredibly. Lenly did make it through from that group uh, as well, and uh, he's gonna do great as well. Yeah, keyword there, Bloom, love. Uh, yeah. So many scenes, you saw a little bit in the recap, we saw it way more in the studio. These players eliminating each other, still going in for the hugs, the handshakes, the camaraderie. You see them all in the studio, still supporting the show and supporting each other. So we love to see it here. Of course, we don't love to see those knockouts, but that's exactly what we saw at the end of the day yesterday here. Some big names did fall, Gio. Yeah, you know, it got really um, it got really intense, actually, you know, in the studio, watching everything happen. Uh, obviously, here are four games that we had. I mean, I think that Lenly versus Jupa one, that was one that we spoke on the desk about it, potentially being one of the harder ones. Jupa had played absolutely incredibly, has an amazing reputation. So for it to come out in a 2-0, again, just super impressive. Yeah, seriously, Lenly coming in, considered a little bit of an underdog and absolutely killing it making it through. Absolutely, got to shout out Trabota there too, coming in over to Podic in a nail biter of a match. Yeah. I would say if, if I had to pick a game from yesterday to go back and watch, that that would definitely be my choice. But. Yeah, that one, I, I just remember like at the end, every, like no one really knew which way it was gonna go. Yeah, but Trabota coming out, getting the, getting the NMPZ five case, it's almost like he's better without moving, panning or zooming. <laughs> well, that's all that was behind us from yesterday. Let's take a look at what's ahead. It's that prize pool. It's going home with somebody today. 15,000.
thousand dollars for first place and something pretty cool for Mission Impossible as well. Yeah, you know, these players are going to get to go through the streets in, a, in, in Italy in a vintage Italian car. They can pilot a helicopter. They get to go on a boat. All these crazy things which none of us get to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd pilot a helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> but here's my question. <laughs> uh, Italian speed car or would you for like an hour just want to drive the Google Maps car? Oh. I, which, which country would you pick that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't black car, white courage. car? That's a good question. Oh, man. Yeah, I'd, I'd, do, the, I'd do the black car. Nice. Um, oh, mm -hmm. And I'd finish up Latin America. That's Beautiful. Get Paraguay. Why not? <laughs> I'd well, go to Antarctica, where all those roads are. All those roads. Mm -hmm. You've got to watch out for the penguins. Yeah, well, yeah. Tragic stuff down there. But you know what? No tragic stuff here. Only the best stuff for you. We took a little look around Stockholm with Paula and Rainbow. Let's check it out. All right, Paula, yeah. I know last time, or qualities, your gear your knowledge wasn't really there. Let's no. be honest, okay? So today, I think we should just basically learn the globe, go through a couple countries, and at least learn the basics for, for at least the... Yeah, the I'm down, bro. Thing. That's why I'm here. All right, shall we? I brought a globe. You brought a globe, yeah. yeah. Do you know where... Um, should we go look at, like, yeah. some other stuff? Um, yeah, you wanna, what do you want to look at? Wait here for a sec, I'm just gonna... I'm waiting here. Paula's getting something. I don't think you like the globe. Oh. He's back. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I left. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I left the store for a sec. Mongolia. Roof rack. Roof rack? Roof rack. What's that? It's like the car. People street your car. All it is is maps, right? Yeah, it is just maps. For sure. Shout out to Google, though, for sure. That's my guy. <laughs> Salzburg City. You know where that one is? Uh, somewhere in Germany. Sure. GeoGuessr through the ages. We pay artists to create a rendition of the world in a certain time period. And then you guys have to go back through time. That would be the tagline. Back through time. Yeah. That was, a, that was a good joke, I think. No, it was, yeah, good. It was good. good. Maybe we should buy you a poster. Uh, yeah, what kind of poster do we want? I can teach you tips about them. Actually, Loki. Look at this one. This is a. What is that? Is that a, is that Earth or is that like? That's the Antarctica. Okay. It looks otherworldly to me. It does. This is all South America, Latin America. Brazil. Caribbean. These are countries on. Have you seen the latest Fast and Furious film? I haven't. Have you seen the earlier one where Vin Diesel says? I've never seen Fast and Furious. Brazil. Okay. Brazil. Do you think you'll always live? Only water, protein shakes. And GeoGuessr. Do you think I could become the next best? Like realistically, guesser? like being like transparent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I give you like eight months. Like, <laughs> eight wait, months? You're not committed to eight months. Maybe six. Are we skipping dinner? Um. Whatever. Let's 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 come back to that another yeah. time. Let's take a look at more of these um these knickknacks. Like, what is this thing? Yeah. This sounds life. like a bad like Gen Z trend. Boat life. Yeah, blue ass water. Blue ass water, dude. Can you reference anyone? Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Google. That's my guy. <laughs> Have you ever met Google? All right, Trevor. One place that I want to be caught up on is Andorra. I know you love Andorra, so okay. um, yeah. Any details? Anything? Yeah. Just yeah. So Andorra. Most people don't really recognize Andorra or like know really what Andorra is. But Andorra is a pretty small country in between Spain and France. But the biggest thing to tell it's if it's Andorra is this thing called Andorra brick. Or um, it's like very distinct brick. They have like, you know, Andorra brick everywhere you see. It's a very small. I'm gonna put a thing to do, so I'm just gonna. Uh, but I'll be right back. Okay, for sure. Yeah, so just keep telling them about Andorra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you'll be back? I'll be back. You'll be back? Yeah. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Peace, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Andorra brick is, uh, you know, and it's a very small country, so if you recognize Andorra brick, it's, it's pretty nice. Some people say Paula's still out there, <laughs> just walking. 
Just searching. Maybe we'll find him eventually. I feel like that could go to like a film festival. Oh, <laughs> it's easily. It's not that like kind of vibe. Yeah, that was, that was beautifully done and uh, I think a little bit educational there. Yeah. You a bit. Learned something about Andorra Brick, I guess. Yeah. Good to know about Andorra No, actually, Brick. actually, he didn't tell you anything about it. He just told you it existed. So you didn't learn anything. That's it's true. red. Oh, yeah, he did say that. You know, there's a lot more facts <laughs> besides just Andorra Brick that you got to know, I imagine, to be a, a pro geogasser. But, you know, it's so generous of Rainbow to share them with us. So mm-hmm. generous, in fact, of you as well, Bloom, to come out and oh. uh, share your knowledge with us throughout the community. Thank now, you, thank you. what can you tell us about Andorra and Brick? Andorra and Brick? It's like gray and brownish and if they're now they're Paula's right big. that is enough of that yeah. alright let's focus <laughs> on our I'll first <laughs> match coming up here we've got Debra versus Fungus coming to the stage now uh, this as I understand it huge opportunity for these players to be playing in front of a big audience like this good morning everybody <laughs> on a stage some of them revealing their face and their name for the first time so what do you think we're going to see in this first match up here Bloom yeah Definitely a lot of pressure for a lot of these players. A lot of Geogaster player, players are quite private, and this is definitely a big event, but everyone's killing it, doing well, showing out, and uh, doing a great job, and I think we have a very exciting first matchup in our quarterfinals. I think the thing that I'm looking forward to with this first matchup is the fact that we have a player who has shown a ton of outward confidence in Debre, but then Fungus, who seems to just be so calm. He's so calm about everything. And so I think that when you're talking about these being some of the players' first opportunities to actually play on a stage, it's the first land that we've had here in GeoGuessr, which players could you pick that would be better options than Debre and Fungus to kind of actually own the stage? I think they are two of the best, because Debre does have that confidence, I think probably the most out of any of our players here. Um, and Fungus, yeah, just such a humble, great guy. Um, but both comfortable on stage and so far, and seems like they're going to do a great job. All right, well, let's make them a little bit more comfortable. We're going to throw it down to Paula to bring out our first two players. Having so many people behind me supporting me, um, it really helps with uh, the mental going through the tournament. Uh, it's, uh, it's really nice. <laughs> Hopefully pretty far. Hopefully I'm not going to lose right out of the gate. That would be pretty nice. While I can picture myself winning the thing, I know it's quite, you know, the difference in skill is there. I'm, I'm nervous, but I think I can make it through. <laughs> what is going on, Geo Guesser? You know what time it is. It is time for our first top eight matchup, and I need you all to make some noise. Are you ready? <laughs> all right, give it up for our first two competitors, Debre and Fungus! Gentlemen, first things first, how does it feel to walk in front of this crowd? Debre, you? Good. <laughs> Simple and sweet. Fungus? All right, there's so many people. It's so great to see everybody, yeah. Wicked. Are either of you feeling any nerves? Debre, you've been like a, ma- a menace to the camera, so I imagine you're feeling quite confident still? Yes. <laughs> okay, Fungus, what about yourself? Yeah, I'm somewhat confident, somewhat nervous. A bit of both. All right, well, I wish you both the best of luck. Is there anything you'd like to say before you step into the arena? No. All right, man, a few words. Fungus? No. Everybody in this room, before they step into that server, one last time, make some noise! Uh, the players are definitely eSports, but this audience is something that eSports wishes it had at every event. So excited to have them here. I know our players actually seemed pretty joyful to step out on the stage and see all these smiling faces. I think after yesterday, everybody's attitude seemed to be actually pretty good. Like all the spirits were high. There wasn't anybody who seemed to go home after yesterday being like, oh my God, I can't, I don't want to do tomorrow. So it doesn't surprise me too much that they're feeling that, but maybe as soon as they turn the PCs on, things are going to change. Yeah, we'll see. I, I loved seeing Debre with the one word answers. Seems like a <laughs> not too surprised. Bit of a switch from yesterday <laughs> where is. he was sharing a lot of great insights. And I do have to shout out excellent style. Everybody's rocking their Geo Guesser World Cup jerseys. Everybody looks 
darn good. What do you think? Oh yeah, the jerseys are incredible. I loved seeing them. They're great. I, there isn't one for my country that's going to be on the stage today, though. So I'm terribly sorry gutted. about that. There's two. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. What? Oh, my USA boys are gone, too. No, this is terrible. I have to pick a new country to align with immediately. That's right, because Launders is going to be happy. Oh, well, really that's good. Yeah. We've got Canadians in here for Launders. We've got a whole suite of wonderful players still left. But, of course, they are narrowing themselves down. We talked yesterday. Everybody got $200 per win in the groups. We have a lot of our players feeling real good, like they earned some real good facts. What, what is he giggling about there, Bloom? I think I missed it. What? Yeah, he's just a happy guy. That's... <laughs> That'll do. I don't trust it. <laughs> no, me neither. <laughs> but I do trust these two players to find their way around the map. We're gonna be seeing them in three different, well, two different game modes, maybe three if we're lucky. We saw a lot of great gameplay from both of them throughout yesterday. Did either of them establish a preference, a strongest suit here playing on land? I think Debray is definitely one of, if not the strongest NMPZ player here, maybe tied with Shirboda. So if they get to NMPZ, I think that's going to be really exciting. Debray's going to show some serious skill. That's probably actually a really good advantage to have, right? Because you have that, as long as you can get one round down, if you know that you're, if you go into the actual third round of the best of three, that you have the advantage, there's no way that you're going to be feeling, you know, really particularly worried about that. I will say though, that one thing that actually won a game for Fungus yesterday was that the final round was in Canada. And that he nailed it because of that. So if there's any Canadian rounds that come up in the NMPZ, if we are to get there, maybe see a similar situation. Yeah, I think that could be really good for him, especially considering how big Canada is with the multipliers racked up that big. Definitely a big help if he gets a Canada round. Well, our players dig an opportunity to kind of wrap up a little early last night. I know some of them said they were going to study, do some flashcards. Anything that you got the sense they were focusing in on? Anything you noticed yesterday that was tripping up some of our players? I don't think I noticed anything specifically. I think most of our players yesterday all were getting most of the countries correct. It just came down to region guessing within those countries, things like that, those small intricacies that are harder sometimes to get down. Yeah, I think a couple of them said that they were going to go and have a look back at specific countries and specific regions, but no one was kind of like, oh, I have this huge gap in my skill. And I wouldn't be here if that were the case. Well, let's see if they're feeling the same way. We know our casters are ready. We know our players are ready. So far be it from me to stand between you and games. Let's get on into it. Thank you so much, Seltzer. What's going on, Stockholm? <laughs> me and Trevor here, Rainbow to fan favorite, ready to cast some games. The first crowd, you guys are the first crowd for a GeoGuessr event, a World Cup of this magnitude, this level of production, and it's all coming to you here in Stockholm. This surely won't be the last one. I hope not. Yeah, definitely not. We're, this is going to be a continuous thing. And looking at this crowd out here is actually, any Juicer player looking at this is just insane. It's how far we've come over the past one, two years. It's, uh, it's quite amazing to see in person. And shout out to everyone for coming. And uh, I'm hoping for a really, really fun tourney today. I thought the last funny eSport that we were going to get was Farming Simulator, but GeoGuessr <laughs> takes the cake, baby. Google Maps. Yeah, Google Maps. Speed running Google Maps. And it, it creates incredible moments where you have something that everybody understands, but only these players understand to this level of detail. The speed at which they, they find these locations, the NMPZ rounds where they can't look around. It has been absolutely incredible moment. So let's get into it and bring some energy here for Debre and Fungus. Let's do it, let's do it. There's no reason for anybody to be nervous here. No reason at all, especially in this country right here. Game one of the night. Let's do it, round one, Debre versus Fungus moving. Looks like we are gonna be in France immediately here. Not sure what player has an advantage as we start. They're both gonna start moving. The question is, is what is Debre and Fungus's both method here? Yeah, he's Debray quick to zoom, the map. Yep, zooming in on his time immediately. Looks like it's gonna be Belgium actually, ratio. These Belgian <laughs> houses and Belgian, Belgian poles are gonna be a very, very, very- Fungus Belgian really going thing. for his troll. Seeing a different level of focus from him today. He was definitely a little frustrated yesterday at the, at the last game, not getting any North America. But here, a bit more confident with the yep. Belgium pick, and they're both right beside each other. So yep. a touch of chip damage here, but not too, nothing, nothing too, too crazy. serious. Only 57 points going into round two. I mean, we saw yesterday with the multis and how the multis really mattered going into this. Yep. You know, some people going into this were more worried about the 10-round the limit and how that would affect the game. But in, real, in reality, like, it very rarely ever even went to 10 rounds because of these multis and how mm -hmm. damaging they were. But, you know, consistency does win. And um, as we're going to be in round two here, I can confidently say this is South Africa, not France. And um, we do have the yellow outer lines. Both players will know this. The question is, who has the bigger region guess here in South Africa? 
I think it's time to get into it. Round two. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's kick it off. Debray put on the pressure in the on the first day of games with a lot of very, very fast picks. And uh, Fungus, of course, he's one of the reasons that uh, Harmless couldn't qualify to top eight. So a couple yep. of big wins for him. Played insanely well yesterday. Both players moving here. The region here uh, with these mountains, they're probably going pretty south here. Moving, it looks like they're on like a, some sort of like something to, what, to read. I've got a lot of text. Yep, a lot of text that I can't read. We got Debray zooming in uh, just west of Lestutu here. Fungus has yet to move, I don't think. Okay, here he starts moving a little bit west here. What do you think he's looking for? He's trying to maybe get to that same checkpoint. Yeah, probably find a sign, see some information. Debray is, has a guess in six seconds left on the clock. Got a speed limit. Zoom is coming in here both for Fungus. into the same region and of they are close South enough Africa together. And, and both getting the road right. Oh, but look at that. Fungus with just a little edge. And you know, it's kind of alpha for not even guessing on the road. We like to call that a harmless moment. Oh, yeah. For those in the community, yep. Oh, those are the Lendley moments, too, where he ended yeah. up in the water sometimes. Yeah, it's the water hedge. Yeah, the, the water, water hedge. hedge. <laughs> <laughs> round three looks like Netherlands. It's going to be a very small country. Nothing too crazy here. Th basically, rounds like this, this just increases the round. And two, we get the multis, which I'm not sure what their strategy is, if they just want to make it to the right, late round and get, like, an India or something like that. Uh -huh. But, you know, rounds like this uh, with, with multis right here, it's better to get these early than late. I'll tell you right now, this is not India. Uh, it is not. It is not correct. We're making progress. Making, making progress. progress. There we go. Okay, so, but I've seen a lot of flubs in Amsterdam, even within Amsterdam. It's a it's a big place. Is there an opportunity to get some profit on a round like this? You know, if someone just commits like max north, maybe. But I, I think on a round like this, they probably just go pretty center here. Um, I, I do like that they're just actually using the moving aspect because we saw, you know, a lot of players yesterday really... Hey, this, is, this is Belgium again. Have I just like never recognized Belgium? Okay, never good. Uh, okay. Never good. But um, yeah, so let's see where the players do end up going here. Belgium. Just outside of Antwerp. It's near the border. I mean, I'll yeah, give it to you. Yeah, you know, cars do travel. There's a lot of similarities there. I didn't want to correct you, obviously. Yeah, you knew. You yeah. knew. You knew. So. Yeah, both players. I, I, again, small country. No, no big points here. Debra is scanning here. And decisions, yeah, decisions. Just, just west. Okay. And it continues to be close. And, yeah. and the reason this is exciting, of course, because the multiplier just keeps getting bigger when they have so much HP. Certainly looking for a chunk to come out of one of these players at some point as in, we start off in the UK, in baby. In the UK. Oh, bro. There we go. Let's do it. It's the, this Yellow is, back plates. This is going to be one of those things. Who is, actually studied their UK and who knows their pull stickers? Who knows the original meds here in the UK immediately in round game one, round four? This is the sunniest day in the UK, folks. Yep. Least, least depressed UK town. Okay. Both players are moving. Try, uh, what they're probably looking for now is just like a, a trash can or oh. something on the bus, maybe, he did that have has that. a sign. Yeah. Oh, oh. We do have a little realty. Keller you know, Williams, maybe where is she from? Give her a call. Let's see. Both players still moving, looking for information. This is what you do get in moving games. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, just, it's just more confirmations that it's the UK, but not really getting anything more Sandy specific Hill. than that. Harris Church. Harris Church. Have we, have we memorized? Who's got the best church knowledge here? <laughs> No, 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 I said the fox. Let's see. Fungus, quizzical look on his face as he sort of like soft locks a guest here. Debray still going for a stroll. Yeah, both players still looking for information. Debray is zooming in here. That's a confident zoom. Fungus That's an AZ. is zoomed more north. And, and it's close. Oh my god. Fungus picking up massive points that here. That is chunky. 2,200 points goes down oh, we, to Debra. We got a different player today, man. Hey, listen, if Fungus, if Fungus pulls us through on the moving, that would be massive for him. Let's see how he can continue going as we have the round five. UK in, again. In, in Germany. <laughs> round five, 3x damage. Who was studying? I think Debry was saying yesterday that he didn't learn Germany. Didn't and learn so, Germany. No, it's new so coverage. So you think he doesn't know about the Gen 4 he coverage knows, he in knows Germany? It, he knows it exists. He didn't learn regional clues in oh, Germany okay. is the problem here. But the question is, did Fungus prepare? And that was the problem with signs? Fungus. Actually, he didn't know the Gen 4 coverage in Germany yesterday, if you remember. <laughs> yeah, he, he did, the white car he was confused on. The white car. But hopefully today, maybe he went home oh, and studied. Oh, that's a quick guess here by Debray. Locked in. Little pressure now on Fungus. Can, can confirm the language. How, how close is he going to get regionally? Time's taken down. Five, four, three. Fungus going north. Oh, this could be painful if he's not feeling Fungus. good about it, but he is closer and to he, Hamburg. The, 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 little head, the little head shake. He's feeling confident. 1,300 wow. points. Debra's in the yellow with 2,400 points left. Debra's getting, getting pieced up here and moving. This and is this, not how I expected this, is this not, to start. I mean, he's barely lost any points as we go into round six here in a very big country of Argentina. It's a very cool... Oh, okay. It's a, yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. see who's large and in charge. 
I mean, right now it's fungus. Yeah, that's true. And, and this is... Listen, when you have guesses like that, it just builds your confidence going in the next round. Yeah. You, you, you can make riskier guesses. You feel like you're, you know, And we haven't even guy. got the U.S. or Canada yet for fungus. Yeah. He hasn't he, even peaked no yet. No, maybe he's saving that for the, the, the finals. Zooming in on there it is. Arch here. Ooh, that's a confident... That's that was a pretty AC. confident zoom by fungus. We're, there. we're getting he, really close. The, no, he said nope. Let's see. Wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Oh. He did leave a mark. He left a mark. That is something we did see players not do yesterday. So yeah. that's good that they're picking up on that now. That just you know, make sure you don't run out of time. Got to pre-market. Pre-market. Okay. Every reading information on the signs. That was a meaty sign that had lots of words on it. Fungus is looking at a certain like road here that he thinks. Fungus is on, is on a bridge. Is this bridge line up in Argentina? He's looking. At, oh, this looks mm, like Toronto road. I don't think honestly. that is the right bridge because it's not going east to west enough. Okay. Debris zooming in on a bridge. Decisions zooming about in, to be in made Arch. now. As we're crossing the 10-second barrier. So south. Oh my so goodness. So south. If yeah. one person, but. Yeah. It's Fungus again. 1,200 1, damage won, off of that. He slightly more south there. But they both just horribly region guessed that that round. As we go into round 7, 4x, Argentina is deceiving. Yeah, this one doesn't feel like it's going to end on 10 rounds. Like, this no. could be an elimination here. Debre has lost a consistently high amount of health in each one of these rounds. Especially in the round 7 with little information that we see here in Japan. You know, we saw some good Japan guesses yesterday from China and, and the like. But the question is, who has the upper advantage here in Japan in round 7 4x damage? We could see a Fungus out hedge here a on Debre to win. That means a 300-point differential and but Fungus will win. Debre needs to slowly chip away a couple points here as he's as he's, he's zooming in pretty confidently. Yeah, well, they, they both know it's Japan. Clock. How do you feel about that guess? Um, I feel like he's zoomed in pretty confidently, so I trust him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we did see a lot of pressure, a lot of sort of fire out of Debre when it came to his guesses. And Fungus taking his time here. He's got lots of time left Fungus, on the clock. No he's, yeah, he's doing the new moving moving strat to find information. I don't think anyone's going to find information on this road. There's probably not a sign for a while. There's 10 it. seconds left. He needs to get a guess in. If he doesn't feel good, he's just got to go for a hedge, right? He has to go for a hedge. Okay, let's see. We're around and the it's, similar it's location. Around the same location. Just enough. Just, listen, you just think Tokyo and you win. Oh you my just think Tokyo and you win. That's, and that's, he gets another 400, that's 400 damage. Points. Jesus. Hey, but listen. Listen, this next round is what we like to call a beautiful location. A beautiful location beautiful. in Africa, in, in Indonesia. South Korea. South Korea, A very maybe. small country that Fungus is probably wanting to see on 4.5x damage because he can pick up 755 points here in South Korea. He can. I and mean, he could trip over the finish line at this point. Yes. But Debre, I'm not sure what Debre knows about uh, like South Korean towns or, or regional clues. We do have a town name there that he is reading and zooming in pretty confidently. So if he's he does know scanning. where that is, Fungus has not found that sound that sign yet. So Debra is glazing right now. Bro's reading, scanning <laughs> is a, is like the correct word. Glazing, sure. <laughs> he's, glazing, he's glazing Korea at the moment. Yeah, Fungus still looking for information. Debra's in. They're at least scanning. 30 seconds left. Oh, he's found the same oh. sign as Debra. Will he get there in time? Yeah, More than likely. No well, points here as we go in round De nine. Debra doesn't feel comfortable exactly with where he's landed on the map at the moment, so 15 seconds. Are they, are they, they're on separate regions. There's a chance Wait, this there goes is, wrong this for might, Debra. This you gotta might. be careful. Ten oh, seconds. this is gonna hurt for somebody, folks. Are they, where are they scanning for right now? No one can find the city on the sign. And we're down to five seconds. A he guess will have to be made. He hedging. Where will Fungus commit? Sometimes. He needs a, he needs a close guess here. That hedge they're can both. cost you. Oh, wow. and I think we're a little bit closer for Fungus. Just a touch. Not Ooh. enough. Not enough. And that's wow. that's a, a very common South Korean moment where you just click this and you're hoping for the best. Yeah. Yep. And now you know there is a world where you know Debre can get six thousand damage in one hit. There have been a few rounds here yeah. where they've both been far off, but equally. Yes. So Fungus, he can't rest on his laurels just yet. Debre, six hundred sixty-nine. He's got to make a move though. He has to make a move. Game one of three, best of three. It's kind of in situation where you don't hedge. Round nine. We do have hedges. You know what that means? The, it's the UK, bro. The UK. The UK. That's right. Round nine, which is not very good for Debre, honestly. He needs bigger countries here as we as we go into the UK. Five X damage, man. Basically, I, honestly, Fungus, he's just got a he's got he, he might just need to click oh, there, we have a National Scotland. Museum. That's not good. Debre knows that's not good either. Not like he, good. Well, because Scotland, I mean I don't think I don't think Debre can pick up six 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 thousand points oh, in, in Scotland. Ooh, okay. He needs to get a 5K basically and hope that something crazy happens. Nice tractor there Potential for one more round. John Deere Meta, Scotland. Looked at the same sign. And is that a lock? Little bit of pressure on here Ten from Fungus. Left. I think that's the right he's, move, yeah, right? Why just, not yeah. go a little sooner? Debray just a touch north. And oh my it's god, closer. I think Fungus has got it. This it is enough be enough. damage. It's no, not 235. Oh, oh my god. My god. That, that. But round 10. Wow, it's going to come down. Round 10, it comes down to this. 
Here we go. You this know. Is, oh, no. Albania. Oh, my God. Or Monty, God. one of the two. Albania. Let's look for the rift. We got the rift. Oh, that's an Albanian rift. This is... Uh, Debra can't win here, I don't think. Debra can't he has win to, here. He has to get like a 5K. Yeah, he looks. He sees it. Round 10. He knows small country. He can't pick up 6K points. Fungus clicks I the mean, center. Fungus this is exactly what he needed. Oh, he instantly clicked. He knows he lost. He knows he lost. Oh, man. That's tough. I mean, listen. Fungus is just... He's barely taking any but damage. He's almost now, flawless this fungus round. Fungus is taking his time now, making sure he at least finds any information. Make sure he doesn't actually accidentally Three blunder. seconds. Three they seconds. Click center. And this could be the round one here for Fungus. In fact, will be. And another fantastic guess. Yeah, great guess. 500. There in round He'll play one. about it this round. That is a moving round. Wow. One by Fungus. Fungus, Canada. Canada, baby. Canada, wow. I couldn't be more proud. My humble genius, Fungus. That is a wonderful start. Yeah, you know, if you're looking at Debra right now, you know he has to be pretty upset with the, how that went. But Debra does probably have the advantage on NM and NMPC oh, going really? to the okay. next games. Yeah. That's kind of what uh, he, he he does train, so we'll see if it pays off. mischaracterization. I was feeling that this is just, you know, Debra a favorite in this matchup over all sort of, yeah. all of them, all the categories. Probably, but yeah. Fungus but Fungus has just, he's picked up good wins yesterday. He picked up good wins. Like you said so many times, uh, this weekend, you only have to be the best for two days, mm -hmm. right? If you're trending in the right direction like Fungus right now, why should you worry about who's supposed to be the favorite? How many good players are already here in top eight? Yep. He's earned a spot here just like these other exactly. seven other players. Yep, and, and it's very important. Like, if you have games like that, you just build your confidence going to the next game. You make better guesses, you make better hedges, you, you just play better. And you, you can see Deb right here, you can see a little bit of stress uh, on his face here. But hopefully, that doesn't get to him. And um, well, wow, really good five or four or five Ks in uh, yesterday, which is a pretty impressive feat. Yeah, that's in really impressive. And Especially we saw with fast how little ones games too. he played. He, he, you know, he didn't have to play the, the qualities or the knockout stages. So pretty impressive, pretty impressive. Yeah, Debra was scary. He was scary yesterday. And with the way Fungus talks about himself, he says, yeah, I've got, got a healthy amount of nervousness. And yet, he still performs. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yeah, I mean, he, I, I think he's put the work into studying, making sure he came prepared to the World Cup, as most players did. But I think Fungus really, really doubled down and make sure do you really that he see, came prepared. Do you really see that he's relying on moving, though? Like, is he going to be really hampered without being able to walk down the road? No, I, I don't think so. I think Fungus is just an all-around great player. Okay. And uh, we'll see if that is if that trends in the right direction in Game 2. We'll let the results speak for themselves here. It could be the end of the road for Debre right now. And uh, I think we've finally got some a state in the South of America to uh, not South America, though. Not South America. It's, uh, it's uh, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Very South. Very, very South. Very South. Very South. Almost Antarctica. Almost, yeah. Round one, game two, one X damage. Pretty big country. I mean, listen, both players maybe, this is no move. White sticker. Plates? Oh. There's to be on the white sticker. I don't I actually know what the white sticker does mean. I think that is, you know, in Australia, you do have regional stickers on poles. You haven't heard of the white sticker meta? Maybe I have. I just kind of, for gore, That's interesting. you know, happens. 44 seconds on the clock. Both players kind of, you know, immediately, like, what would I guess here is a question. I don't know. Take it to Adelaide. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's no, you're, you're in an urban neighborhood. You don't really see very many telephone poles, which usually you kind of rely on in, in things like this in Australia. You're looking at vegetation. It doesn't feel that dry, but still pretty green. You know, you could lose massive points are here you in thinking, round one. Like, are you thinking the lower half of Australia or...? Ah, oh, man. It's like, it's. I'm almost thinking like NSW Queensland, almost. Okay, well, but, yeah, yeah, we got a zoom. It could be, we do see a Brisbane a guess Brisbane. here by, by Debra, who is validating my guess here. 10 seconds on the clock. Where will Fungus go? Oh. He doesn't know. He's, he, he could lose massive points here if someone's right. He doesn't like it. You oh, can Debra see the look on his down. face, but he's going, to the he's going Perth. Hold on a second. Do we have Perth curbs? He's got is to walk in. He's going Perth. Oh, my God. This is going to stink, folks. No, it's Brisbane. Oh, and Debra. Oh, that's a slammer. Five three hundred damage. Debra. Right on the noggin. Wow. Wow. And that is what Debra wanted going into round two. But on, in India, anybody can win. Anyone can win here in India. <laughs> Quite literally, we saw it yesterday. We saw Shina come back after you know just one guess is all it takes here. Mm -hmm. But Fungus could get two rounded here potentially, which would be the Oof. first two rounds. But listen, that, we've all be been the there. One. We've all been there. It's not. It's not fun, but you know it's part of the game. And Debray with a great call out there in Brisbane. Listen, I mean, maybe that Fungus saw the, the Perth curbs there. Maybe this way he thought it's hard to commit that because Perth is so far away from everything else and you know you don't want to do it, but it could pay off. Let's get into round two here in India. It's, it's awkward with the hedge in Australia because if you there's nothing in the middle, right? So exactly. you either go east yeah, or west. Yeah, it's like you can't guess Alice Springs. That's That'd be tough. kind of embarrassing on that. Okay, so uh, who's who's able to translate here? Either of them? I don't know if either of them can. I okay. mean, you can, you can match the regional language and and find it. 
but listen, there it is, it is no move. This is all you have. I'm not sure if there's even India meta in, in, in this still shot. I haven't really studied India very much. Which but, means this could work out wait. really badly for Fungus, or really great as well, depending yeah. on how difficult this guess is. It depends on how risky Debra wants to take it. He could go very risky and just knowing he has so much damage and just go for like a risky guess. What's not risky in India? Is there like a main cities? Like if you go Delhi or something yeah, like that? Yeah, you probably just go then... Delhi with the language like this. Okay, and... And that's we do see Debra zooming on Delhi. Yeah, Maybe plays it safe to find some more confident round. Slow and steady does win the race. Let's see where Fungus ends up going here. Final 15 seconds, folks, and imagine if this was a two-rounder. That would be GeoGuessr history. It would be. It quite literally would be. Okay. And we got a little bit farther south on uh, on Delhi. They're not too far Fungus apart going in going this pretty situation. Peace, I, think. I mean, if, if Debra's closer here and... Oh, mm, almost uh, Fungus equal. is closer. Fungus is closer. Oh, he is? Wow, yeah. okay. Yep. Well, he'll take that. A little Nothing bit too of crazy, but you know, going into round three here. Well, he he's here survived through round three and he avoided the flawless. Yeah, and that's you know, that's good not to get too rounded. You yeah. know, actually, that's a pretty devastating thing. But to, now to that happen. we're in Western Russia, potentially, yeah, we are in Russia. Okay. I think. Okay. So that's that's actually good. Yeah, great call out. Everyone, Thank you. Give it up for me. Got a me. crowd shout for Longers there, calling that out. I hope it's actually Russia now. That would be quite anticlimactic. Well, we okay. do have a short antenna here. I I who did study that? Let's see, round three. Debra, I think, might have an advantage here in Russia if that is the case on 2x damage. Did, did Fungus is did Fungus on talk by about his love for this region? Did he talk about how much he was? Is he good at the bigger ones? And we've got a very fast suit. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, that was here. Yeah, by, that was a Ukraine. By Debra. Interesting. I wonder what he's zooming in on here. Usually, when I think when I see these like metal pipes, I do think more Russia. 40 seconds on the clock. And. Fungus, so you know, zooming in. if he's not sure, he's probably going to end up some of oh, that antenna. What are we? What are we thinking? I mean, you get all types of different antennas all throughout Russia and Ukraine. Okay. Um, We're jumping back. The road and forth quality, I think, is maybe what's what's making him lean Ukraine, which I which I could see. Usually, poor road quality does equal Ukraine over Debra, Russia. Debra's and like just he's hanging. Fungus off by doesn't this know river. Where, where to guess here. He's he's 15 seconds on the clock. Is this he's extra still, time get benefiting him though? Just giving him more more time to think. Where is Fungus going to zoom? Is a question. He has no marker down. He's seven seconds. He doesn't even look like he needs to get guessed down. Five seconds. Five left. seconds. Here you he got to start zooming, son. He's going Estonia. Estonia. Oh my goodness. And well, not exactly Estonia. Wow. Well, we'll we were both that. wrong. That's but. true. That's true. Yeah. Wait. So that's Moldova, actually. It was on the border. It was on, on the border. border. On okay. Border. Wow. Debre. Massive play to come back in a round two. And that he's got all the confidence back. All, all right, the confidence. Right. You can see it in his face. He's he's a, he's a new man. Debra, er, er, you know, Fungus there. Listen, it's it's hard to make guesses under pressure mm -hmm. when you're in the spotlight like this. You know, facing the crowd. Maybe it makes sense for Fungus to have gone a, like one step risky in a situation where he was down like 4,000 HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the off chance that he could see Stoney there. He's like, wait, maybe this is a little bait round. But you never know. You never know what they're going, what yeah, they're that, thinking there. That Australia situation, that stings. Yeah, and you know that's such a hard commit. You know, and he, you could see in his face when he when he was clicking Perth, he like signified. And he's like. Will this be worth it? It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't in the end. But, you know, if it, if it was, it would have been nice. It would have been nice, yes. It would have been nice. You got to go for gold. Got to. That's got what Canadians to. do. We dream big. And, you know, first game of the day, and also we get the privilege of getting an NMPZ for the first game of the day as well. Oh, which hell is, uh, yeah. You know, Give it up for NMPZ. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, this, that's is where, this is where you get blood bats. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But unless it's Turbota, and then you just get 5Ks. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> yeah, I'm still... I don't know how Bro does that. <laughs> but Debra, as I was saying, I mean, as Bloom mentioned earlier, you know, I would say Debra it, and Trebola are probably the two best NMPZ players in the world. You know, uh, you know, not even in the tournament, in the world. A serious question, though. Mm -hmm. You know, if this is Canada, mm -hmm. then is this good for Fungus? If this round is Canada? Yes. Um, it, it, theoretically, yeah, that would be good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. But, uh, yeah. If it was. If it was. If it, in, 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 a, in a world where this would be Canada. <laughs> okay. Um, where would... I would go like Bulgaria here, I think. Oh, Bulgaria. I, I, that's my Enzine. maybe row. But let's see, round one. Let's keep it going. NMPZ is a fun game mode. This is the only information they have is a single screen right here. I'm going to zoom around. You know what? No, I'm going to play NMPZ with them. Let's see. You're going to play NMPZ with them. You don't Debra, even Debra, like, Debra like He's going bold. Debra is the, the type ball. of guy that learns, and they're both in Bulgaria. They're both. Oh, yeah. Insta. Yep. Insta, but it's a, and it's a little bit better for Debra this time. Yep. That's where you're not really guessing that. You click Bulgaria, and it's kind of just like you both understand. Why? Why is that? Why it's, is it? You're just not going to get too many points for yeah, trying it's that just hard. Yeah, like round one. Let's just let's just understood what Roll to do there. Bed, get the C plus. C plus. Yeah. Round two, 1.5 damage in Italy. This could be 
I'm, I'm interested in seeing more players. We have a baller in frame, which is super helpful okay. for the players. The question is, who who region guesses Italy here? Did someone go more south near Sicily? Did someone go? Italy is a little bit bigger than uh, than it seems. True. Big boot. Little big. It's a big boot. Actually, it's like at least yeah. a size 12. You don't want to be on the wrong end of Italy. And Debra is already zooming. But right he goes right for the center Italy. And they're both going center hedges again. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is classic. But it's also center hedge. But it's also a good guess. The question is, will anyone ever go? We're is he water hedging? Hedge. He water wants water hedge. hedge. That's Debray. the Lenly. That's the Lenly, folks. Debra. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. Fungus. Oh, fungus. Picking up points there in round two. Hey, that's, that's 750 points. That's, nothing, nothing insignificant there. Yeah, that's good damage. That's good damage. So. All yep, right. yep. So going into round three, this is NPC. This still shot is all they can see. Interesting round here. Let's see where the players do end up going as I try and make a guess here as well. Um, it might be just, is this ever Italy is again? Italy again? Could be. Double Fungus Italy. has a little bit of a confusion on his face here. Debray, not instant zooming as he usually does. Let's see where he zooms. He's going Italy. Yes. So Debray going up to looks the pretty Bolognese confident. Region. He's going a little bit west of Po Valley there. Fungus still looking quite. So this one could Debra hurt more. If we have seconds. some kind of mid hedge here fungus from Fungus. Still pondering. He's not feeling good about this. Just Eight seconds. Where is he going to guess? Sometimes I wonder if he's just got that face on, and then he's actually he's sure. Oh, he doesn't know, but it's the same region as Debra. They land on the same spot. Yep. And it's outside, outside Venice. A beautiful guess from both. And we survive this is longer. Intense. And how long until Fungus gets a North American? It's 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 time. It has you know, to be. it's it's we're. No, this is not Toronto. This is not. This is Turkey. Yeah. Surely. It could be Toronto. Maybe yeah. it's like a movie set of Turkey in Toronto. It could be. Round four, 2.5x damage. Both players will understand this is Turkey. The question is, you have to go pretty north here. We have the green trees, green hills. I would go pretty north. Um, Gelotris, who is competing, is probably yeah, the best Yeah, do you think Gelotris guess. just wants to play this round yeah, so he's, badly he's, right he's now? Yeah, he's really wanting this round. And we do see Debra going north. And he's zooming in pretty Whoa, confidently into his city. Hold on, hold on. Are we getting a 5K, folks? This is uh, very, very confident. Is there We're information on a small on the road? He's seen this one before. He's seen this one before. It seems both going uh, pretty east. I wonder if there is any information on on the on the signs here that gives anything away. But um, yeah, both going pretty east here near the Georgia border. Fungus even scanning even a little more east. 25 seconds on the clock. Debre scanning. Fungus scanning. And looking for a bridge, yeah. looking for some sort of water next to a, a, a city. Finding a bridge in Turkey, this, that might be difficult to, to know There's exactly which oh, one. Along he's in. He knows he has it! He got it! Oh my god! Round four! That's the 5K! 1600 points! Oh! Oh my god! How many, how many 5Ks did Fungus get? Zero. Uh, zero, that's his first that's his, 5K! Uh, again, we see the for his first 5K, wow. NMPZ. NMPZ 5K. NMPZ 5K. Anything the first. is possible, never stop believing, Anything. Folks. Never back down, never what? Yeah. Never give up. Never give up. Round five. Let's do it. 3X, this is going to be a... It's a, it's a, it's a South a it's Africa. Africa, Kenya. Kenya, okay. Round five, 3X. Is there money to be made in Kenya, or is this one a situation where you hedge? It depends. It depends. I would go somewhat western, maybe it's just outside Nairobi as a price near. Uh, oh, we have fungus going a little bit west. A little bit west. They both looked at it, and fungus just wants to move on. It looks like he'll he'll drop that pin. Ten seconds remaining here for Debray to make a move, both, and it looks like close. they're going to be nearly on top of each other. Is that deceptively far apart? Though? We'll see where the actual. I, I mean, it's nothing is insignificant around like this. Okay. And it's super west, northwest. Ooh. Okay. So some damage will be dealt, though. I mean, fungus if picking only, up 500 ooh, points. 500. Listen, 500 Listen, when you're already down. Yeah. The, the thing with NPZ is it, you get one round that's like slightly more difficult, and you have a slightly better region guess, especially as we get these later rounds. It's you know as long as you have at least one point, that's all you really need. One point. Yeah. Okay. Round six looks like France with this this uh, marker right here. Okay. And I it's the a, a south French. of France. It should be a French marker. But let's see where the players end up going here. And then PZ, we do have the French Road lines as well with the dashed. So maybe this will be a pretty standard France round. What even Four. helps here? What helps here right now to look at this photo? Um, like outside the road lines being like French in that marker. I, you're reaching Just us in for France. region, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, oh, and know. do we have a lock? Do we have a lock already? It's we do have a lock. In there? Debra is in Fungus. Oh, okay. they're, again, they're pretty similar, similar region. That's a lot of pressure for a big place here for Fungus. Let's see. He's, he's still, he looks pretty comfortable where he is. So and south. He'll actually come through with a little bit of damage. 1,000 damage. Debre. Man, we're getting to a city. This is the best of three, folks. Ken Fungus pulled off. He wasn't even too confident in making the top eight from his interview that we saw yesterday. So, you know, he has everyone at home supporting him. This could end right here this on could Cairo. could end right here. Sure. <laughs> no, this, this is actually going to be pretty devastating in the U.S. 
Oh, in the U.S. Should be the U.S. Well, this is a, again. This is what Fungus has been waiting for for the last few days. NA. Fungus is getting his first NA. Oh my God! And okay. I wonder if that sign is readable at all on their screens. That's tough, huh? You got to do the IRL. It does have an area code on it. Debra did memorize area codes. I wonder oh. if Debra can memor memorize the area code they, on. They both ended up already in a very similar place. They I definitely mean, have something. Climate does feel like this, and they're lining roads up. The road is going. I can't. I oh my God! We have one five K from Fungus. Imagine we had another. Debra looks like he's pretty close he as know. well. Just outside of Tucson in Arizona here is Fungus, where they'll chill. Fungus is looking quite worried. He's wondering if he has the right road here. No, he's got no lock. Debra is zooming in on Tucson. You know, 23 might, seconds. Might not be that much damage. They're I both like just Debra's outside of Tucson. Here. Imagine I mean, we got a double 5k in this in situation. Fungus is in Phoenix, so if it is more north, Fungus will pick up points here. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Let's see what happens. Is he, wait, is he moving towards Albuquerque now? It's like he's no? trying, trying to do something interesting with the situation, what's, but feels like he's happening? in the right Four spot. Seconds. What's going to happen? Three. He's got to click on it. Will Fungus it. win? He's leaving the pin. Let's see what happens. Fungus. Oh, is that oh, enough? That could sting. That is could it sting. It's enough. Oh, Fungus done it. He did it. Fungus. Fungus did it. With a worried look on his face. Wow. But all the confidence in the world. Oh, wow. You know, he's just the type of guy to take his time. Who was expecting that? Who would have expected Fungus to make it? My God. Wow. Playing out of his mind That's recently. That's incredible. Out of his mind. You have to give it up for Fungus. Wow, what a what a win there for Fungus. That's beautiful stuff. Yeah, and we're seeing Canada. Maybe it's the Canada charm that you're the bringing. The Canada charm, baby. It has to be. Yeah, well, we can't save the UK. We can't even save America, but we can still save Canada. Okay. So we want to say thank you to uh, Debray for, for, for competing. That was a really exciting game, so no exciting. doubt. And But it's just so impressive, the fact that Fungus was able to win on the NMPZ, NMPZ. with such a big lead the entire time. Yeah, you know, he, he did lose game two. It didn't let that affect him. Coming back to NMPZ and winning it all against one of the best NMPZ players in the world. Fungus proving why he is here and why he is so dominant. Now, we're going to get a desk after this. But before we do, let's get an interview on stage with Fungus and Paula. The master of mushrooms, he's among us. Give it up for Fungus! Before we chat more with you, Fungus, uh, dead brain, commiserations. What are your thoughts on how that match went? I don't have many thoughts, just unlucky. Yeah. Well, we'd love to see... I didn't know. Sorry? There's a bunch of rounds that I didn't know. No. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. How's the experience overall been for you, though? Good. A man, a few words. Give it up for dead brain! All right, Fungus, huge congratulations, mate. You've made it to the semifinals. How does that sound? Oh, it's incredible. I didn't think I'd be making it this far, and wow, I'm really excited for the semifinals. Let's do a quick breakdown of the match against Debray. The, the, the first round went very well. You, you had a, a lead that you kept the whole way in, in the moving. Uh, what are you, what's your perspective on how that went, and why did it go so well? Oh, I just uh, I was making really good region guesses in the moving. I found some uh, some important signs, but I was looking a lot at the architecture and moving to find those. I think it, um, just made good, good guesses off of that. I guess yeah. Then when we went into the no move, Debray came with a big uppercut. I can't imagine that felt too good. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was very confused on that round. I was like, okay, is this Perth or is this Queensland? And uh, chose the wrong one. But um, yeah, he kept the lead through the entire game, and he beat me there. In the square. Then you went on to take the NMPZ, crowning you our victor. What's the plan now before you head into the semi-final? How, how are you going to relax? How are you going to prepare? I haven't been doing much preparation in between the games. I've just been trying to clear my mind and get ready for the next game. All right, well, best of luck. Once again, commiserations, Debray. Everybody in this crowd, make some noise for both of our competitors! <laughs> Woo! No move, no pan, no zoom, no problem. It was a beautiful match there for Fungus, picking up his first 5K of the tournament as well in the most difficult type of game for some of these players. Now, you wanted that gameplay. You wanted to go all three, Geo. Is that how you wanted it to go? Yeah, I mean, I obviously personally didn't have a bias as to who was going to win, but we did expect that if it did go to NMPZ, it was going to go to Debre. I, I, you know, as they mentioned on the cast, he is one of the best NMPZ players in the entire world. So after the no moving round went the way that it did, I had the expectation that Fungus was maybe going to struggle. Yeah, I did too, but Fungus really showed out. He got that incredible last second 5K there in Turkey. That was so beautiful to watch. You could hear the crowd, see that it lined up, got excited right as the time yeah. ran out, and the celebration commenced, and he killed it at the end of the day. 
And I know we've been talking about this crowd, but what a joy it is to be watching this game and hear the collective gasps when something like that happens. And also cheering for Launders when he made it. Yeah. Oh, actually, Launders' guess Launders. ended up not being right because it wasn't in Russia at all, but it was still nice to have the crowd support. <laughs> it still yeah. was, definitely. <laughs> Well, we'd love to see it, and we've got a lot more to show you, of course. More matches coming up. Our next one, Consus and Lenly. Of course, the winner of that's going to go on to face Fungus. But our two players, Consus, uh, the most feared in the tournament, perhaps, after the results of yesterday. Lenly hot on his heels. Can't wait to see it. Don't go anywhere right after this break. La fille qui passe et qui ne s'arrête pas De Montmartre à Montparnasse Les garçons suivent mes pas Fire brigade, what's a 
You're watching the GeoGuessr World Cup live from Stockholm, Sweden. We're well into the playoffs now, heading into our second match today. And that's going to be between Kansas and Lenly. Kansas currently undefeated in the tournament so far. Taking a look at stats there. But Rainbow, I'm going to have you double check me on that one. It's right. Not only is he undefeated in the, the... He's also undefeated in the qualifiers and yesterday. So he hasn't left... Like, I don't think he... Can he even, like, be beaten is a question today we have. I'm not sure who's going to do it. Look at the Constance flag we have there. Shout out to Constance and everyone from the Netherlands representing him. Oh, unbelievable play from him. A lot of support that's well-deserved. Launders, your thoughts on Constance? I, I mean, I, I, we didn't get to cast, uh, I think, any of Constance's games. We just saw him, like, beating everybody, basically. Pretty much. But what's crazy is just that Lenly, you know, he's, he's a guy who maybe didn't even expect to get to day two, and he did it in such a way that I, don't, I wouldn't even be surprised if he won this game. I'm not kidding. Like, he's been playing so well. And exactly. it might, there might be a little bit of luck involved with who gets the right seed or whatever the case may be, but Lenly should by no means feel like he can't win this game. Yeah, tell me a little bit about this underdog magic. We just saw it with Fungus. He came in a little humble and cleared his way through to the next stage of the bracket. Now you're telling me Lenly too, coming in humble, maybe that's the key? Yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing about Lenly was, you know, he was in the qualifiers for this tournament, but he actually didn't end up making it through the qualifiers because he was being out by Polly, who was unable to, to participate in today's tournament. So he's coming from the qualifiers, making it, making it to the top eight, making him the most insane guest yesterday. I don't think he had a single bad guest oh, in a yeah. single game yesterday. So it was um, it was quite the feat. Did you say that, and everything. And you said that Lenly, like he planned, he already planned his day two outfit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually <laughs> excited. I don't think anyone's seen it yet, but I'm, I'm He's kind of like the drip king in the GeoGuessr community, True. so I'm hoping we see a little bit. And it's one, one less thing to think about and more time to focus on GeoGuessr. Exactly. You guys don't do that too? You don't lay out your outfit for the next day on the bed? Like the like, first day of school? Yeah. Really. yeah. Every day is the first day of school when it's true. an eSports tournament. <laughs> true, true, true. Well, we've had some impressive play from both of these folks throughout the tournament. I do want to return to uh, Kansas. Kansas has so much support throughout this, uh, obviously from his play, but tell me a little bit about both of these two in the larger GeoGuessr community. Yeah, so they've both been playing GeoGuessr for as long as I remember. They've all competed in my tournaments, and they've all, I mean, Kansas, I think, has the most wins in my tournaments I used to do weekly. So he's he's by no means, you know, not shy of these tournaments. He, he participates every opportunity he gets. He studies for everything. He is every game mode moving, no move, in NPZ, he yeah. excels at. It's almost like, where can he where can he go wrong almost yeah. it's like what he doesn't blunder i don't think i've seen the man blunder very many countries at all if ever in like a while you know it so we've, like, we've at least seen the other sort of top dogs have a bad game or a bad guess but consist was just so consistent this is like the last chance to break his spirit here in front of a crowd even though everyone's so nice <laughs> wow. you know this is, is the last chance <laughs> to put pressure on consist yeah and okay. then lindley you to know see if he's human or not yeah <laughs> and lindley it's just like after we saw what he was doing yesterday and how confident and expressive he was and how fun he was and just how much he was taking in the moment. I'm hoping we see the same from him today and he has a good performance and he could take down Goliath. Yeah, because the crowd loves Lenly, right? Yeah, the crowd <laughs> yeah, loves yeah. Lenly. Yeah. I was just, they were just mildly distracted. I'm there sure was, if you asked yeah. him again, they'd be very affirmative. The crowd loves Contest though, too. Oh, damn. Close. Okay. Close. Yeah, Unscientific. You already woke them up. <laughs> We're going to have to throw those results out. But, you know, there's two people that I would love to hear their thoughts on this next matchup. We did get a chance to talk with both players. Let's check out that interview. It feels super exciting. Like, the best thing about it is just meeting all the players that I've 
talked to online for the last two or three years and uh, meeting them all in person is like an amazing feeling and the whole the whole organization of this event is something that has never happened to GeoGuessr before and it just takes it all to a new level and it's feeling amazing. It feels great, it's a very unique event and it feels great to be a part of it. I hope we can reach the second day and then everything is possible. All right, everybody, how are we doing? This second quarter-final matchup should be an absolute banger. Let me quickly set the scene. On the one side, we will have a player that wasn't even meant to be here. He was a replacement for a player who qualified and couldn't make it. But he's proved he certainly deserves the stage. And then on the other side, we have a player that is the toughest of the tough, the roughest of the rough, and one that is seen as the very best at GeoGuessr. Everybody make some noise for Lenly and Cornstone! Lenly, conscious pleasure to have you on the stage. Lenly, I'm going to start with you first. What does it mean to you to be standing on this stage, but also against tough competition like Consus? Honestly, to, to stand here, that means a lot to me. But honestly, whoever I'm playing against doesn't really matter to me. I think I will just play my game. I think I'm the underdog here, but everything can happen in this competition. We've seen enough. So yeah, very excited to get it going. And Conscious, you've been someone heavily favorited since the qualifiers and you've come into the World Cup proper and delivered. Do you feel extra pressure knowing how much everybody appreciates your skill? I don't really feel the pressure right now. I'm just happy to play here and uh, like after yesterday to, uh, to go through that easily. Yeah, just like no, no nerves here. By the way, guys, give it up for both those interviews. Those were some well thought out answers. Lenly and Constance, everybody, they're about to head into the circle. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before I let you go? Locked in, Constance yourself? I'm locked in, for sure. All right, one final time. Make some noise! Wow. Is there anything scarier than facing down a player who says, no, I'm confident in that voice that you know they've never known fear? I, I really believe him. Like, I really believe Contest now, now after seeing this. I don't think anything's yeah. going to change. I'm scared. But then I also believe Lenly that he doesn't care who he's playing because he really has lived that life in the last couple of days. Like, every win that he's taken has been a surprise. So yeah. he's been very impressive. Just make the best guesses you can at the end of the day. Hope for the best. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of fans for both when we were talking about. Uh, got to shout out those Lindley fans in the chat, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Lindley has, has his German supporters. Shout out to all the German supporters. But also, you know, we see the Constance flag. We see all the Constance support, all the Netherlands support. So let's see. Let's, I can't wait to watch this match, honestly. Uh, now, if you had to throw uh, a location in there that you think would give both of these an equally hard time as competitors, uh, what would you throw in there? Give him like a give him like a Greenland trekker or something, something crazy. That's like what's like an obscure trekker or like some sort of like non street view or Google car thing that really just throws him off. And hopefully one person gets a, a good guess. Put something, him on something, dirt. Yeah, something, yeah, something pretty obscure. I think would be fun. Oh, I'd love but to see. But Constance is the type of guy to probably memorize every hair on the Greenland trekker. Yeah. What's his? What's the thing that stands out the most about Constance? Like his in terms of what? What? Why is he here today? Why is he the GeoGuessr player that hasn't lost yet? I think it's just the time and how methodical he is with how he plays and, and, and studies and researches. A lot of time, a lot of players, you know, are more open and, trans and, and just like open about sharing and what they've learned. Constance just like grinds in silence mm -hmm. and he's like constantly day in, day out. He's in discourse. Like lasagna. Real G's. Yeah, exactly. Constance is, uh, is a silent killer for sure. And it's just all, of, all the research he does do by himself and with his, his close knit group that, you know, sometimes it doesn't leave that and it's just things only they know. And I think that that does do you know, him a, a big pre advantage there. Mm -hmm. Black hole of knowledge. Let's see if he can suck us all in or if Lindley will be the star that saves us and blows it all apart. Gentlemen, this match 
might be grand final quality, but I don't know. I don't know. The vibes on the stage, they're too calm. I think the casters are ready, so I think before we go, any last words for this matchup? I'm just excited to watch. I like Lenly's outfit. I think he I think he got it together for Drip King for day yeah. two, so I think Quite he's going to be focused Quite now. Spiffy. Yeah. Pleasure to see him. Can't wait to see him plonk it. Let's send it out over to the <laughs> casters and get into the match. Thank you so much, Zelta and Co. Yeah, this is going to be one of the most exciting games I think that we have had so far, just because of the expectations on both these players for completely different reasons. Yeah, such different journeys to get here, such different stories, but beautiful nonetheless on both sides. Such incredible players. It's going to be a pleasure to watch and cast. And do you agree with Rainbow about how even if you go to a really obscure place, like Consus is going to know? <laughs> The he tight, like know. he's gonna know the atoms. Yeah, he really might. Consus really has such a vast set of knowledge about this game and about the world. I think one thing that's also really interesting to note though about these two players is that even though Consus has a higher percentage round count, uh, we actually have more 5Ks on the side of Lenly. So we have a real closeness between both of them in different ways. We sure do. And it looks like the players are ready to get into it. Game one, moving. Here we go. Starting up the round. This is what they get straight off the bat. Looks like possibly a grease location here on our hands. We have wood poles as well as the European antenna. Could be my guess. Let's see what the players think. Lenny's already gone straight in. Lenly, quick, get in the guess and doesn't want to let Consus move. A tactic he's been using as well as other players previously in this tournament who may be in the underdog scenario, do not want to let their competitor get a chance to find information. And Ooh. Lenly picking up the closer guess, 89 kilometers away, a good way for him to start. He's going to feel good about that as we go into uh, our so round two. Certainly a good way to apply some pressure on to arguably the favorite early on. Yeah, definitely. Lenny's going to feel good about that. It's, it's good to start with the lead as always. Let's get them into round two here. We're looking at another Europe. Could be possibly like a... Czechia or a Slovakia would be my educated guess with these cylindrical concrete poles. Generation 4 camera. The players are moving, looking to see whatever they can find. Consus here gets himself a sign. That's always going to be helpful. See if there's anything he can read on there. Where would you put Consus's moving ability compared to his no, no moving and NMPZ? Consus is truly one of those players who just has an all around skill set. All right, well, it's nice for some of well, yeah, <laughs> but he gets that guess in. Contis will follow. Let's see where he ends up guessing. He can't decide, but they both are in Slovakia, and it looks like Contis a little bit closer, both making some good guesses. So nothing too big, too insane just yet. Lenny's still holding the lead just slightly as we head into our two times multiplier. Round three, let's get them straight into this. Another European location. It looks like we're playing the Europe map. Um, we have some bollards here on the side. It looks like we could be looking at something like a Latvia, could be my guess. They have seen some signs here. We do have some language as well. So they're gonna be scanning here. They're zooming into Latvia. Can they find these two towns in 44 seconds? We will see the scanning game. Whose scanning game is better? Well, Lenley's put his pin down. Lenley's decided to go again with the tactic of not letting his opponent scan and sending the guess. They're very close to each other. We shouldn't see too many points here with two times damage, Ooh. but it looks like at Ooh. the last second, Consist with the 5K. Taking it up to his third 5K of the tournament. Now they're even, even on 5K. Even on 5K is an exciting way for this Isn't to be that going. Great? There's six 5Ks between them. That's pretty impressive. There's 30 Definitely Ks. impressive. Let's get them into round four. The heartbeat. Starting up here, we got the heartbeat going, the hype, the intensity. We do have some information right off the bat. A Monte Verde, six kilometers away. Some signage, a white car. Some good information for them to start. Let's see what they can find here and where they end up trying to guess. Both moving as fast as they can. Consist seems to have the, the movement down. Lenly, ooh, speeding through. Not gonna be a lot of signs. It seems like a pretty rural area. Not sure if they can get themselves to a paved road, which is probably what they're gonna be looking for in this sort of context. Better chance of finding important information. Yeah, it's one of the rough things about these sort of like really in the middle of nowhere places, you just want extra signage, extra whatever it is you're looking for, yeah. poles as you love. 
Of course, of course. And it looks like Constance has just gone back to the start. These rural locations, you just hope you pick the right direction to go to find whatever information you can, but neither of them able to find anything, both gonna be region guessing here in Chile. I think the worst thing is when you pick a direction and then once you've actually made a guess, you realize there was a town like half a mile the other way. Contis <laughs> ends up being on top of it almost again, a 4,950. Truly unbelievable showing here. Lenly down to 3,700 points. Cons is still almost at full as we go into round five. Still plenty of rounds to go. Heading into our next one. Yes, lots to, lots to be uh, made up here. It shouldn't be that difficult as we have what looks like a Malaysia round. Lenly going in quick. He's going Johor. A good guess. Must have seen a sign. Yep, says it on there right there. Uh, Malaysia here, they saw the uh, the awas on one of those signs, which is a good uh, good sign. It's stop in Malaysian, a good tip. We have Constance here by the looks of it lining up a road, but they are just right about next to each other, so we shouldn't see too many points go down. But Constance again, getting the closest. Very impressive from both of these players, getting the right region of the right city. Going into round six, now we're at three and a half times damage. Things are starting to get quite serious. Let's get them straight in to this Canada round by the looks of it. So big country here, definitely a big chance with these multiplier to deal some serious damage. Lorders would know. He would have it actually Launders right now. Would know, yeah. 5K. He would, 5K, right now. It would have already happened. Uh, shout out Lorders. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how the region guessing goes. We do have some big mountains here. Definitely narrows things down a bit. Super useful if you know the area codes and just, you know, have some phone numbers there. Definitely. With these mountains, Lenly guessing BC makes quite a lot of sense. It's going south. I think here they'll both probably guess similarly. Constance might have just seen some signs though. Let's see what he's zooming in on. See what he can uh, get done. Both players relatively close right now with their current plonks, but who will be closer in the end as our time dwindles 15 seconds? Not too far out of. Abbotsford, yeah, oh. academy team with the Vancouver Canucks plays there. Oh yeah, yeah the hockey, yeah, the yeah, hockey yeah, knowledge. Yeah, the hockey. <laughs> Incredible Lenley's in. They're going relatively far apart, but close enough that we shouldn't see too much depending on the location. But Constance almost on top of it again. The showing from Constance in these moving rounds is unbelievable. And that brings Lenley down to 169 health. That is a stressful place to be put in. Going into round seven right now. We will see what happens if he can survive. We have a quick hold really quickly, so in the meantime, we can talk about we get to how have a little look around. this has been. We could have a little look around, get a little uh, preview on what we're looking at, a pretty difficult-looking location for our players here. Crowd Whenever knows. Crowd has 5K. Already, yeah, crowd has the 5K, of course. Um, yeah, we have some signs up here that they're definitely going to end up taking a look at. Uh, Finland here probably makes sense based off some of that language, possibly could make sense as well with these trees. We will see. But how do you think Lenley feels right now? If there's a bit of a pause, a bit of a technical difficulty at this low of health, probably adding a bit to the stress. But yeah, I think it's, be a, okay. it's a bit rough. It just adds an extra thing. We saw him just kind of like removing his headphones, talking to an admin right now and trying to deal with whatever it is he's dealing with. But I'd imagine if you come in a little bit nervous, I mean, you said you saw him this morning, he seemed maybe a little bit nervous as seemed well. Seemed a little more nervous today. I think uh, the pressure of a uh, coming in, being in person, having that audience that's still here. How's everybody doing? Woo! Good, amazing. I joined in with the woo and forgot that I had a microphone <laughs> on, so. <laughs> no, it just added to the atmosphere. No, definitely a, a different energy to be in front of a crowd like this on a stage, but they're, they're doing their best, they're I, doing well. I think there's definitely an element of it as well. You know, Lenly, he, has had some really, really good guesses, but having a 5K from your opponent and a near 5K from your opponent already in the game so far, yeah. you know, when you can, you can kind of come in and be like, well, I made some wild guesses yesterday and I did a really good job and your opponents already had two really, really good ones. Um, that can kind of like grate against you a little bit, I think, because suddenly that thing that can carry you and carry your energy doesn't seem quite as untouchable anymore. Yeah, no, definitely. It, it definitely adds to the stress here. Constance really is performing incredibly and really holding up to that hype that people have been talking about this whole time about him taking no losses in the qualies or the tournament so far. A seriously incredible feat. And if he can continue that, we will find out when we get back. But yeah, give the camera a wave. 
Yeah, give the camera a wave, say hello, everybody. <laughs> so many Danish flags there in the middle. Yeah. Traveled a really long way. <laughs> Big hour flight, hour and a half. <laughs> represent, represent. There we go. Lenly on the flag. And then Con says The Con says flag, of course. Got the Lenly on the Denmark flag, a beautiful, beautiful. What do they say about your flag size? <laughs> what does that mean? Does it mean you're going to win a JGS oh, yeah, tournament? Yeah, the, the, the Netherlands flag is bigger, so they might win. We will Costa see. seems so like calm as well. I just want to point that out because one thing that you can oftentimes find in big tournaments like this, especially play if you're playing on a stage and you're playing in front of an audience, is that not only do you have to be concerned about you know how this is going to affect Lenley, he's the one who's dealing with whatever issue it is, but also how is that going to affect the momentum of the opponent as well? You see, you see it quite a lot in, in games where you can have things like tactical pauses can oftentimes be taken specifically in to disrupt the momentum of the opponent. Now, obviously, this is a technical pause. This is not done strategically, but you have to be wondering how that's going to be affecting Consus. He looks very much on the outside like he's just trying to like you know, keep his, his his mind clear, not worry about it too much, and just remain confident and remain secure in how he's been doing so far. But this is still a new environment, and having to deal with an, you know, sort of like an unprecedented issue as well can add something to that. Yeah, definitely, definitely stressful. Um, we have heard now that based off of the technical difficulty, there will be a rematch for this game. <laughs> Which uh, which is going to play into the mental, I think, a bit for both sides, as we're not exactly sure what the di difficulty was. Something seems to have broken, but uh, it seems like it is getting fixed, and because of that, we will be restarting the game. Um, not going to be too long. Not going to be too long until we get there. Just a couple minutes. But in the meantime, I mean, restarting a game, that's that's a level of stress. You know, Contest is taking that momentum of... of all of those great, incredible guesses had those in his bag. Lenly at such low health at the brink of death. And yet, because of this, we restart. Going to be interesting for both of these players. It's almost to re it's that. almost slapstick. Like you kind of imagine the cartoon characters on the cliff edge, and suddenly something gives you a second lease of life. Yeah. And look, let's be real. Like I highly doubt Lenly's feeling good about that fact. But yeah. it, you know, it's another it's another opportunity. We'll see what's going on. Um, but it is certainly nerve-wracking, but we're ready to get back in the game. Crowd, are you? Thank you guys so much for your patience. We are back with a restart at the top of game one of this matchup, moving from the beginning, full health on each side. Let's get these players straight into the round. See how they can do here with this reset. Definitely a bit of, a, a bit of stress. What we should be looking at here is a Czechia round. We have Gen 4 coverage. You can nice tell by that, that saturation. Domain name as well, you can yeah, see. Yeah, on the signs on the here, sign. looks like Consus got that domain. Maybe some information on a town. And he's just sending in the guests, putting some pressure on Lenly. Oh, beautiful sunset. Beautiful sunset. I love that. I do love that. Sometimes you just like move down the road and it's like, oh, this is so picture picturesque. And then you move one over and the coverage is just oh, horrible. Oh, it's And I mean, yeah. Wow, wow. Consus. Okay. Oh, and Lenly didn't guess. Oh no, Lenly forgot to put a guess in there and off of the 5K of Consus. And he's saying it's his fault. And he's saying, he's telling the ref it's his fault. He'll stick with it. That is a bummer to see. Not the greatest way to start this redo of a game, but seems like Lenly's hopes are up still and he's accepting of it and we'll go into round two. Makes me wonder if that's where the nerves are kind of yeah. kind of hitting a little bit. It can happen. We saw that a couple times yesterday. They do happen sometimes. Sometimes even you can get that guess in at the last second and it won't register if it's really last second like that. But it happens. I'm sure he can regain and do his best here on this Australia round by the looks of it with the pulls and the foliage and the left side drive. We do have some yellow and white plates, which is a good New South Wales indicator as they do have yellow plates. So the guess is in from Lenly. Consus needs to follow suit with less than 10 seconds left. Lenly's guess looks pretty good there. That town mm. could definitely line up. Let's see if he's correct. Now it's just about, is it in the city? Ooh, Ooh, farther south by the looks of it. And with that, Lenly's down to only 500 health. Good guess by both of them. 
Constis holding his full health lead on Lenley's 500 points as we go into round three. A rough one. I think Lenley's just, you're just going to have to hope for like a really good round. Yeah, Lenley's hoping for something he knows here, something that he can feel really comfortable in, something he can get a good guess in. Let's see what we're looking at. Players instantly moving around as fast as they can. We should be looking at what seems to be a Denmark, if I would have to make my guess. We do have yellow commercial plates oh, but by a the look CZ. of it. There was a CZ. Oh, yeah, there was. So I CZ. saw a yellow we're in, plate. We're in the Czech Republic. Yep, makes sense. They got the domain names there. I was baited by a by a also yellow plate. Also, whenever you see the like the C's that have the upside down arrow on them, true. that's a Czech language thing. This is true. Lenley seems to be kind of region guessing. Constance deciding to look for as much information as he can. Let's see what he can find. Oh, he has Lenley has decided on a town by the looks of it. He's committing. Will it be? Oh, he found a roundabout in the town. Could it be the one? We will find out. Lenley in Constance. Ten seconds left. Where he, will he, he follow knows he suit? doesn't have to rush. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, he, how pressured is he going to feel by an early guess from Lenley at this point? Not at all. However, <laughs> Lenley does get the city correct. A 4995, an incredible boost to the confidence and the mental after what has not been so fortunate of events for him so far in this matchup. As we go into round four, we have two and a half times damage. This is getting very dangerous for Lenley in his current position. Let's get the players straight into this France round. I was going to say, I was going to have my mind uh, to you, be you like, are, we're in Yeah, France. you got it. <laughs> yeah. Recognize the architecture looks very French as well. We do have an area code here, a 02, that'll help them narrow down the area in France. The area codes are one for Paris and then in a, in a clockwise direction, go up to five. So we well, do have some signs here. That's a here. very good sign that Lenley's just found there. Yeah, he has found a very helpful sign. Those green signs are always quite helpful. And he does end up getting the closest. That's going to be great for him. He's holding Staying on. Staying alive. He is holding on by a cliff edge. Doing his best. Anything now. Three times damage. He needs to be winning every, almost every round here from now on, unless they're guessing on top of each other. Round five. Let's get them started. Fun. We should be in South Korea here by the looks of it. We do have a silver Google car as well as some poles here. That makes sense for South Korea. Those yellow and white diagonals, if any of the players see them on their screen. Constance seems confident on a region as well as Lenley, yeah, but they both close. make their guesses, but Constance on top of it. Oh. 4993, but they're both incredibly close and only 84 points down to Lenley, but he is on thin ice here when we get into round six. Definitely a stressful, stressful place for him to be in. It's almost like you want to say that he's just so lucky that first round was in the one times multiplier round. Yeah. Because that's happened, how he's made it this far. If it had happened anywhere else, he would have gone out. But we are ready for our round six in what looks to be Kenya, some of the newer Kenya coverage. A not too big of a country, so we'll see who can get the closest here, what information they can find. We are on a dirt road. We will see if they're able to find any signs, any clues, anything to help them region guess within the country. They're going on a road trip. They are. They're, they're going. <laughs> they're moving. Maybe they got some they're teams not blasting. Around. <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to see at spawn, so they're, uh, they're going to find what they can. But Kenya can be very hard to region guess and find the information you need. There's not always a lot of signs, and some of them can not be super helpful, as well as some things you'll see signs for, but on the map they won't show up in Kenya, which can actually make things quite difficult because you think you found some information. However, you won't be able to find it on the map. Lenly seems to be deciding on a region guess with only 15 seconds left. Understandable as no information has been found. The West makes sense as it's more green in the West. Let's see, Consus, five seconds. They're both in. I have a bit of a distance between them. Oh, oh but Constance a little bit closer. I don't think that'll be enough. Oh, Lenley just barely alive on 190 health. Constance, 4,800. He's still in the tenacity of this man. Yeah, he will not go down without a fight, even with all of the setbacks. Round seven, four times damage. Let's get straight into it in what I believe should be a South Africa round by the looks of it. We will see where our players go, what they can find. Lenly opting to not look for information 
and send instantly, hoping for the best. This could be dangerous. Four times damage, a very big country. Khan says, what can he find? Nothing, no signs as he moves as fast as he can. I feel like at this point, if you're Lenly, you know you have such little health that you might as well go for that early guess. Oh, there's still so both close. of them are virtually equidistant. Oh, but it's not enough! 22 Lenny. health! Lenly on 22 health. You see, has a little bit of a smile on his face. He expected to be dead there, but he survives. Round eight will start. Wow, that was there's truly no exciting. Way. There is no wow. This is the illegal way of playing GeoGuessr. It sure is. We have round eight here. Lenley on 22 health on what seems to possibly be again a South Africa round. If I had to make a quick guess, let's get them straight into it and see what they can find. There does seem to be some signs unlike the other round. However, will they be helpful? We will find out. Got the Afrikaans on the side. Yeah, the Afrikaans. We do have some mountains and things like that. Could help with the region guess, but um, not too much other information. Cons is going, Lenny like committing face. to the guess. <laughs> He's looking at the camera. He's a little nervous, a little nervous. He's just vibing. It's just up to this. They are pretty far apart. Who will be closer? Oh. It is Consis in the end taking the win on round eight. But what a showing from Lenny. Listen, it was going to happen eventually. Yeah. The 22 points is only get you, going to get you so far, but I think that first round, that moving round, lasted so much longer than any of us. I think thought that it was going to, especially after the first one where Lenny forgot to place. Yeah, no, with the fact that Lenny forgot to place a guest and made it to round eight, still against Consus, just proves how insane Lenny is and how, how much props he should get for making it as far as he has, especially considering his whole situation getting here. And now we're about to, in theory, move on to the round that's more suited to his playstyle with the no moving, right? So maybe he'll feel a little bit more comfortable? Yeah, I think Lenly will feel more comfortable in no move. If I had to make a guess, out of the three, I think it is what he's most comfortable in. Again, though, Consus really comfortable in all three, really solid all around. He did, does have that first game win going into this second game. And he is going to feel good about that. Lenly's had a couple hiccups here, but is holding it together beautifully. Right. Versus heading into game two. Crowd, are we ready for game two? No moving? Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Game two, round one. No moving around this time. All they get is their spawn location. What are we thinking? So, straight off the bat, this could be... Ooh, this could be a couple things. I'm thinking, realistically though, it might be the Philippines, but this is a little difficult. I think it is the Philippines, however, Lenly going in there. North Island seems to be his decision. Could make sense with these fields here. Consus seeming to follow suit as well on the North Island, a little farther south, if I did see that correctly, but similar guesses. Oh, what? Lenly decides to move a little more north. We will see. He has his settings open. What can he gain from that? Let's see, Consus and Lenly following suit, and Consus oh. on top of it with what information? Wow, what do you think gave that away for him? I think that that's just the showing of Consus. He's just able to region guess He's just so different. unbelievably well. Built different. Once again, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Lenny's gotta have some settings checked. But yeah, talk to me about that, that round and why, you know, at first, it, you, your first thought was, this is really difficult. Yeah, because uh, I loaded in and it seemed Philippines right off the bat, but I wasn't totally sure about where it might be. But the, with the fields and everything, it makes sense for the North Island. Um, it's, it's one of those things, though, where Philippines is a deceptively large country and region guessing can be quite difficult. There are certain players who are quite good at it. Cons is apparently one of them, yeah. showing how with no signs, no information, he can he get just, such He looks at the people guess. and he's like, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's my best friend. But uh, right. we are ready here to get into our round two. Lenly didn't take too much damage there, even though Constance did get such an incredible guess. Let's get started on our round two, which by the looks of it should be a Jordan round here. We have this sort of a desolate, deserty 
uh, vibe. vibe landscape in a black Google car. Definitely all line up for Jordan Lenly. And he's straight he's Going straight into the road. So the interesting thing about Jordan is there's not too many highways covered, and a lot of people kind of memorize the looks of each of the different highways, and therefore are able to spawn in and recognize the highway itself, and then just guess on that highway. Both seem to be zooming in on a particular highway, thinking they could be correct. We'll see if any of them are. They're trying to line something up using the compass trick. Looking straight down, you get the most accurate road angle on the map, as you can see our players doing there. With the, uh, They line up the compass to perfect north and south, and then on the map you can match the, the road with that uh, orientation on your screen. Consus in, Lenly in, but Consus on the exact 5K. 5K. Perfect. Yes. Both on the same road. Yeah. Road, same angle at each part. Yep. Even still, as impressive as that was, Lenly right there with him, just at a different intersection. Consus getting the right one, but both on the correct road. As we move into our round three, let's get the players straight in. So here we should be looking at an Iceland round. We do have this very, very flat, desolate, but green vibe and landscape here. We have a long antenna on the Google car, and as you might have seen on some of the players' screens, some yellow bollards, all very indicative of Iceland. Iceland, again, a country that has pretty particular coverage. Some players memorize a lot, both here committing to relatively specific things. Consist in one area, I was not exactly sure where Lenly zoomed in on. I think they are in the same area, though. So we will see. Yep, they sure are. So we will see both looking at different roads, trying to line up whatever they can see within the, 20 seconds. You can see the airport over in the distance, which I think is what they're looking oh, yes, at. There's true. the tails of the planes. True, true, true. That you can kind of see yep. sat away. And I, well, I don't know, but I doubt there's like tons of big airports in Iceland. No, I think it's just the <laughs> one. Popular, well, Reykjavik has a population of about 200,000, so yeah. it's not a big place. This is true. Both doing their best to find the lineup here based off of that airport constant, and they both get the 5K on round three. Is this our first double 5K? Of the day, of the day, most definitely. That is so impressive from both of these players, seeing that airport, making that educated guess. We are now going into round four on two and a half times damage. Let's get the players straight in. We should be looking at a France here. We have a lot of French indicators. We have French bollards as well as French signs and French chevrons there. We do have some town names. However, these are probably going to be very small towns. We do have a road name as well. However, as I've mentioned previously in this tournament, these yellow roads in France are duplicates. There are multiple of a D432. You could find the D432, and it could not be the same one that they're looking Who at. Who designed that system? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, it was the decision that was made. So here we are. Are they going to be able to find these tiny little towns? We will see. These little places in France, they're so cute. I don't know like how much you've explored France, but they're always <gasps> so Lenny. cute. Lenly! Lenly on top of it. What an incredible guess. I wonder if he saw one of the town names. Right on the border as well to Switzerland. So I, I wonder if like there's maybe like a German sort of town name mm. in there that he kind of recognized. Definitely possible. Definitely possible. Round five here. Three times damage. Lenly holding the lead. Let's get straight into it. So, if I'm not mistaken, we're looking at some new Panama coverage, which is Ooh. quite exciting. Panama just added to Google Someone's recently. Excited Someone's excited about that. Someone's excited about Panama. <laughs> Make some noise. Um, Panama was just added recently to Google Street View and therefore added to GeoGuessr. So, with it being such a recent ad, it'll be interesting to see what sort of guesses come out here as not as much meta or knowledge has been gained through about Panama yet for the game. So we'll see if these players can make good region guesses or not, if they've studied up on this new coverage. I think that's one of the most interesting things is seeing how, yeah, those new regions and, and how prepared players are for that. Both of these players, oh, Lenny yeah, they, hasn't... They seem they're, they're super like close they're to so each far, other. Like, they're so far, they're quite close to each other. Which is so interesting, but Lenny oh. almost on top of it. What is happening? Oh, what he is, looks happy oh, with himself geez. there. Oh, he is so happy about that. That is an incredible guess, seriously, showing out in this no-move game. Round Ooh. six. 
And look at that, round six, but look at the two numbers representing the health. It's like nothing's happened. Yeah, really not a lot of damage. They've really had such good and similar guesses so far in the snow moving game. Let's get our players into round six. So straight off the bat, we should be looking at something in Europe. Kind of hard to tell. We do have Gen 4 camera with an antenna, which can narrow things down to some sense, as certain Generation 4 countries have an antenna and certain don't. The newer Gen 4 coverage with the blue car has the antenna. So if these players are knowledgeable about that, that'll make help them and definitely influence their guesses. I feel like so many of these residential blocks in Europe look very similar, so it's going to be those little signs, like we saw the little triangle yeah, sign being little, looked at there. Romania, yeah, the Bulgaria, Romania, yes. both of which oh, we... do have them in two different countries with only 20 seconds left. Yeah. A Bulgaria and a Romania. Oh, Lenly staying Bulgaria. Consis in Romania. Who's going to be right? He seems like he might be a little bit suspect, maybe taking himself more closer, closer to closer Romania, to but it is oh. Romania and it's near the Hungary border. So Kans is closer and with that multiplier, that is quite a bit of damage. That's one of those rounds where I'd be really curious to, to know exactly what it was that gave it away, you know, when you have the, the disconnect between the two countries. Definitely, definitely, just small things. But round seven, four times damage. Lenly has now lost his lead. Consis about 900 points up. Let's get started on what should be an Italy round by the looks of it. So we look relatively flat here. Gen four, possibly Po Valley in the north of Italy could be a good guess. But we will see if these players can find any regional indicators or towns or anything of that nature to help them get a more accurate guess. There are some signs here that some of them see. Constance has a sign there. I wonder if that's helpful for him. Lenly has placed his marker north in the Po Valley. We will see with 30 seconds left, what can they do? I like the, looking at this sort of construction area, maybe some of the architecture. Yeah, definitely helpful. Constance, Po Valley as well. They are so close to each other. We shouldn't see too many points down here. But Lenly, oh. just slightly closer, gonna take a little bit of points off of Constance there with that multiplier. Both of them were pretty sure of the same area. Yeah. A little bit of distance. We're going into round eight with still both players having over 4,000 <laughs> health. Ridiculous. That is seriously impressive. And don't, don't forget, of course, that, you know, once we get to round 10, if no one's died, it's going to be the player who has the least health who loses it. And at yeah. this point, it's been very flip-floppy. It really has. I wonder who can take this round eight on by the looks of it. Uruguay, a small country. So we shouldn't have too many points here taken off. But we will see what happens if anyone can line anything up. The players wish they could move and look at those signs up there, but won't be able to. Uruguay, here we do have these white signposts, which are very helpful, as well as this yellow line with white dashes next to it, common in Argentina and Uruguay. These little uh, tree plantations as well, common. So with this four and a half times multiplayer, still small country, we could see some serious damage taken, but if Lenly wins this, it could even their scores out here going into round nine, which would be an exciting way to go. Both of them are really hovering around a very similar part of the country. Yeah, definitely. Both looking pretty far north by the looks of it, which does make sense. The, the dirt is a little bit more red, which happens farther north in Uruguay as you get closer to Brazil could be what they're looking at here. At least actually looking over considering a completely different road, which actually it looks like that's where Consus hasn't had time oh, to move. And it is quite far no north, but both players almost on top of each other, <laughs> only dealing 14 damage. Look at these scores going into a round nine. It is so wild to think that Lenny wasn't originally supposed to be here. Yeah, and he yet he's made it to the day in person and is up against Kansas in the quarterfinals and doing so well. Round nine here, let's get started. This looks like a difficult one. What are you thinking? So we do here have one of our Latin American antennas on the Google car in the back, which does narrow us down to either Mexico, Ecuador, Colombia, or Brazil. Oh, only that Google tiny car. area of the world. So then. just those 
tiny, <laughs> tiny countries. You know, not, 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 not a big deal on different yeah. sides of the equator and everything. But uh, they do have their compass there that they can use to help them figure out what hemisphere they're in. But seriously, a difficult round. There is a chance here we could see two different country guesses, truth, truthfully. We will see. It'd be kind of exciting, actually. Yeah, especially when you're just in an area like this, there's no signage, there's nothing to help you from that respect. Like, do you know your trees? Yeah, you can see Lenly there debating between Colombia and Mexico, bouncing back and forth. <laughs> two incredibly different guesses. He gives a little uh, whatever to the camera. With only 15 seconds left, where will he commit? Seems he's decided on Mexico, which does make a lot of sense. Kans is deciding Mexico as well, but Kans is in Oaxaca, Lenly in Chiapas, not too far apart. Oh, he moves oh, last second that's to Studio thing. Mex. Oh and he's my God! Lenly with the last second switch, taking 3,600 points off of Kansas in round nine. What a gut instinct! Wow. Deciding Kansas last is second. Not, not so happy about that oh, one. he's holding his composure <laughs> though. He knows this is round ten, and. Wow, with a 3,000 point differential between the two players. And he's had that lead, so he knew that in round 10 he would be the safe one, and suddenly that's changed, so Consus needs the guess. He really does here. Let's get the players started on round 10. Lenly, gonna feel so good about that guess as we get into what looks like a Baltic round, maybe Lithuania, something along those lines. We'll see what they can find. Not sure here. Well, that's where he's going for. But again, we'll he's given the little shrug. We'll see. He's done it. He's locked in Lithuania. If he is correct here, Lithuania is a small country. I don't think Constance can take the points back. He is closer, oh. and with that, he he's takes the no move game. They're going to go into a game three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game three. Look at Lenny in the camera, feeling great, feeling good, composing he, himself. He's experienced the spectrum of emotions. So no, far today, definitely. he just seemed so disheartened earlier, and now he's had this comeback. Constance looking calm. Yeah, to start with those technical difficulties for yeah. Lenly, he didn't, it seemed like that was and giving him a bit of stress. Put, he didn't even put a pin down. I know, in the beginning of the moving game, on the redo of the moving game, yeah. he didn't put a pin down yeah. game one, and and comes game two. <laughs> At this point, it's a flex. I don't yeah. need to put one down. Oh, I can yeah, still yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then if he wins the NMPZ game, he'll just be like, oh, I threw the game one on purpose. Oh. I didn't guess. I wanted the excitement. <laughs> oh, incredible. What, what an incredible showing from Lenly there, seriously. NMPZ. Who do you think, who do you think oh. has that edge? I mean, we've spoke so, spoken so much about how Constance is just built differently. Yeah. If I had to make my analytical standpoint knowing the players, I would say Contis had a, has definitely has a better chance here. But with what just happened in the no move game, it really just shows that in this game anything can happen. Luck can 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 come into play as well as skill and the players anyone really anyone can win. Man, and just to even think about the fact that that last round in that last game, you were saying it could be across four different countries in a huge continent, well, two different continents, actually, I suppose. Yeah. Like, and and to have still gotten that close in the very, very last millisecond. Yeah, Lenly, Lenly there literally going back and forth for the camera, showing yeah, Colombia, Mexico, Colombia, Mexico. Columbia. And then goes Mexico, would have been farther away, switches last second, and gets closest. That's the thing. You know, when you have this experience of playing the game, there must also be like this sort of otherworldly sense that you gain for things, like even if you don't know why you've picked it, in a situation like that mm -hmm. where there's not a lot of information to go off, you just kind of come to get the intuition for this is going to be this part of the world. And yeah. so it might feel like luck when actually it's just experience. Definitely. Definitely. And with all that said, we are ready for our NMPZ game. Are Conscious you guys ready for the Lenny. NMPZ game? Yeah. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready, <laughs> think we're ladies ready. and gentlemen. Let's get them straight in. This is their first round. So again, NMPZ, all you get one singular image and nothing else at all. This is what they have to work off of. Lenly instantly going Sri Lanka. A very good guess based off of these poles. Left side drive. Kans is thinking Sri Lanka as well. Let's see where they go. So Sri Lanka, not a massive country. So no multiplier, regardless of what happens. Shouldn't see too many points here. Both seem to be in a similar area, though. But, oh, Lenly moving away and locking in the gas. And both have, yeah, in fact, put, put themselves in the map. 
Yes, most definitely. They get the guesses in. Lenly, a little closer. Good way to start. Keeping the energy going, keeping the momentum going, taking a couple points off of Consus. Just wait to see what... Consus having a little bit of a word with the admin. Might be having a technical difficulty of his own, but uh, that is okay. It's a good start so far, obviously. Nothing, yeah. nothing too exciting. Yeah, yep. Lenly, Lenly going to be happy about uh, winning that first round. Look at, the, look at that crowd shot. Look at everybody. Isn't it wild? Time. All these people in this room here to see the first ever in-person Geoguessa World Cup. No, it's so exciting. Especially, I know a lot of people in the audience here today have a. Uh, I want to know what the, the furthest someone has traveled is. Yeah, I would. I would love I to know as well. I wonder if at some point it might Parler be a, might be zigzag. I think. Oh, he doesn't count. He's a player. Uh, I mean, I mean the fans. Yeah, yeah, we do see a lot. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we, yeah, 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 we do. Is that is that New Zealand flag? Yeah. No, Australian flag. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't count how many stars there were. <laughs> you were moving it. No worries. Yeah, but it is so exciting. A lot of people in the crowd, I'm sure, have uh, been in this community for a long time and really are happy to see some, some an event like this finally be put on and to truly just have a chance for these pro players to display their skill in such a big environment is, is so beautiful to see having been in the community for so long. And also everyone in this room is a nerd. <laughs> of course, we all gotta be. <laughs> Just making sure that I think Constance's keyboard is just getting changed out. But uh, yeah, no, Australian guys, how, how many hours did it take for you to fly here? 24 hours of flight. 24 hours of flying. Can anyone in here beat that? 28? Oh! 28? Where are you, where are you coming from? Where was 28 person? Where did you come from? Australia as Australia. well, makes sense. <laughs> Classic. I took two hours to fly here. Oh, okay, <laughs> two. That is insane. That Did is anyone insane. come here just from Stockholm? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> the Swedes in the house, incredible. Complete opposite ends then, yeah. you know. It took me 10 minutes to walk in. I just rolled out of bed. I would, that would do 10 minutes. I had like a 14 <laughs> hour travel day. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing Constance's it keyboard should be getting switched out soon and we will be able to restart when that is done. Thank you guys so much for your patience. Look at look at those players. Look at Zigzag. Look at Mackham. And now they're showing, Love showing how cool the, the audience. jerseys are. The jerseys are really cool. The jerseys are incredible. When I first saw them, I got so excited. Look at look at our players. Got the sweetest jersey. Shout also, out to like, Mackham. Maybe this is me just being a bit like of a fangirl, but it must be really cool to just represent in your jersey for something. Yeah. Like you grew up watching the Olympics and whatever. So exciting. You have all those players right up front row still in their jerseys. Very exciting. But we are ready to get back into the game. We are back with round two. NMPZ on what looks to be a golf course. Oh yeah, yeah, I was thinking that. Let's get the players straight in. This should be interesting to see a golf course round is not easy. That's not a lot to go off of. I hear the, the, audience, the is, audience is, uh, is, is having a, is a, having a the time here. Disquieted. <laughs> yeah. Really, you do not have I much mean, to go. I mean, yeah. Off at of. this point, what, you, what country do they play golf in? Like, yeah. everywhere. Oh, all of them? I don't know. No, this 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 seriously makes it so difficult. Truly, anything can happen I, here. I feel like at this point, you have to kind of feel like, okay, grass, tree, like generally foliage. Right, yeah, is what you want to be looking at. Yeah, about all you can do. You do have Generation 2 camera. You can tell by the little bit of a weird circle in the top um, of the screen there. That narrows it down in some sense, but like, look at Lenly there, confused, just as confused as yeah. us, just as confused as the audience. Maybe he goes France. He really does not know. Truly, anything can happen. Cons is in the UK, though. They're making relatively close-ish like, guesses. I could see that. I could see those trees it's in the UK. It's possible is in. <laughs> Lenly following suit. It's oh! Denmark. Wow, but technically Consus being closer. Those Danish guys in the audience are like, yeah, I knew that. Oh yeah, they're like, that's my golf course. <laughs> that's I, my I go there all that's the time. Where I, go yeah, I, fre I frequent there, <laughs> of course. That was that was crazy. Literally anything could have happened there. They could have guessed around the world yeah, from each that other. That was a hard one. Yeah, let's get them into round two though. They're both going to be honestly happy that it wasn't. Uh, too big of damage to anyone there because it really could have been devastating to either player. Round three here, we're looking at a Ghana by the looks of it, if I had to say. We will uh, we will see what these players think. Ghana, 
not too big of a country as well, not the whole country covered. So some players do know specific roads, things like that. It does look a little bit drier, so a farther north guess could make sense here from Lenly. Consis, just looking at the country on his map, not exactly sure where he's gonna go. We do have, we do see that we are on an east-west road, so that is helpful as well. Could possibly see a 5k here. It is doable if the players know certain coverage. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, given the limited options here in Ghana, I'm curious to see how close these two players actually go to each other, because right now they don't look to be on yeah, top of each don't. other. No, Consis that's a distance. Closer. It is farther south. Lenly did commit pretty far north. Only 900 points taken down, that is not horrible. Could definitely be worse, especially if we were farther into the game with a bigger multiplier. Round four here, this is the image our players get. Let's send them straight in. So straight off the bat here, this is a little hard to go off of. Maybe a Mexico could be something like that. It looks pretty flat. But seriously, this is it. They have some, oh, Ooh. Lenly considering Dominican Republic. Again, they cannot see the car here. Dominican Republic does have a specific car. So if they could see the car, that would help them. They can't, however. So will they be correct? Lenly guessing Santo Domingo, hoping for the Dominican Republic. It seems Constance is considering it as well. And he Ooh. does, but he goes the Northern City and it ends up being Ooh. Ecuador. Wow. And isn't wow. that crazy? They both picked the same country, not the right one, but it actually means the difference in what they did. Yeah. You know, they're kind of equidistant. It's like yeah. one of you's in Brazil, one's in Russia, but it's actually in Algeria, like yeah. that kind of thing. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> it, well, it really does show that, like, based off the knowledge we learn in this game, players really do make similar guesses, and they yeah. must have been seeing things that were making them both think Dominican Republic. I feel like it's the kind of round that players will take away and learn from Definitely. that one. Yeah. Definitely. Let's get them into round five. Round five here, this is all they have to work with. This singular image, we do see some poles, these big cylindrical poles like that could be possibly a Slovakia, something along those lines. A little bit hard to tell here. Let's see what the players can do. Yeah, kind of like Central European vibe. We can obviously zoom in and have a look around on our PC, but no one else can. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Lenly thinking Czechia here, which makes sense as well. The pole here is probably their biggest indicator, as that is common in both Czechia and Slovakia, that specific concrete cylindrical pole, very smooth. Used to be one country, so makes sense. It's true, can look very similar, can United be United in confused. their poles. Yeah, they seem to both be committing to Czechia here with 10 seconds left, but Kons is oh, closer. Just. just slightly closer, taking 600 points off Lenly here. Lenly really is gonna be hoping for a comeback as they move into the next round. We'll see what he can do, though. They both look calm. They both look ready to go as they go into round six. Three and a half times damage. This is the image they get. This will what be easier. What can they do? This should be a little easier. We do have some information, but as for like language and things along those lines, but what they can actually get from that particular image, we will see. Lenly going Taiwan, not overthinking it, just gonna guess right away, picked a specific random city. Looks like Consus, oh, they are, they are going the same. They are going just about the same city, so we shouldn't see too many points here. Let's see. Oh, it's Taipei, but they both made such similar guesses. Good guesses if they wanted a hedge, not sure. A lot of the urban Taiwan can look relatively similar, so it's definitely safe to make a guess like that centrally understandable. Yeah, we saw a bit of a hovering over Taipei, but yeah, you're committing too far north and the risk of it being somewhere else. Yeah, too big at this stage, the quarter finals, round seven, four times damage. This is what they get. Should be a Columbia here. We do have a yellow front plate and off in the distance, there are some signs that do look like Colombian signs as well. The yellow center line, outer whites, right drive, all indicative of the Americas, but that yellow plate there's a really big help to narrow down Colombia. Let's see here, Lenly is uh, considering I'm just North watching Consus' eyebrows. Oh yeah, you're just watching, look at the, yeah. yeah. Look at the focus they on tell a Consus story. there. They are, we haven't seen the human zoom too much yet. Lenly is pretty close to his uh, to his monitor though. It's the eyebrow pout, eyebrow pout. 
kind of um, yeah. routine. Lemley looks like he is deciding to go east of Andes, and Constance is not. He's going to a pretty different area here. So we will see who ends up being correct. I think if Constance anyone. is going to be closer, but it's hard to tell. East of the Andes is usually a little more flat, and we do see some mountains off in the distance. So we'll see, but it could, it could be correct, especially if he moves it there. That is a pretty good guess. We'll see, though, with th only three seconds left. Lenly commits, Constance commits, oh. and he's closer. Yeah, that Constance guess did make a little bit more sense in my eyes. Pans out really well for him there. A serious, serious lead for Constance going in around it. And you could tell Lenny's reaction that he was kind of like, well, yeah, I could have been wrong, I could have been right. But it does mean that he needs some big guesses going forward. He really does. And on a round like this, this is where he's really going to need it. By the looks of it, we're in Brazil. So let's get them straight in. A massive, massive country here. This could be our game ender if Constance wins the round. We will see. So we do have, by the looks of it, a Brazil pole there and this very red dirt. Some people like to call it the Brazilian dirt. Um, Imaginatively named? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so creative. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this really massive country. So we'll see. Constance committing pretty far south. I didn't see exactly what state he was in. I think Mato Grosso just Seoul and Lenly Mato Grosso. That's... That is close, but a pretty big distance. That is a massive country. So with two seconds left, who will be closest? Oh, he moves closer to Contis. But oh. Contis on top of it with four and a half times damage. That is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Contis moves on. What a well-played game between these two players, especially considering where some of those mistakes happened, the no moving round that Lenny just pulled in his favor, but yeah. Consus, he's the favorite for a reason, man. He is the favorite, he has not lost, he has not lost any games, and he continues that streak right there with that win. It's gonna be going forwards into the semi-finals, but we obviously still have more quarterfinals to go, and I hope that they're all like that, because we've been yeah. very fortunate to have two NMPZ rounds so far out of two games. Yes, so the NMPZ is so exciting. It really is. I'm so happy we got to see that. And uh, congrats to both players. And we'll be saying goodbye to Lenly. He did well. But before then, we're going to be heading down to Parla, who's going to be speaking to our winner. Thank you, Gio. First things first, yes, commiserations to Lenly. Nonetheless, how was that experience competing on the stage? Very nice, very nice. Um, do you think that the game could have gone better for you? Do you think you could have played more optimally? I mean, obviously, I missed the guess. <laughs> so yeah, could have gone more optimally. But uh, yeah, I guess with the in the first round that had a rematch, I clicked a lot further south, like at least 10 times with five seconds left. Um, my pin just didn't move, so the rematch was possible. And then I think I was like a little bit out of it. Uh, missed the first guess, which was super unfortunate. And um, yeah, couldn't fight back from there. Glad with my no moving game. I'm okay with my NMPC game, but I think overall Consus really deserved that one. So yeah, congrats to you. Before we chat to Consus, once again, everybody, let's not forget that Lenly was not necessarily supposed to be here. He was filling in for a player that couldn't make it, and nonetheless, he made it to the stage. Give it up for our boy one more time. It is Lenly! All right, but now we must turn our attention to the victor. He's been hailed as one of the favorites throughout the whole competition, even the qualifiers. Mate, you've made it to the semi-finals. How does that sound? Sounds amazing, definitely. Corsus, give me your thoughts on the matchup. It was a bit back and forth, but overall, I think you played very consistently and very well. I think I started off very well in the first moving game, and then it was unfortunate that uh, the work happened. Uh, second moving game, I also started very well. And yeah, I'm, I'm, gl I'm really glad with my moving games and like in no move, Lenny really showed up and like I, yeah, I missed barely anything, and especially the Mexico guess, almost 5k, really impressive. <laughs> Conscious final question, your opponent in the semi-finals will be Fungus, any thoughts on that matchup? Um, well, Fungus, I rate him very highly, so it's definitely a tough matchup. Tough matchup in the semi finals for Consus. Everybody give it up once again for our boy from the Netherlands! Now we hyped up that Consus Lenly match, and I'm so 
glad it delivered and in more dimensions than I ever could have suspected. I've never seen a regame like that that went so well for the player who kind of screwed over there. Man, I was at the edge of my seat the entire game, coming down to the last NPC in Brazil. That's, that's what more could you want? That was amazing. Yeah. yeah, there were so many good guesses from Lenly, and like even when Lenly had an excellent guess, Consus was like 50 meters ahead. It edging, was nuts. Yeah. At his best, Consus kept sort of edging it out. And it feels like if, if you replayed this series like 10 times, you know, maybe it's five to five or something yeah. today, right now. Yeah, Lenly was definitely playing out his mind. One, pl one player just gets Ecuador there, you know, it's game. <laughs> yeah, true. I, how is that not Dominican Republic? I don't know, actually. But yeah, anyways, that was, yeah. Lenly played out of his mind, and you yeah, know, props to him, props to him. Yeah, the ability to keep his head in it, the, the chip damage throughout, how close they were, every single guest, just shows the level of competition that we're at here at the tournament on this final day. Let's take a quick look, actually, at the bracket, take a look at just how few players remain. Radu, Trabota coming up, then Blinky, Jalotris. Wow, a lot yeah, of competitors. And that, uh, that last series went on for quite some time, you know, three three games in both best of three so far. And then in our next match, RC versus Trabota, like that's that's going to be even more hectic. Like you might even say that the two, okay, we have an upset maybe in the first round, then we have Consus who's supposed to win, ends up winning. In this next matchup, I have no idea. This is one of those where you could easily have, this could have easily been the grand final. This next match, I will probably, we should see a, an NPZ game. If not, we got super, to. we have to. We, we have gotta to start with NMPZ, honestly. Man of my, man of my breed, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was. Uh, I cannot wait to see RC versus Turbo. That's going to be one of the most competitive games in GSR history. And oh, here we are for it. So. That's a statement. It, it has to be. It has to be. Oh, I'm very excited. The way you guys have hyped up this next match, it sounds like we're in just for a veritable buffet of beautiful Geo Guesser matchups throughout the rest of the day. We are. Yeah, Dude. I was putting those words in your mouth. That was beautiful. No, that was beautiful. So I, mean, well said, I, was... I mean, this is World Cup. All the players here is like such a high level gameplay. I'm like, Wanderers probably saw, I'm like so excited to just like watch these games as yeah. a fan and just like, man, just like at the edge of my seat, honestly. And I, like, you don't see people choking because of the stage. Like, I feel like they're playing better. Everyone seems thing. locked in. Yeah, I, I'm actually surprised to see how confidently and how good guesses. We haven't seen like one major blunder yet that usually you see like- I mean, if one person, it was only the one blunder. If one person got the wrong country, they both did almost, I, and honestly. I'm also surprised that both players even got the right like region of the world on that golf course. Yeah, the golf course, That yeah. was like, I was like, for longers, if it ends on this, like- this I, was is, like, I was like, is that a golf course? I'm like, wait, <laughs> this trekker moment. But yeah, AI Gen. I like that Lenley did so well that we don't consider his like, I, I honestly thought it was for honor when he didn't lock in a, a vote at the regame. Oh yeah. I was like, I would call that a blunder, but you know what? No, look at this guy. He's just like, yeah. take it, take it, take your 5 He wants yeah. to be conscious at his strongest. Yeah. Gosh, well, once again, I'm going to touch on the sportsmanship, the incredible gameplay that we've seen. And we've got a lot more of it for you here at the GeoGuessr World Cup. Taking a short break when we come back, we've got RC versus Trabota. They say it's going to be a good one. I bet it will be.
내 머릿속엔 오로지 두어 달 내가 좀 잘나간다 해서 멈출 거란 생각은 마내 앞엔 세상이 펼쳐 있어 yeah. 별들과 걸어가 oh yeah. 까맣게 꼬인 내 통장은 안 비대 한번 멈추진 않아 꼭대기까진 난 시작도 아직 안 했는데 It's the GeoGuessr World Cup. We're coming to you live from Stockholm, Sweden, and we are heading right into our next match in playoffs. That's going to be RC versus Trabota. Two incredible players who have made it so, so far into this tournament, but who? Who is going to take it a step further, Geo? This is such a hard one, because I think, like, Trabota had one of the hardest knockout games yesterday to actually be able to get in. I, I actually yeah. don't want to make a prediction. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. It, it really is. I mean, oh, Trabota is really so good, and there have been a, a lot of people in the community who think he is one to maybe take the whole thing here. Mm. So this will be exciting. He did make it here to the quarterfinals, but he is up against Radu, who is unbelievably good as well. I think, however, we make it to NMBZ. I think Trabota takes the win. Interesting. I did see him gain strength over his last match against Apotic. It seemed like the later and later they got, the less the camera could move, the more certain he was about where it had landed. An amazing skill to have, but RC, another player, where does he distinguish himself among the three game modes? 
Uh, I think he's really strong in all. I think he'll be stronger in moving than Trebota will be. Um, but I, th I think it'll more come down to where he's stronger in, in knowledge about the world. I think RC definitely has a different skill set for certain countries that Trebota might not have. For instance, RC, you put him in something like the US, massive country, I think he's gonna make the better guess there. He has a very extensive knowledge in the US. Oh, that's going to be a little scary, but we haven't seen many continental, at least North American points, at least, you know, ones that I would maybe have driven past and can recognize. Once again, completely blown away by everyone's ability with pinpointing not yeah. just the country, not just the city, but we've had some right on top of the hotel, right on top of the point. Now tell me, Gio, which has been the most impressive for you so far that you've seen today? Oh, man. Um... Oh, don't That's say that. One. I have I, ones like written <laughs> down and now I'm like, I'm unprepared. Um, what the was fungus the, the, fungus, the fungus 5K in Turkey? Is what, in Turkey. That was, where, that was yeah. where I was trying to remember yeah. where it was. And I didn't I was mean to quiz failing. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's fine. But like, that was definitely a very impressive one. That was really impressive. Like last second, he just is like, oh, here's a town. Oh, this might line up. The audience sees it. They see it. All lines up. 5K. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing more impressive than a 5K on the main stage here today. Constance was able to do it twice, too, after that regame. But I know these next two players also extremely confident. Let's hear what they have to say about how they think this is going to go. It, it feels good as there's not that much Singaporeans playing this game. So I feel honored to represent country. My goal is to reach top four, at least, and get at least a bronze. I have a good chance. It's really cool that I'm able to. Um, obviously, that's where my heritage is from, but um, I'm glad to just be here anyways in the first place. Goal is at least day two, and hopefully, you know, you obviously you want to try and win it all, but you just have to see how it goes. Welcome back to the stage, everybody. How are we doing? I know many of you are enjoying the snacks and uh, com complimentary materials next door, but there's still a swathe of you here. Thank you for sticking around. Up next, something very special. It is our third quarterfinals. Everybody in here, I want you to raise the roof for our next two competitors. Are you ready? On the one side, we have someone hailing from Romania, and then on the other, we have from Singapore. Please make some noise for Radu and Trabunda! First things first, Radu and Trabota, are you feeling the energy in the room? Definitely. Um, lots of noise. You can hear from out there. Um, it's, wow. Yeah, amazing. Trabota, are you enjoying the atmosphere? Yeah, it's pretty good. There's lots of people here and uh, people that I know from the community, and it's very exciting to meet all of them. <laughs> Absolutely is. Guys, are you ready for this matchup? Are you ready to play? Yep. Trabota? Yep. And with that being said, everybody in this room, one last time for our competitors, raise the roof! All right, two more players heading to our onstage booths to face down this gigantic crowd and hopefully summon the skills, the knowledge, and the courage to overcome in this matchup. Now, uh, we're familiar with RC, are we not in the community? A well-known yes. player. Tell me a little bit about him, what yeah, we know about him. So RC has been in the community for years. He's truly like one of the original players of this game and original content creators in this game as well, has lots of content on YouTube. One of the people I actually watched when I was first starting the game, well, probably three years ago now. Um, but then on the other hand, you have a player like Trabota, one of the most almost like private players in the community, like doesn't share a lot. We've all just seen his face for the first time at this event. And it's, it's honestly, a, that's a pretty big difference between the two of them, which is interesting. I do want to point out that yesterday when we spoke to Radu, he said that even if he does really badly, at least it's content. 
Yeah, yeah. Valid. <laughs> that but, you know, I feel like it's a testament to yeah. where he's come from and priorities as well. <laughs> yeah, the content mindset. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything's content. <laughs> it's it's great content, but it's interesting when you meet a player that doesn't prioritize content that has been so private. So. When we're talking about Trebota, when you say that the community is excited to see his face for the first time, to get to know him through this event, how well did they know him, know of him? What did they know about him before this? Really not much. We knew he was from Singapore, but he, in chats, he, he wouldn't say a lot. Um, and he. But he would show up in chat. He would. But he wouldn't talk. He wouldn't talk that much. Okay. But oh. he'd be around. We, we love a lurker. Don't worry, folks. No, of course, of course. So it's it's really great to see him and get to know him better, and I'm sure everyone's loving a chance to finally meet him. I know uh, Rainbolt, for instance, was like, when he first saw him in person, was like, oh my god, Trigoda, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> what an enigma. Yeah. No, it's great. And then, obviously, the that good, great nickname, Trigoda. Yeah, I wanted to double down on that. That wasn't a mispronounce, folks. He is goaded, and the tournament has acknowledged it as well as his fellow players. Take a look at some of his stats on the screen there. 54% win rate for rounds. For Seven 5Ks. Yeah. I think that might be the highest we've seen. Yeah, it has to be. Well, it definitely has been today, but yeah. I, I don't know if anyone else has been I able think, to beat that. I think he must be leading 5Ks in the tournament. That is insane. And I know at least two of those came in no move pan zoom? Yeah. That in is the impressive. same game. Does that scare other players? Like, has there been a, like, a yes. among the... Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think people are scared of that. I really think so. If you say so. you're not scared of that, you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's a scary, scary guy to go oh. up against, especially on MPZ, well, pulling out things like that. Let us live in fear no longer, folks. Sounds like our players are ready. I know our casters are, so let's get this next match started. Thank you so much, Rachel. Uh, this is going to be hectic. I... I'm a huge Trebota fan. I'm a huge RC fan. Yeah. I don't think either of them want to be in this quarterfinal, though. This is one of the hardest. Yeah, it's like when you see you're going up against RC or Tre Trigoda, I should say, it's like, wow, that that is a finals. Like I said before, it's like one of these, I can't wait to see what happens. Like, I just can't wait. It's anyone's game. Yeah, and talking to him, at, like interviewing after his last win, which was intense game um, versus Topotic, he said, it's the same thing. Playing same thing. in person, no problem. and. Honestly, we just saw, I think, so. I, I swear, just off of my poor memory, I would say most of his 5Ks were on NMPZ. It was something yeah. absurd. If it, like, it's not, it, the fact that it's not even that hard of a reach to say he got like five at least in NMPZ is like, yeah. speaks testament to, to his gameplay. So it would be wrong, folks, if we didn't get to round three in this matchup, uh, but I don't think RC wants to let it go there. So let's see, let's make some noise for our contestants, Trapota and RC. <laughs> Shout out to Tycho RC, RC Cola. All right, we're in game one of the moving. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, Trebota isn't that experienced of a moving player. Is like this he, a Thailand? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the players will tell us in a, in a second here. But, uh, yeah, so, like, Trebota isn't. He's just, like, only an NPC mainly focused guy, but RC does main, you know, the moving. So this is an interesting round, like, almost unlike anything I've seen before with these yellow outer lines. Oh, those are, that, they have a, there's a castle here. This is a castle. Is this going to be like the UK Oi yeah. Brubs, maybe? Yeah. I think, the, I think that little tuck-tuck thing in the beginning was throwing me off a bit. But let's see where the players do move and what they do see. Um, it's a it's a pretty... These it, bollards do look uh, interesting. This is like a Lord of the Rings type of town that they're driving through It does right look like they're driving left. So that would indicate UK or Ireland, depending on what side of the road they are driving on. If, if, if I could, is that a ladder pull, potentially? They're moving so I'm fast. getting claustrophobic yeah. on these streets. They're so skinny. And wait, I saw some French on that yeah. side. Okay, France does make sense. We're going to be in France. Oh. It's weird because that, that's going to be uh, the yellow outer lines there is interesting. But where where we, are all the castles in France? Good question. Near castles. Wait, hold on. Portugal? Portuguese. Portuguese. You did not see France. French, unfortunately. That wasn't French. That was, I thought it said parquet. There is a yellow strip on that license plate there. So Lisbon is a very urban area. We'll see where the players do end up going. Is here. this Lisbon though? Probably some, it's somewhat urban. Listen's wow. a good guess. RC's getting it right. Oh my god. Okay, so he that's, went right for it. It was just a, a little bit off to the west. That's a wild round one. I'd be very interested in seeing where they go in them there. That's almost. Kind of, that's kind of like the best case situation. It like it appears to be identifiable, but it, at the same time, it's very yeah, it's hard like, to figure out. It's one of those where you you don't really see rounds like that very often. Do you so. feel like that with this round? This is like the urban urban Europe where it's like you get these like Soviet like like apartments. It's kind of it's up in the air a bit. 
but rounds like this, I would usually go like a like a. Did RC check Bulgaria the copyright? Or something? Is that what he looked at on the floor? A blur? What RC is the guy that does like to look at copyrights a lot. To oh, see, he's to a like nerdy sure. type. He's, he's the nerdy an, type. He's, yeah, that is a newfound uh, meta. It looks like there might have been Sherlock on that sign there. Seeing where the players do end up guessing here will be interesting. I just love how much they're taking advantage of moving around, though. Like compared day one to day two, like people are yeah. moving a lot more around one. Maybe that's a testament to moving players do have somewhat of a, an advantage here. But Trebota is moving. Is that a Russia pull there? If that is a Russia pull, that would make sense. And we are going to be in Russia. There's a Russian pull. Oh, okay. But, you know, Russia is a big place. It is a big place. It could be one of those things where. Can he translate how. What, what's Turboda doing right now? Is he reading that? Is he Looks translating? Like Most players at this level do can read Cyrillic wow. and can translate the That's, Cyrillic. That is incredible. And RC, you know, RC is probably the best Ukrainian uh, player when it comes to Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine region guessing. Okay, so. we got a Moscow guess here. It Moscow, looks like safe guess. Safe guess. Is that, can you really hedge inside of... Russia, wow, wow that's RC tough. going two for two. Ooh, RC, clean one here, extra 700, 700 points. points. And he's looking he's looking calm, cool, and collected right there. That's a big find. That's a big find. But Trebota, he's not, he's not letting it get to him as we're being around three here in southern Sweden. Shout out to Sweden. Southern, southern Sweden, let's go. I can see you guys out here in the field. We got the yellow dash, or the yellow, or the white dash, our lines. And I think this car here is distinct to southern Sweden. We'll see if the players do back me up there. RC's instantly zooming quick. in into southern Sweden. And we will see he's probably something similar here Following to suit here. Trebota. Just uh, just below Gothenburg. Do we like Gothenburg? <laughs> there was, that was an, an emphasis there's on beef, the note there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Both uh, players still... Around the same spot, however, in between... It, it looks like Gothenburg and Malmo. Here it is. And, oh, it's Super actually style. just east of Malmo. That was downtown Paula. Will that be costly? <laughs> yeah, downtown Paula. 176. Small, small damage if you go into round four here on 2.5x damage. It's not perfect so far, but they're both sort of equally off, so okay. As we get into round four here, let's start it. Keep it going. Yeah, let's Definitely going to be Europe here. The question is where in Europe. Looks like we do have a, a stop sign here. Yeah, we here pave that... our roads in NA. Okay. <laughs> True. Yeah, definitely the best pavement in NA. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Is that is They're it Serbia? In to the Serbia. Trebota here is, which does make sense here. We do we do not have an antenna on the back of the car. Let's see where uh, what RC finds and see what information he can bring here to the table. And Trebota is going for the road here, actually. So he does have 39 seconds to see if he can find the road. He does have oh, seven five Ks. Look Will how he close eight he's getting. Is a question. That's scary. You know when Trebota gets close, that you when, gotta when be Trebota worried. looks at the pavement, oh, you know oh, to be worried. Oh, RC still looking for information. Up, probably looking for more signs until he finds. He does obviously know the country here, so I don't think he is looking for that, but he's just looking for... I think Trebot is loving the amount of time that he's been given here because he's getting very specific with it. And now he's got that zoom in for Marcy. And they're both in a very similar region here. This is a small country. There will be very minimal points here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Trebota can afford to... Or, sorry, RC can afford to lose a little bit of health. I don't know if Trebota can as we start to climb the rounds, and he's been chipped down 1,200 damage. Last second, and there's the lock, and RC. oh my god, he's right on it! Four, nine, 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 you 80 should have points let him, down to Trebota. You said to let him cook. It's unfortunate that he does not get credit for the 5K there. True. But it's in our heart, it counts. Yeah. In our heart, it does count. Round five. You had to watch it live, folks. Yes, exactly. 3X damage. And looks like we were, it looks like a, it looks like it would be in the UK, but we don't have a yellow backplate there, which would indicate maybe it's going to be Ireland. I was going to say Scotland. Scotland. Okay. Um, we'll see if you're right here, as both players are playing. And zooming in the trash can, look for information there. We do have the last plate on board there. I wonder if there's any information for the players oh, there. Yeah. RC looks, he's looking at the trash can, both doing the same thing. Trebota's slightly ahead. Let's see what they end up seeing. They'll turn in some corners. Oh, is that the, the new electric car that's, that they have? That, in, I think he got, he got some kind of Ireland. confirmation. So this is the new electric car Google you did drive, I think, in Dublin, oh. which is just around the, dub, the, the Dublin suburbs. Now RC is just like, where in Dublin? That's the only question. Did, did Trebota get the same information on Dublin? Yeah, yeah I think okay. so. I think they both saw that. So that is good information. Oh, we got a street sign here for RC. He's getting closer. Yeah, and so it is in Dublin and surrounding areas, so that would New make Castle, sense. Newcastle, three but, miles you know, away. Again, so small area, not going to be very many, very many points here, I don't okay. think. Which is kind of fun, because then you Just for rounds. the confidence, yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, we could go all the way uh, to round 10 and easily RC, in all three of these rounds. Yeah, RC with information is deadly. Like, you just don't want to give that guy information. He knows every... Oh, my God. Wow, and they're both getting so close. What the hell? Four, look at that. Oh, four, wow. nine, nine. Nine. What more could you want? Has that ever happened before? That's, yes. It has. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Has but it happened before on land? No. Okay, let's there you go. go. That's all that matters. You got to witness history, folks. Exactly. Round, oh, this will be fun. Round six in Turkey. Let's see who has the Turkey advantage here.
Gia Lotris is Arthur fisted right now. Wants yes, to play he's like, so where badly. Where is my seed? Where is this in my seed? He might get it. Let's see who has information. We do have the white gen four with antenna, which is a very th common thing in Turkey. Okay. Trash bins. First trash bins, man. RC does love his trash. You actually can't pick. <laughs> you, you can't pick those up with your hands. <laughs> they're heavy. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Look, Trabilla's scanning for information. Looking at the roofs. You know, a little birdie told me, Julius. He told me it's maybe a fake meta, but the 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 these roofs maybe are more common west. We'll see if that's... Oh, uh, West. Okay, let's see if we're spreading main... misinformation live on broadcast. I would never do that, personally. I would yeah. never do that. Let's see where both players do end up going here. There is a lot of... Are we translating here in Turkey, or are we trying to translate? I, I don't think they're translating. Okay. I don't think. It could be the case, but maybe Trebota. You know, you never know with that guy. Another peek at the garbage can. Any detail? Are there any, like, cities? Yeah, usually there's cities. There. That's, why they, that's, why they, that's why they're oh, looking there. Looks like he's got enough info now. And RC is going pretty central here. And let's see if we see some similar things. It's been a flawless game so Trabilla far from going. RC, folks. Down to one second, and now we're going to lock in. Wow. And wow, another good guess Great from RC. Guess wow. Oh, that's expensive. 3,300. Oh, oh wow. my god. 3,300 points left for Trebota. No idea that that Turkey was going to do that, that much damage. Oh, learn the roof. Learn the roofs, I guess, yeah. is a, is a consistent Happy wow. Thanksgiving, folks. That was a good one. <laughs> Turkey reference. I like it. Round seven, 4x damage. <laughs> also, shout out to late, you know, Canada Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed it. Yep, yep, yep. Round seven. Let's do it. And uh, I saw Masala, so is this India? It is, yes. Oh my God. And this is where I'm worried. I'm I don't know who's better here. I don't know who knows more information on moving here. The question is, what do they find? Well, by proximity. They find it first. He would this is anyone's game. Even for Trevoda, he might have the advantage here. There is information in English, or at least Latin alphabet there, yeah, that will help. True. Arabian tea. Arabian looks tea. Good. I'm down for that. That's meta? Arabian tea. It could be, could be. Okay. Because Are you thinking that uh, you can make fake meta? No one knows. General region here, if you had to, no in, idea. in no, idea. no you, idea. You, you match the language. South and North. Sure. It's tough, eh? Okay. Yeah, so meta, you know, I don't know if the players know either. To well, be Trebota needs a, a bad guess to come out at this point because R R R RC is on a flawless run so far. Yeah. Wow. Flawless. You're right. He hasn't lost any points. Oh, Sri Lanka. Okay. Right in the Dude, middle of the it. New, the new Sri Lanka cam. You're right. That so, Sri Lanka did release the new poop cam, is what we like to call it. The, oh, the Dookie cam. Yeah, the Dookie right. cam. Oh my God, is this going to? Wait, they're and we're in different. Wait, land. wait, main land for wait, who RC. Doesn't know the, wait, who's right? And I don't who's know. Who's right? We'll find oh, out. Oh my God, it's India. But you know what? They're actually so close together. Barely any points. Oh, two one. But That's. I will say. Listen, I got guess shame for going Sri Lanka on an India round the other day by a certain player that did compete. Okay. It's a. It's a fine guess. It's a fine guess. It's same fine language. Guess. Okay. Same polls. It's uh, that's not a blunder at all. Oh, he's shaking his head. That's not a bad guess by by Trebota in any means at all. Yeehaw, baby, we're in America now. Um, no. Okay. You want to tell us where we are, though? Yeah, it's, uh, I, I, because I was just joking. Yeah, these poles. You know where these poles are found, correct? Of course. In uh, a, a country with a bunch of cows, maybe one would say. <laughs> well, Brazil. Uruguay. Uruguay. You're close. Damn it. Okay. We're close. And this is a very small country. And listen, if you're Chibota and you're getting Uruguay in round nine, you're like, wow, or round eight, this is like a... Not, not good because then you only have round nine and round ten to pick up six K points from Trebota, which he hasn't, or right. from RC, which he hasn't let any points go yet. So, Trebota just drove into the middle of nowhere just by a tree just to click on RC. this, and wow, they're so close. But RC comes out ahead again. RC, six thousand. Wow, well, he does it. In oh your my God, a flawless round versus Trebota. Wow, RC takes one round. Please. He didn't lose any points. Wow, and that just shows how dominant he is in moving games. Insane. That's wow. insane. But listen, it's not. That's not going to be the same story. No mover in NPZ. Trebota won't let that happen. And this will be. It's, this will come down to the wire. We see the remaining flags here in the crowd. Oh yeah. RC is is pretty dominant. That moving. was arguably insane. one of. You know. How many times does Trebota get flawless, even in a in a moving game? Not often. Not oh, often. Really? RC just played out of his mind there, really, yeah. really, really well. That's a, that's a clean wound. I mean, that's 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 a beautiful way to start off your day, honestly. And probably the hardest quarterfinal on average between yeah. the two competitors. This one stacked. Hasn't lost a single point of damage. Now we're going to move on to no moving. This is where it gets really interesting with Trebota and RC. You know, RC, I would, you know, a couple of years ago, I would consider him like very, 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 you know, mainly moving. But over the years, I think he's progressed his his no moving skills a lot, especially in NPZ and no move. And I think he spent a lot of time training specifically for this World's Cup in different Ooh. countries that he maybe had more weakness in. That's also smart, you know, no matter what kind of player you are, to understand what kind of format you've got exactly. and take advantage of it. Exactly. Even knowing who you're playing and how, you know, if you're playing Trebilla, you're like, I need to take the round one moving. If I don't, that's not yeah. good. Okay, so we got no moving right in the middle of Jakarta. 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Round one, one next damage. In Brazil. Brazil. I just, I never get that. Does you know, the dirt change hues? RC, it does. I want to go Acri here, and I like RC's Whoa. guess here in Acri, or at least he's zooming in. You know, A Lock taught me this actually, on okay. A Lock's vegetation doc, maybe. Okay, well, he, he taught me that the houses files. on stilts are very common in Acri. So we'll see if that's a real meta or if uh, what, what's going on here. You know, I'm, RC, I feel like, has probably learned a lot from different players. And they're, look, they're in the same town in, in Brazil. That's insane. What, what's the, what is the tell, sorry, the vegetation that you said? For the, uh, well, at least as far as I know, it's the houses on stilts is all I, all I know. Oh, you know okay. It's uh, very common in Acri. Man, right on the right border. On the border there. They are Great just guess. inches wow. away from each other. 11 damage on Trebota, and, but it's know. just one more round where RC doesn't take any damage. Yeah, that's great. This is this is going to be fun. No move. Round 2 of 10, 6K to 5, 9, 8, 9. Let's run it. Great painting in round oh, 2 here. God, Let's start it off. beautiful. Yeah, great. Oh, wow. This looks like a Bob Ross. <laughs> True. In Italy. Let's see where who... You know, this is like a something I, like the type of round I see like RC Loki like... 5Ks somehow. Oh, seriously? Not really, but like so it's like one of those where like I could see it in like a in the world only for like if he's going people. to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you know they've got they can't move obviously, but on this highway they've got lots of mountains, and so are they trying to read their position based on the mountains specifically? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much overall, like how you know where can we see the mountain range and where we, we have got the a lineup coming in. We have two in or we have one in Sardinia. Does uh, RC also commit Sar Sardinia? Who's getting That's the question? Ooh, he's he's thinking. He's thinking. I think I think Trebo, I think I saw Trebo zooming into Sardinia there. He might have found that perfect bend right there in the middle of the Doesn't highway. He is. No lock though. He does give his opponent a lot of time. Ooh, he, RC, he, yep, he he's committing. He's committing. Oh my God! Where are he we? He does it. He blocks a second. Oh! Oh my God! God. Damn. That was a very that was the same energy as like as Lindley's Mexico guess. Woo. Last second, getting the exact region. He's Licked smiling over. at that. He's, he's like, that okay, cheeky okay, little okay, smile from okay, RC. Okay, RC, we see you. Trebo, that's still disaster stuck. averted. Still stun locked. <laughs> Getting in to the next round, three, in game this two brilliance. on, no moving. And this is one of those where it's just very urban Europe. Europe, but like central, southern. I would say. Oh, no, wait, eastern. No, there's, uh, I see. Yeah, there's Cyrillic here, so yeah, we will be in Bulgaria. Yeah, okay. With blue strips, uh, should be Bulgaria, I think. I'm not sure where. Okay, well, I think maybe Trebota can tell us. Yep, both players are in Bulgaria, so this will be uh, no points there. A see. safe one, and they do like to take their time RC, again. But, how is oh he my doing God, it? RC! How? He can't be stopped. He hasn't taken a point of damage in he two hasn't. rounds. And, like, listen, listen. Trebo is not even playing bad at all. Like the fact that he hasn't, like RC hasn't let off, let up a single point. It's is, like you said. It's like Lenly vibes. <laughs> Lenly playing. Yeah, exactly. The last round. Yeah, it's like just constantly getting out hedged slowly and slowly and slowly losing points. You love to see it. That you love to monstrous. see it. Round four. We have a yellow sign here off the bat. No move. My Let vibe is that I see a round like this, and I see not a lot of points to be won. It looks like a crow. We have the yellow sign there. I would probably go crow here. Okay. Or by that, I mean Croatia. You know? Oh, yeah, so yeah, We'll see. It could be like a Slovenia or something, the yellow sign. We'll see. I don't think I saw any yellow plates. RC zooming in on There's signs. Things but that's read, signs. Yeah. You have a blue strip there, so maybe it is closer to the, the Slovenia. Okay, and we've got a very and confident... He's zooming in on the crow slow border, so we'll see if Trebota... At this point, I just trust whatever. And look, they're both going in the same exact region. This Jesus. is going into, like, this is just what, we're what getting high to level 10. of gameplay we're seeing right here. Yeah, but the fact is that, like, Chiroda can't even get chip damage off. He can't do any damage at all. <laughs> when there's only a 10 round limit, like, every single point counts in, yes. in games like this, no move. So you're really hoping that. You want some bigger regions, too, yeah, right? Yeah, you're looking for a bigger country. You're looking, but at that point, you're like, yeah, it's, it's just RC's thinking. They're both in the exact same region. This is going to be, who, is Chiroda lining up the road? This oh white God. road in Slovenia. He would with two seconds though, and there's the guess. Wow, wow. they're just so both close. sitting on it. Just finally, does Trebota get some damage? Finally, let's go. Give it up for some Trebota damage. Let's go. Hey, it's a small win, but it's a win. It's the first damage that's the hardest. It's, and now it's, we're in Iceland. Iceland. Ice. You're good. Ice. <laughs> Iceland. We have the yellow bollards. Um, you know, Iceland's one of those ones where it's like. How region guessable so, is it? I feel like people will, like try and like this learn is on Iceland. The east, right? Because the, there's only one road and it goes all the way around the, the yeah, whole the, island. Yeah, the, the one that goes all the way around. Yeah. yeah, there is coverage on like white roads as well, like suburban or like or RC. When he zooms in like that so confidently, yeah, it's like, it's yeah, scary. you do you. Like that's I just believe you. He's him. He is. He's actually him. A, him. And indeed. they're both zooming in, zooming in the same. They're oh both going God, for the five k. Like they're, they're both sharing going for the a computer 5K. right now. They're guys. both going for the five k. That's nuts. Okay. Will anyone get though with 10 seconds left? The they're double both standing. 5K. No one can find the 5K, I don't think. Oh, they're so close though. Hitting on five, five seconds. Five we seconds. See some I think hotels. RC might have found it. RC, he's sitting pretty. 
And we'll One find second. out now. Oh, he's done it. What's that count for? Oh my God. Jesus. RC. It's, it's just like ice. Geo Guesser of his life right now. Ice in his veins in Iceland. Ice in his veins in Iceland. That's what. And if you're like, that's still a great guess for Chiboda there. But yeah. listen. You get like, a near 5K and don't get any points. That sucks. It's, 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 that, it's, that, that's a tough feeling. Yeah, that's an Iceland moment for sure. And we're, we're climbing going, the rounds. Going to round six here. Where are we looking at? Oh, no. Three, this is, this is America, is, baby. It is America, which means RC is like one of the best USA players in the game. Oh, okay. I would say this may be a more standard round for the US with the wide road lines. It's a real meta, I promise. Well, more know. commonly found in Oregon and Washington with like this type of vegetation. Oh, okay. I think both players will know that. Yeah, but we yeah we do have some trucks. But the question is, how many points can can Trebola really pick up here against RC in the U.S.? Uh, a real test for Trebola. I mean, we haven't even seen him play America rounds too often. True. And uh, this is the first time I've gotten to see on stream RC play U.S. So it was treat. We'll see if he oh, does confirm go, going. Oh, here we go. We're off to the west. And he is oh, going at in Portland that region right where now. you do get these wide road lines. You also see these in like Alabama, Mississippi, Texas. Oh, okay. But that could cost the, you a lot of health. It could, but with these like trees. Ooh, is that? That looked like a California pull, but it's never California. Babe. But yeah, so they're currently zooming in, trying to find something that lines up. I think Trebola is also going Trebola. to get here. Yep. Yeah, he's on to it. You know, he's on Trebola the scent. I'm Round telling six, you, these guys are just damage. sharing a computer right now into 10 seconds. And is there even going to be damage to be one? I mean, the, thing, the fact is, if, if RC Ooh, keeps edging them out. They're pretty... They're, the, oh, he jumped Ooh, down. They're close. Here they somehow is. always end up in the same exact region. Jesus. RC just damn, out hedging RC them, though. RC again. Closer to Portland. And a little extra damage. Dude. Dude. I mean, when you get USA rounds against RC, you're, you're true is lucky that it's not something as uh, as as more like rural and, and just... Uh, Speaking of rural. You remember these? I do remember these. We are in Senegal. Let's we go. got the Tesla poles. Let's go. Shout out to Laundry. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. Maybe Good. we'll be here representing Canada next year. Oh, my God. Me Maybe. and Fungus. Me and Fungus. Duos, team of two. Let's go. Let's okay. see who who is reaching. I think for me, I click Tuba immediately. We'll see though. Tuba Mosque. If you know, you know. Tuba. Both Wait. players. This is no move. So. This is. A, I feel like Trebota's got to be a little frustrated that he doesn't get you know again a, like a bigger region to take advantage of. I mean, America was a good shot, but it's going up against RC. Yeah. So Senegal is a pretty deceivingly hard country to region guess. That would give um, us the point that RC can two zero this game. I feel like no matter what, they both end up in the same road, and it looks like they're doing, about to do it again. And if Trebota commits, oh, he's going to oh, <gasps> he's going to go back the same road. We or had is a he guess. Gonna... He's going to go back and line that up. Yep, he is. He's going back. I think he's on the same roads as RC currently, which is quite phenomenal if, if that's the case. Here is the time, and imagine. I mean, every second that Trebota takes, RC is even one step more careful. So it needs to be pinpoint Six precise. Seconds left. We've got four seconds. Trebota needs something here. It's just he, not he just, needs, he just needs any points. Getting RC. any? Oh my God! You can't no pick up what any points against RC. He just doesn't miss. His only 15 points were like an out hedge in like a small country. If I remember. Please miss. <laughs> it's just like, dude, it's so frustrating because you're making good guesses and they just like they just don't. Especially on 10 rounds, you have you have so so little opportunity now to get 2,000 points left, especially in a small country like this. Yeah. Can you say you played great if it's just the, the guy on the other side just played a little better than you the whole time? You can. It's just unfortunate. But you know what? All it comes down to is these last two rounds here. Will RC Are we in, the, in, in the Middle East? Yeah, this will be the new Qatar coverage I just released Ooh. a couple a couple weeks ago. Wait. Okay. Turbo scared me there for a second. Oh yeah. Let's see where he went. He went to UAE, which is honestly, you know, common. They look the same. Okay, that's but, a lock. That's a lock. Pressure on Turbota. This yep. is one of the earlier RC guesses. Out, Ten seconds. Yeah, and look, he's trying to line the road. Turbota, we're on round eight, points. baby. He needs something good. He needs something at all. Even a little chip damage to even up for the next round. That would make a big difference. One second. RC. And RC again. See, see I like Trebota's guess there, though. I do. That's a thousand points. Dude. But wait. if I'm Trebota and I go north, he knows he knows he's going probably capital there to hedge it. And he's looking for any points he can get going in the round nine here, I think. Trebota has got 15 damage in the last two rounds. It's insane. That's like RC. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen someone like in that flow state like I've seen RC right now. Crazy. Let's see if he can continue. <laughs> Dude, he hasn't given up any off. points. Round nine. I think this might be a Sweden with his, or it could be Finland. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Round nine, five X damage. Let's let the players do the guessing. Where do we get better coverage in the like Northern Europe? Um, Norway has a really strong coverage. Okay. It's really very pretty. Maybe that's bias. But we'll see. Maybe someone knows that bus stop. Let's see. Let's see where they do go. Oh man. Oh, the oh my god. Wait, Holland. wait, wait. What island is that? It's a finish. It's a. 
It's a Swedish island. It's a Swedish island. It has, oh, it's a... Are they fighting over it? We'll yeah. give it to Sweden, though, since we're here. True. They speak Swedish. It's... Okay. Uh, okay. Well, this is not worth... Holland. They're both... The red pavement is a good clue for this, by the way. That's why they're both there. Because and of that red pavement. Ar no did RC again get some more... Did RC just slightly do better? Zero. No. Identical points. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody, it's time to sit up straight because we're going into round nine. Round ten. Is this round ten now? Round ten. Round ten. So this basically, could be Traboda's last round if Trabota, here at the World Cup. If Traboda doesn't pick up f f like 3,000 points Can here. Can he do it here? Can he do it here? He, I don't know. Oh my we need God. a blunder by RC. A blunder really by do. RC. We really do need a blunder by RC. The man who doesn't miss. The man who has got this far with only 15 What's damage. What's not good is getting Latin America against RC, though. Oh. And if you're RC, you're like, wow. Well, it sounds like there's not a great region to get. You're right. Good at everything. Right. You're honestly right. And look. He's Mr. Consistent. Medellin is where RC has zoomed into. And look at Trebota. This is just unfortunate. They both have. RC. Oh, no. Just not. Just, he just See, never Trebota has to hope it's something else or this is it. And RC, RC is just on top of him. A little bit of damage from RC. RC. And Trebota is out. Wow. RC losing 80 points in two games. Wow. That's it. Like, it's one of the best players in the world. What a force. Wow. We've heard stories from so many players in this top eight as to how likely they could be to win. RC was obviously on that list alongside Traboda, but this is a statement for everybody else <laughs> now. This is like constant level consistency. Mate, it's even stronger. This is the strongest match so far. That's the strongest I've ever seen someone play so far. And RC showing why he's here and representing Romania super well. Wow. What a performance. What a performance. I've never seen anything quite like that. There was literally like by the end of that, it was wondering what country would even be an advantage to anybody else. And I was, when you asked me that, I was like, wait, what country would be? I don't know. Yeah, you're like, we go know. to America, South America. You don't want that versus you RC. Know, you, you don't know, want you that know, versus RC. Anything. So, what shout a, out to RC, shout out to RC, played but, out. Also, props to Trebota, because he also played extremely well. He probably beats most players 9 out of 10 times with how he played that, but yeah. unfortunately it was against RC. If, if so. you saw it yesterday. Well, we've got some words for uh, with both of our contestants down on the floor with Paula. What's up, everybody? First things first, commiserations to Trebota. What went wrong in that matchup, mate? Um, the rounds were not in my favor, and there were rounds that I didn't hatch well while he just made the most likely guess in like the countries. Quite a lot of mistakes from my part too. Tough match. Nonetheless, Trebota, how has the experience been overall? And what does it mean to you to know that you've made at least top eight here at the first World Cup? It feels pretty exciting and this is quite an accomplishment, I think. Making <laughs> RC also played very, very well there. Like, phenomenal games by right, him. So, yeah, proud of him to move on and good luck for him for the rest of his matches. Trabada, ladies and gentlemen, everyone here, made top eight here at the Fast World Cup. Now we must turn our attention to our victor moving through to the semi finals. Uh, I'm going to try something here, bit of a risk, but I, I trust you lot. With me, Radu. 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 Feel pretty cool, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Radu, give me your thoughts on that quarterfinal quickly. Um, I think both of us played well. I think I'm Turbota said he made a lot of mistakes, but that game was like really down to the wire. Like the fact that it went to 10 rounds and it was only like he was still at like half his health, like just should tell, should show you that like he played amazing as well. Um, and yeah, maybe the rounds weren't like the most difficult. Like we basically had the same idea on most of them. So um, yeah, overall, just really close game. And um, he played amazing. And a shout out to him as well, obviously. So yeah. Radu, great breakdown. Just quickly, what are your thoughts moving into the semifinals? Um, I'm so happy that I got this far. So I'm, I don't know, I'm just <laughs> here to you know, try my best. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm like speechless. <laughs> All good, buddy. You don't need to see anything else. Everybody in here, once again, give it up for Trebota and Rod. So much love in this audience. So much energy in 
this crowd and our players are feeling it. I love to see those big smiles on their faces, especially the reward for a job well done there like RC. And I, we were talking about this in the green room, Bloom. We've never seen him so locked in. I, I truly think from RC, that's like one of the best games of GeoGuessr I've ever seen. It was just so perfect down to every single guess. And Trabota was playing phenomenally. Their guesses were close to each other, but every time it just seemed like RC had that tiny little last 1% that was getting him the, all the points he needed to just take the overall win. I have to say, that was the big story for me. It was the fact that it, it wasn't even like Tripoda played badly against anyone else. Those guesses could have been an easy 2-0 for him. But it was the fact that just every single time, Radu seemed to be just one step ahead. And you know what's crazy about it is on paper, you look at this and you say, oh, it was a 2-0. It, it doesn't feel like it, it should have been a 2-0. It doesn't feel I like know. it was a 2-0. We this is This has definitely been the closest game. Yeah, this, this game I think is Truly like one of the greatest shows of skill we've seen so far in the tournament. It's one for the ages. And yeah. what is it that yesterday we watched all these players play? They're the best of the best. They're here. We haven't seen games of this caliber until we got to today. And it's not just the players that we're bringing on stage. What is the difference, Geo? It keeps feeling like every game that we have is the next best game of GeoGuessr yeah. that we've seen. Yeah, it really does. I think these players are just really realizing how big of an event this is and the fact that like this is the stage this is their moment to make it to to do the thing that they have spent years doing and grinding and now they're getting to do it on the biggest stage ever and all they can do is focus and lock in and show their skills yeah not to toot the esports horn too hard but this is what geoguessr does by holding a world cup by bringing all these players here they advance their scene forward not only has the competition level risen in just two days now the community knows each other face to face now they can look out and see just what kind of audience they have and it's an amazing one i think that was the thing that seemed to be really making roddy very speechless you know it's one thing to have a really great game of GeoGuessr, but if you're in your bedroom, you can be like, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go make my lunch now, right? But in this instance, he just did that in front of a lot of people who are cheering for him. By his name. His name. His yeah. name. While he's wearing the jersey of the country he's representing and knowing that there's all these people at home who are watching him. Like, that's something else. And now, Gio, I look at this bracket and I worry, is is it time to end the joy? Is uh -oh, happiness is over? Oh. Because Blinky is coming and my, my, my cup of water's got those little Jurassic Park rings in it. I'm a little bit scared of him in this matchup. Oh. Yeah. Um, if, well, Radu, as well as he just played, depending on how this next game goes, might face Blinky. But we do get to see Blinky versus Jalotris next, which is so exciting. And everyone is definitely on the edge of their seat for this one. You yeah. can't underestimate Jalotris. Thank you. It's I true. was just going to follow can't. up with yeah, that. Yeah. You are so right, Gio. We cannot underestimate Jalotris. We don't know what Blinky has to come. But if you stick around after this break, you will get to find out when we come back with the GeoGuessr World Cup. It's Blinky versus Jalotris next. Two titans of the game about to clash. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Blinky, one of our competitors here at the GeoGuessr World Cup Finals. Blinky, pleasure to have you here. How are you doing? It's uh, great. Been very really nice uh, so far. All right, so Blinky, you and two teammates last year won the community-organized GeoGuessr Team World Cup. What was that experience like? I mean, it was great. Like, it was the first time we could see so many people from the GeoGuessr community. We had like, people coming from the US and stuff. First time I could meet them, it was really great. And now, coming into this year, what was it like when you saw the initial announcements for this, the, the official GeoGuessr World Cup? I mean, it was really great. And also, I was one of the first people to be invited, so it felt really great to be at the, at the top of the list, I guess, and like to that GeoGuessr think of me as a great player. And it's really exciting and great opportunity to meet everyone, but also to play some really top-level GeoGuessr. I think a lot of people think you're one of the front runners. Does that add any extra pressure? And were you aware of that as well? 
yeah, I mean, people do tend to think about me when they think of the top player in the world, especially for the format for the World Cup, since it involves moving and people really think of me as the best moving player, they think that I'm favorite to win. When did you start getting really good and like, how did that process happen? How did you evolve from a guy just playing the game for fun, you know, to being one of the best in the world? Yeah, I mean, really when I started in 21, I took the game quite seriously. When I started to play regularly, I, I was in the mindset of, I want to get better, I want to learn everything about this game. It really, really motivated me. And I got pretty good pretty fast, I would say. Like in a few months, I was already close to the top level. Um, but it was, yeah, the community was much smaller right back then. And now, the game has changed a lot, at least from my experience. And so I've learned many more skills that make me really good at the game in very different ways, like no moving and only looking at pictures and stuff. When you started playing, did you ever expect or think in your wildest dreams that an event like this could be happening? It was really surprising when they announced that we're, they were doing such a big tournament and it seems like they're really ambitious. So it feels great to be part of such a interesting and uh, ambitious esports scene. Are you excited to play in space in the venue that we've got set up? To get in there and see what it's like? For sure, it's really weird to have to hear like hundreds of people behind you like cheering and clapping. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, what do, you, do you have any idea what that might be like? Do you think it could affect yours and other players' gameplay? Or, or, or do you think you're going to be able to get in there and execute just as you've done before? There's going to be a competition, there's going to be people that I'm playing against, and it, it can be, you know, if I'm starting to lose against them, it would be very hard to not lose focus and, like, keep, keep my mind on the game, I mean, like, and really try to get it back together. It's going to be hard. There, there are people that have come literally from all over the world to just spectate. Yeah. How does it feel to, to know that? I mean, it's great because there's so many people that are, are in the community and that I know and I come from very different backgrounds. So it's crazy that these many people that I know I would be able to see, but also hundreds of people that I, that I never heard of and that are interested enough in the game to just buy a ticket and come see the games. All right, well, Blinky, thank you for your time. Much love, best of luck out there. Thank you. <laughs>
playing against Blinky round one, you know, and like, he's like, man, come on, anyone, you know, but Blinky, it's tough. He's like, man, I, I might feel bad if I win. So oh, that's, damn. that oh, is no. something. So we'll see. Anything is possible. Multis, high multis, round limit. If he gets a, let's say he gets a, he's the best turkey player in the world. He gets a turkey round nine against, it's going to be hard to beat. Uh -oh. So anything's possible. I always like to say Turkey's a big country. You know, you never know. But he hasn't actually got that many turkey rounds. And that's the funny part. He's still qualified without them. He's done such a True. good job. Yeah. So I think, you know, sandbagging mentally, maybe just to take the edge off, but still, again, just like everybody else here, so ready to compete. If you look at Fungus and like Len Lee, he's on that same tier of player who's like very humble about getting here, but still clearly capable of taking wins. Exactly. He played so well yesterday. It's one of those things where he was just the best player in every single game he played, but just outreach and guessing every, everyone. So it's, it's, it's great to watch someone play at such a high level and so consistently. And when you talk to the other players who are involved in this tournament, I mean, have you got a finger on the pulse of kind of how they're assessing any differences in the gameplay that, you know, you come here and you expect ah, Trabota to be a great, you know, no move pan zoom player, mm -hmm. but he comes here and actually he blows everybody away with his non moving. Like, you know, are they are they expected by uh, unexpected changes? Yeah, I think a lot of the players that like came into the World Cup came in knowing what their weakness was. And they're like, how do I make that strength? Even on countries, on, on specific formats, no player came in here really unprepared. And so I think every player, you can't really take, oh, maybe a year ago or a couple months ago, they weren't that good at moving. But now they've been grinding in silence and they're like, wait, I'm actually pretty good now. It certainly feels like some of the like scariest players are the no moving players. But then you have someone like Blinky, who's known as the best moving player in the world, but then just consistent throughout the yeah. rest of the rounds and it's like you actually don't want to be able to give away a free round yeah and Blinky was known as the best moving player in the world and he's like wait i want to be more than just the best moving player now like i barely anyone can be in him or in npz he's, he's he's, he's grinding everything you can't convince an np player to be uh to work hard though that's the thing that's true yeah, <laughs> yeah and do uh, and do moving rounds guilty yeah 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 he knows <laughs> well not only that uh you know, the, the skills they built up outside of this tournament have been very big, but there have been a lot of huge data releases that are now involved in the, the maps that we're picking from for this tournament. So it's how quickly they were able to incorporate these huge new data sets as well. Who do you feel like has done the best job out of these two bringing in the, the new places that have become available? Blinky, 100%. Yeah. He's, I don't think anyone has moved or, or has acquired such a good knowledge base on India as much as Blinky has prepared. I think he was doing Twitch streams every day for the past couple of weeks grinding a new country in India, I think was one of those ones he was focusing on. Yeah, could you explain oh. that? Because you told me about it, but like Blinky seems to be the person who knows the most languages in GeoCastle. Yeah, I think, like, I'll just pull up to like a Blinky stream one day and he's like reading Bengali on stream. <laughs> it's like, like how, you know, average Frenchman, I guess, but it's, it's so impressive. It's so impressive. I don't even know how many languages he's like learned to read and just like use for his, for the, for his French league that he does play in. It's really impressive. It's, it has to be at least countless. Languages would give you a huge edge in this. Is there anything, if you had to pick one category, you know, okay, I'm starting out. Do I learn the plants first? Do I mm. learn the, the, the ballards first? Do I ballards, learn the language? Baby. Ballards. Yeah, learn ballards, learn telephone poles. Heck yeah. Learn what's other road they drive on. And honestly, learn vibes, okay? Yeah. It's way more pick fun. Up, just that play way. a lot. Just play a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, Launders, you are improving massively yeah, just, just over the course vibes. of the, the weekend. It's on been vibes. so fun. He's been, he's been making some good guesses. <laughs> All right. Starting to rub off. Well, we've got two people who are super ready to show you some Geo Guesser. Let's check in with them real quick before the match starts. It's our players. Uh, it's a mix of emotions. I'm excited, happy to see all the people, uh, all the pro players I've known for years. Um, finally coming up together. It's really fun. And yeah, I'm also a bit nervous. Uh, it's great. I'm really excited to play the World Cup and I'm already been a great time here. Um, I'm very well aware I'm not one of the top players in this tournament, so I would be happy to get out of the group stage. Um, already in the group stage I see a strong competition, so if I can, I can beat that and get out of the groups, that's my goal. What is going on everybody here in the auditorium at Space? It is time for our final quarter final. Coming out from the left hand side, we have a man hailing from Turkey. He's had a tough competition run, but he's made it here. And then to my right, we will have a gentleman come out that strikes fear into the hearts of all geo guesses. Everybody, make some noise for Gelatris and Blinky! Quick pre 
pre-match thoughts with both of the guys. Gelatris, you're going up against one of the best of the best. What's going through your head? That's exactly what I think. The best of the best. Uh, I'm really excited to finally be here out of the group stage. I didn't expect it and I'm happy to be here. And facing Blinky the first is scary, but I will give my best. Blinky, what's going through your head right now? I'm trying to keep calm and I'm trying to do my best. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> can we, I was going to say, can we quickly flip the camera, but we can see it on screen. Blinky, you've got your own fan club here, mate. <laughs> Gelatris, any final thoughts before I let you both head onto the server? Um, I think I'm going to eat Blinky. <laughs> Blinky, final thoughts? Good luck. <laughs> Everybody, let's wish both of our competitors the best of luck. This is our final quarter final. I finally got my little crumb of trash talk that I wanted, and it was delicious. That was, delicious. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah, can't wait for my next ration. That might tie me over, though. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Jalotris, of all people at this yeah. point, who literally walked on stage and said, God damn it, I have to play you, Blinky. Yeah. But you know what? I'm going to win. It's hard to take someone such wholesome. I think, it, like, as, as Jalotris taking, taking that seriously, but that's funny. <laughs> that's super funny. Yeah, I love Blinky wished him luck, but, yeah, you know, luck. I was trying to wonder earlier, <laughs> some of the players who didn't consider themselves, you know, second day material find themselves on the stage here, and they, you know, I, I was wondering about the humbleness, and I think, thanks to Jalotris, I tied it all together, because if you came in and you didn't expect, like you said, Rainbow, they worked hard, they crammed, because they didn't rest on their loyals, uh, their, their laurels, excuse me, about getting to today. They knew they had to put the work in, and they are putting it in right up until the tournament started. Yeah, I mean, I saw them practicing in a, in a hotel at night together, still, still learning things, make sure they don't forget anything. Before What's the like effective forth. practice at this point? Is it grinding more or is it reading guides? It's. I think at this point it's just reading guides and seeing like, okay, if if I'm like playing against Fungus tomorrow and I know Fungus is really good at Canada, I just need to read the basic Canada tips, make sure I don't blunder something easy. Mm -hmm. What can I learn to at least give me an upper hand that I might not have before? And there's guides public out there for for all different countries now that they are reading. I think based off their matchups. So. so. This, but, is the, this is the king of India on your screen? Yeah, the king of everything, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's Blinky. He's, yeah. This would be a huge upset, mm. to say the least, mm -hmm. if, if someone was able to take down Blinky here. But we've seen crazier happen. We have. So let's see. I'm just excited to see if Jalosh is able to pull this off. Look at that 70% win rate. That's, That's what's, yeah. It's so impressive. Like, we, we know that he is the most feared and possibly the most skilled we've shall determine later on today. But how do you get the most fans? He's got a Gary Oak aura going on right mm. now. Whole thing <laughs> here. Yeah. He's just such a likable guy. He's, you know, he has a whole, they have a league called La Liga, Liga and it's a, it's a French team or French league that, you know, they all play in and, and participate in together and study together. So, you know, they all travel together. Step it's one, good. learn every language. Cool. That's how you win the yeah, most yeah, fans. Right? <laughs> he can collect fans in every country yeah. you go to. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Jalotris here, though, so impressive. We're taking a look at his win rate, 48% but he's here. He squeaked it through to today. So what was it that really pulled him through? You know, Jalotris, it's just consistency at the end of the day for most of these. With these high multi high multi rounds at the end of the day, you just have to get a couple of good countries right in a row and when they matter the most. And Jalotris has had those when they do matter. Yeah, I think the one consistent thing between all our top eight right now is just no bad guesses, you know, or if there was a bad guess in, on day one, it was their opponent also having a bad guess. Like no one really screwed up exactly. at any point. And there, that's a, that's kind of the meta with high multis, right? That's what we've seen. And we haven't really seen like someone go even wrong country and like losing many points, if even like very many times at all. So it's it's impressive how consistent these players are playing. And, you know, it's, it's a reason they're here on the stage right now being this consistent. Yeah, we are past the stage of mistakes. We are to the championship stage and we have our final match of playoffs all set for you. So I'm going to throw it over to the casters. Let's get the game started. Thank you so much, Zelsa. Honestly, after all of the games that we've had so far today, I feel like the expectations for this one are so high, not just because they've been getting get better and better throughout the day, but also just because of the caliber of talent that are playing in this specific game. Yeah, they really have. I mean, Blinky touted as one to win for sure. Everyone is very scared to play against Blinky, as we have heard from people like Rainbolt. Jalotris was quite nervous to play against Blinky, but we just heard that confidence yeah. from him at the end there, which is so nice to see. So it's going to be great to see them compete. I really think it's going to be it's going to be a fun one. All right. Well, I guess it's time for us to get into our first game as we head into our moving round. This is what Blinky's really. He this, even said in his own interview that he's really known for it. Yeah, this is Blinky's home right here. Moving is all he wants. 
He just zooms the second it starts. So let's get straight into this. Our last quarter finals matchup. Blinky versus Delotris. Game one moving. Let's see Blinky get to work. As we load into this first round here, we do instantly see some Cambodian language. So instantly we do know the country there. And Jalotris says, Blinky, I don't want you to move around. You don't get to find anything. Look at the smirk. Here's 10 seconds. It's all in the smirk. That's actually one thing that I, I noticed about Jalotris yesterday when he was playing is there's so <laughs> the facial expressions tell you such a big story with him. Yeah, they sure do. And look at that. Two similar guesses guessing just north of the capital. Only 39 points down to Jalotris. A simple and chill way to start for both of them. Round two here, let's get straight into it. So do you think this is just gonna be the strategy then? Is Jalotris is just gonna be disrupt Blinky as much as possible? I think he is. I think he sees the Dominican Republic car here and Blinky does as well and recognizes the city. They both do recognize the city in the Dominican Republic. There are really only two cities covered on Google Street View. So it can definitely help simplify things. They get it in there, both in the correct city, but Jalotris slightly closer. Yeah, it's very close. There's five points. Five points down on Blinky's health. Very close still as we move into round three. So straight off the bat, as we get started here, we do see all these yellow plates here and some language. So by the looks of it, we should be in the Netherlands as both players are zooming in. Netherlands does have yellow long plates with the EU dash on the left there. Looks like the guesses are just coming in quick. They don't want to look around. They don't want to move. Jalotris still debating where to guess when Blinky this time, the one to shoot a guess in very quick. And look at that. They are both in the same city. They both do get it. Blinky a little closer though. What a showing from both of them. Really playing each other at their own game here. I feel like this is probably going to be the game where we see the most mind games. Yeah, I definitely think that is a big possibility. Round four here, now we're at two and a half times damage, but look at those scores still both above 5-9. Here we go here. What should be possibly, this is a difficult one, but I think we're looking at some new Nigeria by the looks of it. But what are they gonna be able to find here? The camera quality here is not the greatest. So therefore some signs might not be as readable, but it seems like Blinky has the road possibly there, which is exciting. Jalo just went in quick, but Blinky with a little time, is he on the correct road? Let's see, he's not, but a very, very so good region guess. Yeah, this is the first round now that we've seen between the two of them where there's been an actual substantial health loss. Yeah, no, seriously, now Jalotris is down by quite a decent amount of health here, going into round five, but still above 4,000. That's not a bad place to be in halfway through the match. Let's get them straight into this. Where are we going to be, by the looks of it, possibly in India here? Um, could be difficult. I, I've heard that Blinky has gotten quite good at India, so we will see if he can show that knowledge here. Jalotris, again, just going with the tactic of guessing as soon as possible to not let Blinky do his work. I'm definitely very interested to see where Blinky goes here and just how much he can show that skill in India. Just dotting around for now, because I feel like it's such a huge country. Oh, wow. It ends up being very far east. Blinky a little farther east than Jalotris. And with how big of a country India is, that is a serious toll that he takes on his health. Round six, three and a half times damage. Let's get the players started. Straight off the bat, we should be in Latin America by the looks of it, at least. I believe we could be in an Argentina here, possibly. We do have some polls that could make sense for Argentina. Um, but it definitely, we will see. Oh, Blinky did make a guess. I did miss where he guessed. But, oh, Peru, that makes sense as well. Oh, up in the north of Peru, they are both up there. Very close to each other. But Blinky in the town. Jalotris, a region guess. Blinky on wow. top of it. Wow. What an incredible guess from the both of them, really. But Blinky just on top, sitting with only four damage taken still the as we go around seven. The Blinky fans in the audience uh, must be thrilled at this point. Yeah, he's doing so great. Round seven here, four times damage. We get straight into it in what should be an Ecuador round here. 
the players will notice some Ecuador ballers behind us, these short ballers, white ballers with two little red sections on there, as well as uh, lots of language and a general landscape that definitely fits well with Ecuador. Small country here, four times damage though, so definitely could see some health taken off here to Lotris in quick. Oh, but Blinky going pretty far away, much farther north, gap. almost other side of the country. Oh, and he ends up being closer. It's northwest, but Blinky still closer, taking off 1,700 points there, just chipping away at Jalotris. Yeah, he's, he's still alive. I mean, what was it? We saw down to 22 points earlier on. Yeah. So you, you can hold on, but I guess as we're getting further and further into these multipliers, they have 4.5 times. You really want a good guess here if you're Jalotris. Yeah, Blinky's still basically at full health, only won one round so far, and it wasn't by much. Getting straight into this next round. So by the looks of it, we should be in new Senegal coverage. We do have some poles that line up as well as this specific car in Gen 4. It makes a lot of sense. Senegal has some poles. I don't know if any of them have looked at it on the screen, but they're similar to poles found in France. As Senegal used to be a French colony, so something to look for. As we can see though, Jalotris went below the Gambia and Ooh. Blinky went above and five Ks practically to end out the moving game. Wow, what a way to end that game. Hands straight to the face, it's like he can't even believe himself. Yeah, you saw him there lining up roads, looking down, trying to make something work. Last second makes a pick, is the correct road. Jalotris still looking happy, he's okay with it. He, he gets it. There's respect. Yeah. There's respect in that smile. And of course, the game isn't over yet. We move into our no moving. But that was certainly an impressive start to the game. And I have to say, it almost feels like that was the most serious game that we've felt today yeah. so far. Like there, there was, was tense, energy. Yeah. tenseness. Yeah. Tension. tension. That's tension. the word I'm looking of for. Of course, yes. <laughs> no, there definitely was a tension in the room. It was just Lotris just fighting to get back any points that he could. He only took four off of Blinky there. But at the same time, you look at where Lotris is guessing, and they were good guesses. They were oh, the yeah. right country. Um, some of those regional guesses, Blinky was closer and just happened to line up things a little better. That is what Blinky is so great at. But uh, Jalotris not too far behind, a good showing nonetheless. I think that's one of the fascinating things about this game as well, is you can tell with all of these players that are on a similar skill level that the thought process that gets them in the area of the world is always the same. It's about, did you see that tiny bit of information? Yeah. Did you see that one little thing that's going to just get you a bit closer? Yeah, definitely. Well, we are ready for our game two. Now we are in no moving. This is exciting. I think Jalotris probably feels a little more comfortable here. He did get that moving game out of the way, though he did lose. I'm sure he wanted to get it over with. Let's see how this no moving goes. We are in what looks to be Sweden here, which is quite exciting. Shout out Sweden, shout out the Swedes here. <laughs> Beautiful. So we do have one sign here, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say finding that town is gonna be near impossible in this short of a Somewhere, time limit. Someone in this room came from that town. Yeah, yeah, that's their home. Definitely. Who in this room is from that? From Roar... I, I'm not gonna pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds left. Jalotris made his guess quick. Blinky is right there, close to him, so not much, but Blinky is a little closer. And that has Jalotris losing only 100 health. Not too bad to start. Both really, really great guesses here as we go into round two. One and a half times damage. This here looks like an interesting round to get them into. This looks like a Russia. So with it being Russia, we know how big of a country that is. This coverage does look quite distinct. I'm sure some of these players might know it. We will see Blinky in a very distinct yeah. area quick, as well as Jalotris both making guesses. Oh, oh, Blinky! Oh my God. So close, so fast. It was the speed of that. The fact both of them zoomed straight in, they knew what they were looking for. Yeah, they were ready to go right away. Now we have our round three. Let's see if they can be as quick on this one as well. So straight off the bat, by the looks of it, this might be a Guam or Northern Mariana Islands possibly, which is quite interesting. So we will see. Yeah, it looks like Jalotris is going into Guam there. So we do have these uh, these roads and general landscape and things that do kind of look American-esque and the cars and the plates and everything, but it does look quite tropical. So a Guam and Northern Mariana, it makes sense. They are both in Guam. 
and Blinky oh manages to be on top of it. Wow. Look at the showing from Blinky. I mean, he's proving exactly why he's basically considered the favorite to win for this tournament. No, he definitely is. And again, though, Jalotris not playing too bad. Following suit is just Blinky with that last little level of excellence. Round four here, two and a half times damage. Let's get straight into it. Look at this information that's actually available yeah, straight on away. the screen right in front of us. Yeah, right as we get in, we instantly do see information. We should be in Nigeria here, based off of what we're looking at. Both players know it. Do they know any of these things on the signs? Are they giving them any clues? Blinky's super confident, super fast. So he seems to have seen something he knew. Jalotris gonna just make a region guess. He's farther west, but Blinky seemed confident. I think he might have the town. Jalo just looks like he's looking for something specific. He is. He was trying to find what Blinky already found. Blinky in the town again with two and a half times damage, even in Nigeria, taking so much health off of Jalotris. Wow. Blinky still at full health as we are in round five. Three times damage now. Let's get into it. Straight off the bat, we should be in Malaysia by the looks of it. We have these the general landscape. I think it's possible this could be the Borneo Island part of Malaysia. We'll see. Blinky is zooming in there quick. I wonder if he'll line up any roads. He instantly sees the sign, and he definitely is using it to his advantage. Jalo just took a look at it, but maybe isn't recognizing some things that Blinky already had. We'll see. They are taking yes. their time here both, though. Blinky the polyglot knows every language. Yeah, he That's does. actually how he does it. He, he has learned a lot of various things in different languages that do help him quite a bit, but they are guessing in similar areas here um, of Malaysia. Blinky is definitely looking for the road. He's trying to find it. Jalotris as well. They did both line up with the compass trick to see if that can, uh, they can find something that matches up. But with only about 15 seconds left, neither of them have found anything they are confident with. So we'll see. Blinky seems to Looking be possibly very committing. Yeah, but his, his, he, very, he seems to be very confused because he keeps zooming in on this same sign, going back into the map, and it's like he's double-checking. He actually can't quite match up whatever it is he's looking for. Yeah, they both didn't end up finding it, but Jalotra's closer there, taking off 880 points. And listen to that Blinky. chair. Listen to that love for Jalotra. Show the love for Jalotra. Seriously, he's putting up a great show. Round six is coming up next now. Three and a half times damage. Jalotris really needs to keep winning some rounds. Hopefully he can take that confidence into the next. So here we are on our next round in what seems to be Europe. Oh, we do have some signs there that they're seeing. I wonder if they recognize any of that. We will see Blinky going in quick. North Austria makes a lot of sense. Is that a town they can find? We will see. They are both in a similar area, makes a bit of sense. A lot of Austria is quite mountainous. This is more rolling hills, so that does narrow it down within the country. They both seem to be in a similar area, but will they find this specific town? It could be pretty small. We will see. But 30 seconds, what can they do? Scanning for the town name. On the map here is Blinky. I think Jalotris is just looking for some more information, perhaps of the topography, the landscape around him that he can use to his advantage. Yeah, usually in a situation like this, you kind of know you're probably not going to find it, but you do take the time to your advantage and look if you can. If you happen to find it, it would pay off. If not, you just make a region guess and hope for the best. Blinky just narrowing down his spot while just scanning around. Only a couple seconds left. Oh, but it does end up being in the south. Jalotris committing north. Blinky getting closer. Two of the areas that can be flatter makes sense, but Blinky, his region guess, did pay off better than Jalotris's with round seven now, with four times damage. This is such a massive round for Jalotris. If he wants to stay alive in this, this is really the time to do it. We do seem to be in New Zealand here straight off the bat. We have some New Zealand poles, left side drive by the looks of it. So we will see. It's pretty flat here as well, and we do have some mountains in the distance, which could indicate more of a Southern Island type of vibe and landscape. North Island is generally more rolling hills, while the South Island is flat on the east and then massive, massive mountains on the west. And that seems to be a little bit more of the look we have here. So we do see Jalotris in the South Island of New Zealand, trying to line something up, Blinky down there as well but both looking for whatever they can find that possibly matches up to the town they're in. Uh, yeah, 
simple residential area. I don't think there's any signs that they can see, so... Yeah, there's Just really not really going to base too on the much. landscape. Yeah, not too much to go off of. They could possibly see if uh, this town is on some sort of grid, which could help. They could line up the grid with the compass if they can find that, but not too likely with only three seconds left. Both are just shooting in the dark. Blinky ends up being so close there. Jalotris deciding on more of a hedge ends up not going in his favor and only having 800 points left, but he, he will be alive to see round eight. And if you guys are fans of Jalotris out there, you need to be giving him some cheers for encouragement now because this is his this time. This could be it. This could be it, game two. No move, round eight, four and a half times damage. Blinky with a serious, serious lead over Jalotris going into this round. What could possibly be Portugal, a small country. It does look like it is Portugal. They do see the dot .pt there in the back. Lines up, small country. He could stay alive through this. He could deal some damage to Blinky. Let's see what happens, what they can find. We do have some little things that could help indicate possibly where they are, but really not too much to go off of. Yeah, lots of random little pieces of writing here and also on some kind of maybe industrial park kind of place. Yeah, definitely. There's not too much to go off of. It does seem like Jalotris, oh, he's committing far south now. I think he thinks, he think, it seems like there's probably water south and they're trying to pick something that lines up. Blinky looking for anything he can. Jalotris committing to the very bottom of the country. If it is not there, this could go poorly for him, but I respect the commit. Will it pay off? It does oh. not. Blinky so close. And with that multiplier, that is our game. Blinky moves on. A fantastic game. I think Jalotris knew that that risk was there for him. Blinky just being considered potentially the best player in this tournament seemed to just handle that with ease. No, he definitely did. I think there's 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 obviously a reason people say he's one of the best. There's a reason people say he's up there as one of the highest contenders to make it all the way to the top and win the whole thing. And he really did just show why he is considered that good. Yeah, and I think, you know, for Jalotris, who clearly was saying, I didn't expect to make it this far. I am not one of the favorites of this tournament. Yeah, part of that is just being humble, but he did really well considering no, that. No, he really did. It, it was close. They were both getting the countries. Blinky just with those such incredible region guesses and just the, getting the roads right, finding all the information he needed, it just paid off. Well, we'll get to hear from both of them on the stage with Paula. First things first, everybody, commiserations to Gelatris makes noise. <laughs> Gelatris, tough match. Uh, how did it go from your perspective? I mean, I'm happy with how it ended up. Uh, didn't get flawless on the moving game. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh, overall, I'm happy. I mean, it's nothing I can do about it. It was a super performance, per usual, from Blinky, so it's just, he's just too strong. Gary, just anything you'd like to say to everybody in the arena and at home before I turn my attention to Blinky? I'm really happy there are so many people here. Um, probably a lot of people I know, but I don't know their faces. But I'm uh, happy to meet everybody later on and have a good show. Everybody, once again, give it up for Galatris! Blinky, mate, that was a star performance landing you in the semi-finals. You barely put a foot wrong. How did it go from your perspective? Yeah, I feel like keeping the nerves is really the important part. And even though I try, like, I, I still feel like some guesses, I got some nerves that, like, if I were playing at home, I would play a bit better. But I kept my nerves enough to perform really well, and that's what mattered, and I'm happy about that. Blinky, did it help having the fan club in the arena? Uh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, thank you, guys. But not gonna help me 5k my lux, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, Blinky, you're moving into the semi-finals. Your opponent's going to be Radu. Can I get your thoughts on that matchup? Uh, yeah, Radu is definitely a scary opponent. Uh, in practice, I played pretty good games against him, so I'm hoping to reproduce that. But still, he could easily beat me, and that's gonna be scary. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Blinky moves on to the semi-finals. Everybody, make some noise for our competitors on the stage. Man's good at GeoGuessr. <laughs> he, he has touched the map once or, once or twice. Yeah. yeah it's the blinky and you miss it. It really, <laughs> really saw that happen. 
Um, I think that, like, you know, playing against RC, that is an interesting match, however. You know, getting the chance to play against RC because you could say that he was actually maybe as accurate, at least in his own game. Yeah. Um, with, what we saw from, with what we saw from RC today, that matchup is going to be insanely interesting. Yeah. And I think both of their skill sets really match well against each other mm -hmm. in terms of both kind of both know a lot about a lot of countries and they both are really good at moving. So usually when you have play players playing against Blinken moving, it's like, uh, GG's, it's RC, it's anyone's game. Yeah, and obviously you want to pick the point that's closest. You want to get the 5K, but when you're in those positions where you feel like you got to start hedging, you got to start making some decisions, how do you feel like that's going to affect RC going up against somebody like Blinky? <laughs> it's gonna be tough. I think RC is like in the right headset right now to where, or the right mindset right now where he can like, he doesn't feel like he needs to like make risky guesses and he can just play his best game. And I hope that's what he does. Yeah, I think we see consistently that just like the better player on paper just hedges better on top of makes better, more accurate guesses. And like if it's not the big, you know, 2,000 damage banger, it is like 400 damage every round, every round. just by being a little bit closer, yeah. you know, overshadowing a great game from their opponent. That's like great Street Fighter. Either it's a whole chip game or somebody's getting perfected. Yeah. But it has been wild to watch here. We're taking a look at the play, uh, playoff brackets now. Down to just four players. And I know you've been asked throughout the tournament several times, Rainbow, where you thought this was all going to go. But now you're looking at these last four names. What's your reaction? I mean, it's you have RC, Blinky, Constance, Fungus. You could have predicted three of these very easily. I think Fungus coming in. You know, shout to Canada. Canada strength, Canada. baby. Canada Walters, strong. That's it's, you doing that. Yeah. It's the, I would say it's the underdog, but, you know, it's all these are very, very high-level players. And like I keep saying, anything can happen. I didn't fly all this way to see a fungus not make the finals. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I want to talk a little bit about your Canada power there, Launders. We've had a number of points in Canada. We've got a Canadian player now unexpectedly making it to the fourth place in this uh, potential playoff. So, yeah. you know, as a Canadian, do you want to speak to that? I, I do. I think that, like, one thing is for sure, he's actually gotten this far without even getting Canada that often in, in sure. these maps. Like, he hasn't had Canada or America that often. And so we have seen, I guess, the weakest of the top four right now in terms of the most rickety games, close games versus made potato even, who, you know, would be like, uh, you know, even unlikely himself to get top eight. But that means that there's still the chance that he could have even better games. Yeah. That Fungus could get all of North America, which is an enormous region. He told us yesterday he's waiting for the Canada on the finals. Yeah, so Canada finals. Maybe he wasn't, he wasn't lying. There's still some surprises there's, there's, and delight yeah. ahead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everyone else watching, we are so excited to have you, especially as we are heading into our top four. Stick around, it's gonna be a quick break when we come back. Fungus and Constance, who will move on? Who will go home? Thank you. 
We had 24 GeoGuessr players invited to this tournament, and now we are down to the top four. We're heading into a semifinal match featuring Fungus, the player who wasn't supposed to be here, the fill-in for someone who couldn't make it. Now in the grand finals, in the semifinals, going up against Consus, one of the most feared players in this tournament. Almost as scary as Blinky, or some might say more so, Geo. I feel like concert, the thing that makes concert scary, not just because he's obviously exceptional, but it's the emotionlessness. 
Yeah, <laughs> he, he looks, just holds he looks it all scary. in. But then like Fungus is also super calm as well, so I don't know. But if I were Fungus, I would definitely be nervous about having to go up against Consus. I think this is one of the two favorites for the competition overall. And so you want to be that upset. Yeah, and it's got to be really fun coming into this tournament as Consus with that scary looming face over your back. You're like, why is everybody afraid of me? Well, Bloom, why are they afraid of Consus? Because Consus has not lost. Yeah. He just cannot lose. And so all he does is just win, 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 as well as his opponents have been playing. He just consistently outperforms them just at that tiny extra level that takes him to the win. Yeah, we're here to see the top Geo Guesser plays in the world. The best players, the best calls, the best plonks. But we also wanted to provide a little contrast of what it might be like when the average person tries to do what these titans are capable of. So we have a little video to show you, and uh, please be gentle to us. Hey, my name is uh, Rachel, aka Seltzer, and I represent the good old USA. My name is Launders, and I'm representing Canada, India, and Malaysia. My name is Gio, and I'm representing the United Kingdom. My name is Peter, also known as Gio Peter, and I represent Latvia. My name is Bloom, and I represent the United States of America. My name is Trevor Rainbow, and I'm representing the US, I guess. I think the obvious answer as to who I want to be should be Trevor. Man, I want to be Rainbow. 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 I think I need to be Trevor. I mean, the obvious answer is I have to be Bloom, because I feel like that's, he's a GeoGuessr caster with me. But I kind of want to beat Launders just for like bragging rights. That's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, come on. That's the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. That's in Italy. Well, that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. This picture represents Italy. Leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> Chicago. Austria or something. Yeah, I have no idea where that is. <laughs> oh, that's the church in Iceland. I'm gonna guess that this picture represents Sweden. That looks like the thing in Reykjavik. Iceland. Wow, is that Italy as well? Is that that island that's kind of like off Venice? Is that a sidewalk through the water? That is a fictional place. Denmark. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is the uh, castle on the coast of France, I believe. I'm gonna say that this image represents France. Where was it? I've seen this somewhere. Was it France? I think that's like France, like North France or something. Ah, uh, that's Stonehenge. That's in the UK. No, Scotland. The Scottish version of Stonehenge. That's, oh, that's what I was trying to get at there. I was just trying to, you know, mince words. That is Scott Scotland. I lock in Scotland. But this, there's Scottish grass. I mean, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say the UK just because it's the closest thing I can think of that it... The U, that's got, that is, that is, the UK is one country. Yeah, well, my well, passport is from the United Kingdom. That is the country my passport is from. Let's say Wales. This picture represents England. Is it Scotland? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I'm going to go with England. We'll go Isle of Man. Or Great Britain. Where is Isle of Man? We'll go Isle of Man, sure. That is the flag of... This looks like a really old, like an old flag, an ancient flag of sorts. Oh man. I was gonna say something like Micronesia. What flag is this? That's a I can't think of anything, this is crazy. Um... A I think? That is for sure German sausage. Um, that is... A case sausage. Ham. <laughs> Germany? Uh, maybe Germany? This picture represents Germany? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go Austria. This is an American candy. That's Reese's peanut butter. America is where it's from. Oh, well, this is the US. I, I think America? Uh, this picture represents the United States. Shout to the US, USA. Hide the Pain Herald is Finnish. He is, he is, I'm going to, I'm going to say Danish. I don't know, I never considered him being a real person who has a nationality. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Canada. Was he like Hungarian or something? Um, He's from England. 
Spain. Wait, or wait, actually speak German? I'm gonna go with my first instinct and say he actually might be American. Okay, I'm gonna go German. Why? Why? What is this? It looks amazing. Is this a dream? For the Bahamas? Well, he wouldn't have gone to Cuba. Could be Mexico. Could be uh, uh, Cancun. He's in Cancun. Lock it in. My gut instinct was to say Malta. <laughs> Maybe something like Bahamas. I don't know. I think I want to guess that that is Miami, Florida. It low-key looked kind of American. There's like a Nissan there. What was Paula doing? I, I mean, I, but second best, yeah, Miami. That's my best guess. I have no idea though. <laughs> Really happy. I would be very excited. Well, I always knew Peter was the best of us. <laughs> I, I'm actually amazed at how good he was at that. Peter absolutely killed it. Yeah. Peter, are you feeling good down there? I got a thumbs up out of that one. I will take that. Of course, uh, you know, following my grand tradition of being wrong, it was actually, as you called me, uh, Lenly, not Fungus, uh, who, who popped in there. So, Fungus. Qualified the whole way through. No question about <laughs> yeah. that. Of course, now he's facing off. None of us would have. So you guys were fine. I'm, I'm, I'm the clown. I, I make things wrong. You guys correct me. So smart. Thank God for you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, According to that video, I think I was the clown. <laughs> I'll blame it on the jet lag. We all looked a little fugazy in there. Me. But these guys are looking sharp. We're taking a look at the playoff bracket now. Fungus, Kansas, Radu, and Blinky remain. We talked about how expected three out of four of these names are. Now, as we head into Fungus, Kansas, let's remind everybody what they're playing for because the stakes have an effect on the outcome. That outcome, $15,000 to our winner and not just some cash, but some experiences too. Yeah, most definitely the players get a chance to go through the streets in a vintage Italian car and pilot a helicopter, go through all sorts of things, the canals of Venice, super exciting. Yeah, one of the coolest things about competitive gaming is the fact that we are people who sit at home in our house all the time on our computers. And thanks to competitive gaming, now we're throwing you into an airplane, throwing you on a boat, putting you into a speeding car. You can't ask for that kind of enrichment. I thought you said throwing you out of a boat. I was like, you that's know. not the price. <laughs> Depends on how obnoxious you are in the boat, I guess. Oh <laughs> All right, well, we've got Paul already on stage. We've got our two players. Let's get these semifinals started. Thank you so much, Rachel, everybody here. Are you ready for our first semi-final? <laughs> two titans of the game are about to descend upon the stage and perform for your entertainment. They are two of the four best players in the world. And I need you to raise the roof to show your respect and adulation. Please put your hands together for Fungus and Gordon! Great to see you both. First simple question. Are you feeling any more pressure now at semi-finals? Yeah, one more. Conscious? Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Conscious, is it helping you at all that you've got the Conscious fan club in the arena with the flag with your name on it? Yeah, that's uh, what's up, what the right now? Is it helping you? Is it making you feel any more comfortable? Like uh, any support is nice. <laughs> sure. Uh, Fungus, any sort of game plan going into this? Is it just about controlling your nerves? I think I want to try my best to win on the moving because I know he's a very, very strong no moving player, but I mean, he's still well rounded, so <laughs> no specific plan. Just win. Conscious, anything from yourself? Any specific plan? Well, if I can take one of those moving games off in, I think I have a good chance. All right, guys, any final? 
final word before I let you onto the server. Now nah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, everybody, make some noise! The players have come to play. Now, Gio, watching these players walk out on stage, seeing them get settled, you've seen a lot of esports competition, you've yeah. seen a lot of players. Do they look ready? They look scared. They look scared. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm definitely used to seeing players come out and the trash talk and the overconfidence and everything, and there's constantly being like, any support is nice, you know, it's like there's, <laughs> yeah. there's such like a sense of wholesomeness in this room anyway, but I think like everybody who's made it this far thought it was going to be other people. Um, and they're still quite incredulous about the fact that it's them who is on this stage. Now it's semifinals, it feels real, and that's where those nerves are really taking place. Yeah, none of these none of these players are really like cocky. They're all so humble, and as you said, like yeah. I don't think a lot of them, even though there was pressure on some of them to be the people who make it this far, even still they were like, whatever happens, happens. They're here to have fun, and none of these players have experienced anything like this. This is the first big geogaster hosted LAN. This is the moment. Yeah, these players, they had to come out here and play once earlier today, and I would wager that it's a bigger act of bravery to come back out a second time. You know what it's like now. You know the pressures of the stage. We saw hands and voices shaking. And I do wonder if, Gio, you're right, they are a little bit afraid. Yeah, definitely. And now that we're heading into the best of fives, it's going to really matter a lot about how those modes are. But also you get potentially some extra uh, opportunities to pull things back. It does mean, of course, you're guaranteed to have an NMPZ round. We did just see the statistic on screen just there for Fungus saying that his best mode has been NMPZ, where he's taken three out of four wins. Uh, I'm curious to see what the statistic will be for Consus when that comes up. Um, but you can't avoid that. You know, you have to go through all of that, but um, we could end up with some long games. Absolutely. I hope we end up with some long games. Bloom, what is it about? Do you want this to end? Like, we are getting close to the end of the oh. first Yes, he wants world. it to be over now. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. No, of course not. Drag it out, right? It's Give me crazy. all five games. Give, I want them all. I want the semifinals to go to five. Both of them. I want the finals to go to five. I want them to be intense, and they will be. Yeah. If there's one thing I can promise everyone in this room, the games will be intense. There's so much to fight for here. Have we seen either of these players struggle at all? We, we've talked about that we haven't seen any mistakes today. Any memories from yesterday or in seeing them play online? Anything that they definitely need to be aware of? Not that I can think of. I mean, again, we can bring up Consus's record so far. I mean, we can talk about him not losing here, but in the qualifiers as well, not losing at all. <laughs> Unbelievable. And will Fungus be the one to break that streak? Well, the interesting thing, I think, is the fact that Consus had to deal with the technical difficulties True. earlier means that he's kind of got himself into the place where if anything happens, he's dealt with it, right? So he's Very sort true. of like already gone through that. Um, whereas I, I don't know how that's going to be for Fungus could be that it would be totally fine, but I just think if you've been, te you, you've been limit tested a little bit more. True, and great to think about as we prepare to head into this match. A lot of experience between these two players and two wonderful casters to take us through the action. So let's head on down. Thank you so much, Seltzer. And take a deep breath, everybody. We are getting into it. The first semifinal of the GeoGuessr World Cup, the first official GeoGuessr World Cup. True. And, you know, this is where history is going to be made. These results will be echoed for a long time. And this game will be echoed for a long time. Consus versus Fungus. Listen, Fungus has been playing out of his mind. Consus has been playing out of his mind. But yeah. today... How, how, how long do we keep doubting Fungus? You know, he's sort of like, been oh, like the no low-key Grim anymore. Reaper at no this point, right? Anything, anything. He's taken out Harmless. Uh, he won his first quarterfinal game against Debre. That should have been too difficult. And here he is. His hardest challenge yet. In the first game of the semifinals. This is a best of five. It will be a moving, no move, no move, no move in the PZ. Yep. And we start in Japan. And this is a beautiful. Oh, wow. It's look the spring this. in Japan. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Round one. Let's run it. Okay. Let's... Moving. 
Hopefully they don't get hypnotized and, you by know, the cherry blossoms. Fungus did want to take a moving game away from Contest. Let's see if he is able to do that here and start off with a good round in Japan. At least he's showing some focus as to what he needs to do in this yes. match. And we do see Fungus immediately zoom in on the telephone transformer, and we see Contest go for the, the plate on the pole the there. Plates. Those are both indicators of regions in Japan, if you do understand. Will, will Fungus mean. need to have plates to be able to get as accurate? Um, plate knowledge? He will, yeah. yeah okay. So recently Japan has, has advanced in kind of like the meta is what, like, is what we call it, of like what is accessible He's to region guests in Japan. And they're both in a similar region, so this should should work out. Or I'm assuming Constance will Constance yeah, is yeah, just going outside Tokyo. Right now. Okay. Tokyo guess is always a good guess. Oh, okay. Actually, th there's there you go. might be some damage here to be gained by Constance, of course. And again, a, a consistent theme is the player who is the favorite will also out-hedge on top of having more accurate yeah. guesses, more 5Ks overall. Fungus has to go up against all of that. Yeah, it's death by spoon. Slow and steady. Oh. Yeah, like round that. two, let's keep it going here in Europe. That'd be one of let's the worst see. ways to go, I feel like. It's not fun. Round two of 10, 1.5x damage in the first moving game of this series. Winner does advance to the finals of the series. Let's see who is able to pull off here and see if they... Looks like there were some bollards there that they looked at. Didn't this quite is Northern myself. Europe? Or? Should be somewhere in Europe. Let me see if I can see a bollard on my screen. It's, uh, you know what? Uh, They're zooming past them. It's going to be check your block yet. Okay. Oh, you have a sign there. I would go... Oh, there you go. That gives away. So CZ there. But, you know, a fun thing about when you see CZ is that you don't, it doesn't always mean you're going to be in CZ. Oh, that's or a check good sign. Because you could, uh, you know, drive. But, so, yeah. So, Fungus actually took a little trip down the road and found a, a very good sign, I feel like. And there's no lining up just oh, yet. They're going, different, they're going different borders here. Maybe there was, like, a, a got some border crossing that they saw or something. So, it looks like... Is there a chance? Oh, he's coming back to... Is that what we do have? We might have that going on Because so, uh, Contest really hasn't moved around that much. So, did he not even see this clue? He doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Yeah, okay. He just doesn't. No, he he can tell what it is, and he's he sees we're probably gonna be on the border here in Czechia, and um, both players do see that. And it depends on what border you're on. Now you're trying to find the road that lines up with the alignment of the road, <laughs> and it's slightly park. more east. Oh, okay, so it was a border, um, but uh, yeah, borderline damage here. It's contest. will take a hit back. Sometimes and the first bit of damage is the hardest. We have some great news for Fungus, as this is oh, let's go. going to be Fungus's first living Canada large in Canada, baby. In, in Give it up for Canada. That was almost silent. That was no, almost no, 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 silent. No. It wasn't. There's a delay. There's a delay. Two ex is this actually ever U.S.? Oh, is it? No, that, those signs don't I, look I Canadian. I thought that was a single yellow road line in the snow, but now I'm looking at it. I think this might... Let's not give it up for Canada I, quite I, yet. I, I okay, try, fall I coverage, you. I think this is going to be more northeast, okay? I, uh, I I do think this will actually probably end up being... Like the Midwest? Is that what you're saying? Or uh, Just like you? up there in like near... Uh, like northeast, like Maine, or like Ooh, okay. Pennsylvania, something in that. Yeah, Maine that is real. basically Canada, anyways. It's so true. far up. True, kind of true. Okay. All right, they are moving here, trying to find more information on the bin. But this is where you know, if he wants to know moving, What's fungus needs to be able to nail Property it. And oh, as you mentioned, northeast up by Washington at the moment is fungus starting to go down a little bit. Consist, does he have any good information? Because we are coming narrow on time, 15 so, seconds. With the U.S., one thing you do learn is the blur of the plates to see if you can recognize the blur of the plate. It looks like. Constance might maybe recognize the, the mass plate there. We got initially what we what we see here. Confident. Oh, they're on top of each other now. Oh my God! They ended up wow. fighting yeah. it, and just by a hair, Fungus gets this damage. And I want to say it does speak. It does say something that he's out hedging again. He's getting a little bit Slow. closer. Yep. Couldn't Constance that couldn't even happen in last round. Yeah, he's leaving no room for error. Really, both of them really aren't. But round four is where we do see some room for error in Brazil. And this is where things do get interesting on 2.5x on such a big country where it's very, very hard to urge you guys if you don't know certain things. Constance, I think, is does have the Brazilian advantage here okay. with his knowledge, but that is not to discredit Fungus and how he's playing so far. But yeah, Brazilian dirt. Brazilian dirt, that's it. But uh, it's a big, it's a lot of dirt in a lot of regions. So, yes, well, this could be massive points. They're taking a risk here by, well, they're not taking a risk, but they're driving down the road and there's seemingly nothing in sight. Yes. So one of the things about moving, one of the main things about moving games is like you have to hope you go in the right direction. And you know, if you ha if you play moving a lot, you kind of understand what the right direction looks like just by instinct. Oh, oh, but we oh, have, oh. We have, That's we big. have information from Fungus on his. Did they go here. different ways? I, c I can't tell what raid. Oh. oh, we got a, a road lineup let me, from Let me line up. Let's see what. He's been here, folks. Name of something scarier than uh, than Constance looking at the, the road and lining yeah. something up. That's. Don't let this guy tie his shoes in front of you. <laughs> That's good. Okay, and a guess in by Fungus. No lock just yet. Five seconds. Five seconds. This could be big points for decisions, someone. I don't know decisions. if they're pretty close, but still massive points in Brazil if possible. 
And wow. Oh, man. Equidistant else. once again. Talking about just 50 damage here. 53 but slow. it's Fungus again. It's a 50 point game going into round five. This is Fungus still leaving. Are, oh, are we still in Potent? No, we're not in North America. Are no, we? this should be Europe here. Let's okay. move around. This should be like a. like, like uh, this is farm is that, country, though. Are they, what are those? That's a Polish bollard there, right Polish there. Polish bollard. You see hills too. Let's just oh, get into oh, it. Oh, we had that interview with um, Fungus, and in one of the games he won, he said there was a concerning amount of Poland. Mm, there's but a he concerning still about a lot it. of things in this map too. So we should we should see a, a bollard here that they'll both see. And they'll recognize to the west, I think, or to the east. There is a there's hills. So maybe the the hills maybe more indicate you're gonna be more southern, or you do get more hills. But, oh, okay. Because um, otherwise it's fake, just flat everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, it's, it's pretty flat. But I don't think those hills are, might be not might not be big enough for the south. They're gonna see Poland. if they can find a green sign with the town name that they're entering on it. Great for biking. For the village should be pretty small. Fungus is in. Okay, fungus. Well, that, said, was, that was Constance, pretty fast. Constance, you're not getting any more information. Ten seconds. Let's see. What's he looking for? He oh, he's something. got a he sign. Found he's something. got a sign. That's oh, a big no. sign. This big be green massive. sign. Don't give him time. Three seconds. Two. Oh Will he find in time? He's got to put it in. He can't find it. It's oh. east. Fungus is still closer. It's still closer by Fungus. He needed a few more seconds. Constance, Constance got the information just a little bit too late. That got scary. Wow, that could have been, that could have been bad. Yeah. If he if he gave him like like ten more seconds, he yeah. could have maybe figured something out now, there. Paula, check this out. We're truly getting tropical. We are getting tropical, and this is uh, not the Norway tropical. <laughs> yeah. Yes, round six. Let's start the round here. We do have a very very obvious car meta here for the players. So both players should be getting but this. But is this like Iberian region? No, this will be the. Uh, uh, this should be the Virgin Islands. Oh, and there's wow. a red car on the southern island, I think, and a white car on the northern, if I'm not mistaken. We'll, we'll see here. Damn. So there's yeah, there's these two, and there's one more south. Constance, when you try to line the road up in, uh, in the Virgin Islands, that you mean business. You mean business, and uh, you're doing all that work just for a few points, right? Yep, That's and you know. All the points matter here, as he's only a, like barely a hundred down here, going into these late rounds. Let's see what they do. They're so both they can gain both anything. Currently scanning. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those where you don't like moving would be, would really give moving you no, wouldn't even help no, you. Because here. You have all the information. Like, it's not like you're going to try and find a. And it's just not. But that there are different big. islands in Virgin Islands. Oh, so, like, if someone's right here, and that could be points. And yeah, it's maybe deceivingly. Where is, where is he scanning? In the ocean. Down to okay. three seconds. They're going to let the time run out. He's right. And oh, my God. He's right. He's right on it. But it's not very many points. That's a bigger find now. 300 points. At this point. Yep. That's he's it. close, it's, but it's small. 1,300 damage in total. Yes. Yes. In so that's total. Still, that's still big in the grand scheme of things in this. This is, you know. It, we're looking at Fungus versus Consus, okay? Mm -hmm. This is his biggest, hardest matchup so far. Yeah. And yet he's his most consistent so far. He's playing well. He's playing well. You only have to play well for one day right here, one right more. now. Where's that white Round sand? Round seven. Let's see where we are. Should be a Spain, if I were to guess. Let's see where both players do end up going here. Okay. We do have no white border on that sign, which maybe would be a... Let's see if they look at the yellow reflectors on the guardrails here to confirm. Some signs. Oh, we just drive past Long one. Said, I don't need that sign. No region information, yeah. I guess. So both of them are going... They're going different directions, it looks like, maybe? No, the same direction. He's he's stepping on the NOS right now. We're going to see how far <laughs> we can get. And yeah, uh, both they, they both have been generously allowing the other to take as much time as they need. So yeah. it actually makes sense. Why not take a drive? Yeah, you don't want, the more time you give, the more time you give the other player to find information. So when they've committed this much time, they know that they have to start. Oh, OK. Fungus scanning. Was that enough, Constance that little moving. red? post that he saw? Was that enough to figure something out? Um, I didn't see a red post, but the red posts do have high, er, highways on them. It was a them. sign, sorry. Yeah, was yeah. Like, so yeah. Constance no, does see it as well, and he will start scanning for it for the road here, and Constance and Fungus but are both Fungus probably got in there a little sooner. We're down to two seconds. Here Constance, he opened the map late. Ooh, Constance oh. slightly closer. Oh, he's closer. Oh my god. Oh, and that was Fungus with a little bit 600. more time, but Constance a little bit more efficient. This is getting, this is tight. Yeah, and, you know, is... Fungus was trying to pick up this moving game, and right now he's doing just that. But can he keep it up? He's in the on next the road, two rounds? and we're going to stay in, the, in a warm region. It's going to be a different place, obviously. But now there is a 4.5x multiplier, and the chip damage matters less here for Consus. Yes. And a country like this in the Philippines, Round eight. anything is possible. Let's see what happens. Driving right, Philippines pavement. Let's see what the players do here. How, how many islands are there in the Philippines? Two, like at least two, at least two, at least two, at least two, more yeah. than two islands. At least two, maybe three. But 
Whoa. Constance that finds something. information that and immediately something. zooms in as if he knows. They both right. they both have the same information right there, actually. Is that a city name? More than likely if that's what they're zooming so. on. So. Yeah, right underneath the exact same spot. Oh, are we going to get a double 5k here? Wow, what a high level of just like knowledge from both players oh to recognize God. that. That's a, that's a lot of experience at play right there. And Man. yeah, look at that. Fungus slightly closer. Ooh, again. This is more than impressive. They, they both said they were sighting, they were feeling the pressure coming into semifinals. You can't see it. They're, they're playing out of their mind. And round nine. Oh, this will be fun. This will be this fun. This will be a fun. All right, who got their, who got their New Zealand lessons? New Zealand. The question. Let's see. This will be. Is, does it come oh, down to because this? it's north or south in in New Zealand, right? Yeah, it's like north island or, or south island. But is that unfigured out? Is that no? Why it's figured out. There's, okay, there's, okay. Yeah, definitely. It's, and it's maybe it, not it too moving. hard for these players either, especially on moving. You're gonna find information. You're gonna find signs. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna hopefully get a close region. But at the same time, it's figured out. But it's not always you know consistent. So we could see a separate island guest here and see big points. It's a gloomy day see. here in New Zealand. But for who? Oh. Green mouth. Does he recognize those is the question. Oh, there's more. There's more that there. Zoom and he just makes going, me think he does. He's going all the way in. South Island is what's being locked in for Consus. And again, I think we have, they just think differently. They're not going in the same direction. They're going to get different information, but will they get enough information? And Consus we've got road signs. Lining the road up. He feels confident in his region. Will he find the 5K? Consus can go ahead and lock 15 seconds, however, so he might as well let it run out. Let's I see. Pressure's on. Fungus Consus isn't getting is that info. I think Consus he thinks he's know. found the 5K. Are we going to get the hedge? Where's he, he going? Know? North Island or South? He's, 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 he looks confused. He's going more Time's north. Time's running out. This one's going to sting. Oh, no. Who's right? It surely is. Constance, oh, 5K. 5K. Oh, my God. When there was a 400-point discrepancy. 9,500 damage on round nine. Don't sleep on Constance. After wow. all that work. Wow, New Zealand. We've seen other players go out, go out on New 9K Zealand. 9K damage on New 9, Zealand. 9,500. Wow. Oh, Don't that's... sleep on New Zealand. Damn. Wow. That's what? uh that's that's, that's... salt inducing because you 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 were like edging out this guy who's the, the most consistent of any player here in this tournament, only to get to round nine and make one blunder. One big blunder. Yeah, and maybe that blunder was just going the wrong way or not getting the same information. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's it's unfortunate, but you know, it's it's all in instincts. Consist looking cool, calm, collected. And, and he's glad he got that he got that moving game from, from Fungus. And as mentioned, you know, uh, Cherbota, of course, would have loved to have made it to semis because you were guaranteed an NMPZ round in this matchup. We're doing best of fives from now on. And uh, actually, funnily enough, it seemed like Fungus was doing better on moving in our memory, but in reality, he was actually winning more on uh, NMPZ. Yeah, no, I, I think the, the stat said like, what, three or four NMPZ games he's yeah. won Fungus. So, That's pretty you know, impressive. sometimes it just comes down to, you know, couple seeds that you that you've studied for a lot i think a lot of the players they've been studying these um the countries and then it's like well i studied a lot but i didn't get what i studied for you know i get right, things that right. i thought i you know that's gonna I thought happen. i knew but yeah but constance came prepared fungus came prepared we're going in to game two got a feel for these guys memorizing the literally the entire world no move great painting off the start here let's see what we got round one let's do it okay no move but players basically just get a 360 panorama right here right now round one of ten Okay. on game two. Already trying to read it on the grayscale still image to kick things off. And those poles look very unique. Yeah, yeah. These, uh, I think we might have seen the Greek alphabet. I'm not, or wait, am I tripping? Oh, this is Turkey, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, we've yeah. got a Turkey game. If, if between them, who's... Oh, man. I mean, of course, we got North American Specialist on the side of Fungus. Consist going right for Turkey. He's going downtown, just like Syria border here. I, Constance knows a lot about Turkey, I think. Ooh, okay. He's, he's played with people that maybe Jalotris has taught him something, you know? Oh, uh, okay. You got to have the right friends. Exactly. Exactly. Fungus still concerned on where he wants to region guess. Okay, he's got but He doesn't Turkey. look as confident. Constance looks so confident. Two seconds on the clock. He has to be right. Hey, listen. It's the he first is. round. He knows oh, it. my God. He's damn near 5K on this one. We'll call it a 5K, folks. 4994. Isn't it like you look at one 360 panorama of the city and you immediately know where you are in Turkey. It's just mm. unbelievable. That's unbelievable chunky. knowledge. Round two. Look what are that. these beautiful trees? On this the is left. uh look at that. Can you snorkel? Round two. Snorkel, okay. We've seen a little bit of Kenya today. Um, it has done a lot of damage seemingly to, to players. We'll see if that continues. We have the Kenya follow, follow car and the, follow car. the snorkel on the car there that would signify. Wow, that AI blur is so accurate. He's zooming in on the poles there, which I've never seen anyone actually doing Kenya before. He's going in. He's going Fungus in. And he's just clicking capital. We've got the dive. You know, in the early rounds, why not go a little faster if you don't like it? Yeah. Um, this is your chance to, to sort of skip by the tougher seeds. He's going 
just north of the capital. So assuming they're both going near Mount Kenya there. Let's see. Very similar just location capital. early, and it's Nairobi with who is out in front? Consus. So 426 damage. And uh, Fungus, this one's starting to hurt already. Already on round two. <sighs> round three. Let's see what we got going here in Malay. Head oh. to the coast and call it a day, right? Malaysia, see baby. What we got. So they're immediately going to start looking. Oh, it says this is a freebie. You'll see here why in a second as they zoom in on Sarawak right there, and they both know where Sarawak is. Okay. And so do we just be, lock? Yeah, um, they might try and 5K. That's the type of players they are, especially when you're looking for all these points. Okay, well, they've been taking their time, letting the other person guess, and that's actually worked out pretty well for Fungus overall. He's been consistently keeping up, but something's turned. In the last couple of rounds, Consus is starting to power up, and uh, Fungus will actually take a little bit of damage on this. You know, 12. it's yeah, very 12. little damage. Small, hey, listen, but a win and is everything a win. counts. Everything counts. A win and, is you know, a win. That could have been a lot more, so it could have been worse. Yeah, we saw Lenny wow. get down to sub-50 health. Oh, oh my god, are we in my. Nepal? Yes. We have official Nepal Trekker. I don't know if I've ever seen this in a tournament. No, never. Okay. I have never seen this in a competitive tournament. Wow. Okay. We've got a world's but first But it's not here. like both players won't know this. It's just like so rare to get that you even have. Yeah. Look at look at Fungus. He's like, bro. Constance is like, bro. So this what, is what happens in this situation? Like how big is Nepal? I mean, it's probably just Everest right there, right? So, <laughs> you know, you, you look at, uh, you line the mountain up and hope for the best here on this. Uh, so. There's two ways Google Street View covers. Could you uh, climb it's on that, the Trevor? No I'm, I'm, no, I'm not. I'll stop that. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. All right. There's two ways Google Street View. It's, it's either you know a Trekker, which is a, a human with a backpack, which is what we see here, or it's a car. This is Trekker coverage, where it's a lot more difficult because you don't have roads, which is where it we are right now. It was actually Trevor with the backpack <laughs> here. <laughs> All right. Doing well, some coverage. I mean, yeah, okay, we I got mean, like all these hotels that he's surrounded by. Yeah. It's a popular area with probably a great view of Mount Everest. Gonna yeah, assume, Consus. Yeah. oh, Consus, right on the money. There you go. And it's Lining only, it up. Ah, it's 13. a few cents, it's a, it's a few cents, but it is still a win. More than anything, it's just a free round where you're getting the multis higher, but wow, oh, here we go. Here we go, who is better at India? It, India, okay, this is where this is where men are made, okay? India, Yep. it's, uh, Consus. it's tough. Let's see. Okay. I always like looking at the reactions, right, when you get around like this, yeah. and seeing what their immediate thought is. 3x damage, look at the pharmacy. Pharmacy. Okay, language. how much translating can we do? Can Contus do any translating at this? I'm gonna put it past him. I'm gonna, gonna put, put it past, past him. him. Okay, Contus knows no bounds. Let's see what Fungus... Fungus is always looks slightly discouraged by rounds like this, but oh, okay. let's see. He always ends up pulling off and then regardless. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do at this point. How much more information is there to be gained? And is there enough potentially on this sign? Would you have an address there maybe? Probably not, right? 30 seconds left, 3x. Yeah, you're looking for all different types of clues that you can get. Looking for the tuk tucks, you're looking for the poles, you're looking for any any type of any clue here besides just language, which is what they only have to go off of right now. You can't see any mountains in the distance. India is such a new country to learn. It's new to learned, it's, and it's huge. It, it is, is huge. huge. It is huge. Okay. Lots of India. But uh, Fungus, not intimidated by Canada, also Six huge. Six seconds. Where they're oh, kind man, of they're basically dotting around. I don't know where they're going to end at this up point. Oh my God. in between each other. Damn, they nailed it. Like, that's actually pretty close. And it's a little better for Fungus. Seven. Slow, slow and steady. It looked like they were lost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they probably were. They're probably both glad to come out with that. Slightly unscratched. Glad to come out of that just to get into Indonesia. Nigeria. Nigeria. Round six. You, know, you have your moments, though. You do have your moments. <laughs> I, I, I do give you that. Round just, six. Just got to shoot 10. a lot. That's the strat. Yeah. Shoot or shoot. Keep shooting. Let's see what the players know here about Nigeria. Yeah, I would probably go. I don't know where I would go, actually. Let's leave it to them. So, how come they're playing no car here? What's going on? <laughs> right. That's just the Nigeria moment. This is a new Street View car in uh, some Gen 4 Nigeria coverage. Okay. And they can see. Constance is studying the police car in the back because that might give them clues. Not too sure. But yeah, this overall. We have it's one the uh, just Lagos pick here from yep. Fungus. Let's see where Consus ends up going, and he will—he's going it's somewhere else. He's, he's going, going, is he going near Benin. Ben Benin. He's going east of Benin. So if, if it's capital, we do have a capital hedge here. Will it pay off? Oh, Two seconds. There's someone to get. How does he know? Oh wow! How, how does he know? What does he know? What is in that cranium of Consus? My God, he's getting one step closer. Again, best of five, but doesn't only get harder. He took a deep breath harder. there. He just took, it, took a deep breath. He knows, listen. This, I, is, this is the opportunity. This is the opportunity. I need, I need these. I have one game down. Game two of five. Focus down to 1K HP, man. He had such a good start. Last round. Round seven. Uruguay. Ooh, okay. 
This is not big points on 4x. Not big points on 4x, but you know, even a couple hundred damage on Fungus, it's gonna, it's gonna yeah, burn. It will burn. You know, it's something that theoretically on 4x damage you could lose on a country like this Uruguay, which is could yeah. Could, Especially I think how I've seen that earlier today actually. So with, with Contest, I mean, he's yeah. got like a, a laser pointer. Contest is the type of guy to region guess <laughs> Uruguay. to kill you in your Uruguay. Yeah. Uruguay. So Fungus trying to line the road up. There is a couple of clues that people have used in Uruguay. Oh, that's a big road. A lock. A lock. We got a quick lock here from Fungus. Contest. Uh, you know, you can never really tell with Funkus if he's happy about it or not. He ends, up, he ends up having a great guess, but yeah, he's like, okay, eh, Contest, when he takes his time, that time ends up paying off. Oh well, my god. They both wow. guessed the same road. Jesus, they were just, that was telepathic That's right funny. there. Yeah. Oh, well, great guess by both of them. I will give them that. Sometimes, uh,. That's, that's pretty funny. Round it does eight. happen. Listen, this is actually better for Fungus the more rounds this goes in because at this point, like, he's not winning on chip damage. He needs big hits now. Yeah, he needs, he needs, he needs. What's the, what's the damage potential? This, is, this could be potential, potential big damage here oh, in Mexico. potential big damage it here, could folks. Be, it could be possible. It could be possible depending on no move and who has to do their Mexico the best here. I don't know. I don't know. Both players are going to know it's Mexico pretty, pretty seemingly. Well, we said uh, Consus, or sorry, we said Fungus knows North America. This counts. This does count, this does count. But with zooming in on everything they can think of, looking at a nice little Corona ad there by... Mm, carnitas, I'm hungry now. Looks good. Yeah, it does uh, look good. I, we I are in a city. Uh, and we, we are on a railroad as well. We're so on a railroad, you somehow yeah. know the city, it's a 5 capable. So. Interesting, yeah, so the railroad's gonna show up on the map and they know the city. Oh, we do have mountains northwest there, it looks like, in the, in the distance. I wonder what mountain range that is. Both players now looking at that. 23 seconds on the clock. We do have one slightly... He's starting to look up in the northwest. Fungus starts to zoom in. We've still got Consus centralized here. Slightly and a similar lock. region. It's actually a pretty quick lock. 12 seconds 10 left. seconds to go. Just north of Mexico City. Consus. Consus! Oh, That's he's game. gone. Has to wow, be game. did he do it? He killed him. That's so much he's damage. A 5k right there. In terms of damage, my god, Consus up two rounds already. <laughs> he's him. He's, he's him. him. It's Himothy right there. Himothy. Man. Wow. Hemi Neutron. I mean, the thing is, this is what the consistent thing we've seen today is both players playing so well. Yeah. It's yeah. just the slow and stage. Just it's, a couple guesses just add up over time. It is really wonderful that like it feels like everyone's getting better by the game. Mm -hmm. It's it's I think the nerves are settling in and everyone's getting getting just kind of more relaxed in their environment yeah, and figuring yeah. it out as they like, go. Genuinely, Fungus in his qualification game yesterday looked more flustered than he does today. Yeah. And the only problem is that his opponents are also getting more tough and more consistent as well. Yeah, that's that's it's only getting harder as we go on here. All right, so we're but NNPZ we now. NNPZ, ooh, nice. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I like it. I like it. And you know, Fungus, as we mentioned, has won a couple games in NPZ. That doesn't mean three or four. Isn't. The graphic was accurate. Consus is is also a very, I would say, pretty. Pretty pretty good NPC player as yeah. he is with everything here. So he looks like a hard worker though. I look at Consus and I see a hard worker. <laughs> I do too. Okay. He's just locked in. Which he's means just... he's a moving player. Yes. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Wonders, thanks a lot. <laughs> Game three of <laughs> five. Right. Move. Let's see what happens here in Ghana. Ghana. Okay. The tape. If you know, you know. Most people here do know. Most people watching probably know. If you don't, the Ghana tape in the front right is is visible. Okay, Ghana tape and lots of information everywhere, like yeah. lots of things to read. Yeah, so these signs will usually have information, addresses, or maybe looking for a church that has a what, church sign that what, has this What's the comment. mental space of knowing that your opponent's probably going to have a very good guess on the same round as you when you're like looking around? What does that feel like? Like It's, it's not the best feeling, you know? Yeah. You have to hope for the best. Hope you, hope you find more information than he does, but yeah. At the end of the day, yeah, it's not you good. You just feeling. like wish that he would, they would handshake and just hedge with you. So yeah, you could it's just like move let's on. just always send capital, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the way to do it. That was like the, that's <laughs> what I felt when they had the golf course and the other. Yeah, it's like let's just let's just an Eiffel Tower. Let's do both Paris. Let's yeah. Just, yeah, let's just do that. Is that like the center of the world or something, or what's with the Eiffel Tower? It's just Tower being? an easy pinpoint to find. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope. Yeah, I'm sure. I but could. both players are. All right, Ghana, bottom. I'm gonna right. say go capital. I didn't mean it, guys. No, yeah, so. We do have both it's players. It's another big city anyways. Yep. Both players going slightly closer here. Closer. Oh, we have one. Fungus. Wait a second. Up. Oh. Kamasi. Oh. And he, it it looked like he had his eyes on it for a he second. He thought about it for a second. He did. Yeah. And that would have been big points. He's probably slightly discouraged by that, but yeah. Yeah. At least it's only on round one. As we move to, to round two on game three, we are moving, and we are moving in. In Argentina. Other Spanish-speaking countries. Other Spanish-speaking countries. Europe. In Spain. Spain. Spain, baby. S. It's silent for you. 
It says, yes, pain. Yes, pain. pain, yeah. Yep. Let's see where they do end up going here, though, in Spain. It's, uh, yeah, another lonely round with nothing, no, no people in sight, a couple of cars, and a long trek if they want to find trek. anybody. You know, this would have been much more painful without the new. Oh, Constance has found a road marker, and he knows where the road is now. Oh, no. And he zooms right. Look at Constance Imagine go. Imagine being able to just, like, zoom in on the exact yellow. <laughs> what? Jesus, what the hell is going on? Did he find it immediately? That's a lock. He locked in. Pressure Dude. on Fungus. Oh, my goodness. He knows it's coming. This one's. 10 seconds. Will he be able to find information? And oh. Look at Constance. He looks. He kind of has this a little might smirk be a third there. degree burn. Okay, here it is. Four seconds. The zoom. Are it's we going bottom east. right? This could hurt. Oh, let's see. Constance wow. right on it. Wow. Oh no, sorry, Fungus. Oh no, no. Okay, that's Constance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve hundred damage. I mean, he just wow. knew where that road was. So could, just, he, could he have taken a little bit more time? I to think, think. You think I he could have got the five k? I think, of course, yes. I think his his strategy there was, I found information quickly. I know where this is. I need to instant him because the damage. Damage opportunity it's like for diminishing him there. returns yeah, exactly. if you wait longer. Exactly. Round okay. Three here. You got some English on the signs. Yep. And we're going to be in Zaw, the, South Africa. In the, in the okay, in wait, in Zaw? Yeah. Z A. Like pizza? Exactly like pizza. Okay, pizza. Round three in South Africa. You know, we said Pretoria. You know, that's probably the best guess here, low key. Okay. We'll see what they end up doing. Let's see what they end up doing here in South Africa. Driving left with the Gen 4 camera. Cannot be ascertained or listened to. Both players now looking for addresses on signs or any piece of information that does help here. Oh, I just realized I was saying it was going to be NMPZ on round three, but it's it's actually moving again, then yeah. no moving, then NMPZ. NMPZ should be the, the round five. And we right. do see a Pretoria base guess here by okay. Fungus. Quick one. Yeah. Well, uh, 10 seconds. And I assume we probably see something very similar Pretoria here by Consus. is getting bigger and bigger on your screen. Consus likes it as well. Yep. And that's a that's consensus. Now it's a little bit of damage, but it's it's really not much. Twenty eight. Look how gracious our crowd is. Crowd, <laughs> they're clapping for twenty eight damage. That's that so feeling nice. That's Pretoria. Yeah, that's, that's just the real Pretoria enjoy, enjoyers. We like to see it. <laughs> Round four. Wow, this is scenic. This is scenic. Ooh, this is interesting. Is that Brazil? Let's see. Round four. Looks like we might have Portuguese or something on that on that truck there. Players will. Oh, confirm. the car could be lost. You never know. Could be. Could be. It looks like the new Latin America Gen 4 plate, which is like... I mean, everything is very bright, vibrant here. Does all of does Brazil have Gen 4 coverage, all of it, or...? Yeah, they're, it, they're, yeah. they've it asked me that a couple months ago, no, but now yeah. they do, yeah. It's oh, released. wow. Shout out to Google. Shout out to Google. And in the Gen 4 blue car, you know, usually they're releasing coverage in the, in the bad covered cars, but this is uh, not not that, so... Let's see where Constance... Constance, Constance we saw he not going dirty on the some trade good marks. Brazil guesses before. Is he looking Look. for a, like a, a big hill in the distance, something to... I think he's just looking for any road number road numbers, information. Yeah. I feel like Constance has a region down in his head, so he probably has a good guess as does as this fungus. It's just what more information can I, do, can I get to find the better guess here? There is something you know in the distance, and they, I feel like every seconds, single though. time they go different directions. Not seeing a lot of confidence here out of both of these guys. You need to get guessed in those six damage. seconds. He, fungus needs to zoom in. This could be a big hit. They're this both going separate regions of, the, of Brazil. The top and bottom of Brazil. This is someone. And oh my it's god, fungus. the top is so much better than the bottom. 2,000 damage. Oh, oh my, my god, god. 4,000 damage. Whoa. Wow. Wow. And that is a Brazil moment. It that deceived me. Is. It's hard. I said he might have known the region. He didn't. That is and that's serious. okay. Because Fungus did. No. And we're going to be in. That's not the first time, though, that Fungus has got a hit like that. No. So he just has to keep it up, however. Keep it up. Because he's down two rounds. Yes, in the round five here, we're going to be in like northern Thailand, presumably. Surely. Let's see where both players do. I'm guessing we have the black on the bottom of the pole driving left here with Thai pavement. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm just like, like on a the edge of my seat. Single road here. Consist does need a God, pretty good guess here, areas. I think. I mean, they know it's Thailand, right? So how do we even get more specific? This has always been a difficulty. Yeah. I mean, I would go pretty north here with these mountains. And we're always like this general feel here, like Chiang Mai, somewhere around there. Really? But okay. Sometimes you think that, and it's like way south. You're like, how is that there? It's a you big know? place, yeah. So okay, so there's the zoom. We do see, we do see the Chiang Mai guess here Chiang by Consus, just south of it. And I, I'm assuming we see a, a very, very similar guess here by Fungus, because it is kind of the most basic guess uh, here. Uh, pressure on him to, to actually make a decision now. However, he's got a lead, and he's even been worried even when he has a lead. So the zoom in comes yep. five seconds. He's in the north, Who's a little closer? bit southern than more southern than Chiang Mai. I mean, it could be ever enough points to win. Oh, Ooh. and he it will pay. Is that off. ever enough? This could hurt a ton. Oh, oh! We are getting into the minutia now. Contest on 109 health. Oh, on my round God. five. Yes, and we go here 
And oh, this is what Fungus said. He needs to pick up a single this moving round. Will be fun. Guess. This will be Fungus. Fungoat is going to come. Players, it's coming Constance, for his sees, head right now. He sees Indonesia here and he is probably happy. He's very good at Indonesia. So just hedge quickly, right? You need 100 damage. You, you want to waste a round quickly, like this? Though. You have okay. to find information. He, he knows that there's going to be addresses and everything readily available. And he knows X. where this is. Oh my god, no way. No way, Contis. The question is, does Fungus? The Giga Brain. He zoomed in right on it, and it's in 10 seconds. Will Fungus find any information to give him? He's so quick with it. Eight seconds, seven. He you has to get guessing. You have to get guessing. You have to get guessing. The last thing you Java. want is a big ass blunder. It's not that too far. And Jakarta. Oh, oh my just, god. What the hell is that? How oh, far? Oh, 700 to 100. What is that guess from Contis? What is that guess from Contis? Dude. And that's just where knowing every single piece of you, like you told me Indonesia was hard. It, I mean, it's hard. Yeah, it depends on like what what it depends on, dude. Uh, oh, it, is this Canada? Are we Canada? Yeah, this is definitely bro rigged. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. This is crazy. Canada, 700 health or fungus, 109. Oh. They are both liable to die in this position at a 4x multiplier. Dude. Finally, fungus on home turf. I need only I, getting a couple of Canada rounds up until this point. Let's see if he can make the most of it. Start that round. This is to stay alive. Round 7 of 10, 4x damage. What if Consus beats him on his home turf? Fungus, I last chance. I hope this is Canada again. Oh, that, look at that. Look no at that shot. Tune. That oh was, my what? God. Did no he, shot. It's a, did he lock oh. it? That's insane. Does, does what a bro, moment. No. Wait, what? Wait, wait, no. wait, he made a mistake. No, he thinks he blundered. You did can he see blundered? the pain in his no. eyes. Oh, he wants to change it, but he can't. Oh, no. Oh, Western oh, Canada. No. And oh, a chance no. for Consus to lock this up. He can totally destroy it. He does it it was in the US! No it was in the US! Oh my god! It was made! What? There is no what? way! What just happened? That looked like his worst nightmare when Klaus is zoomed in on Vancouver Island and it ends up being made. I just went through like five stages of grief. Holy smokes. Is it US? Or is it Canada? Oh, it's Canada. He zooms in, he's like, wait, no! Wow. Oh my god. What a moment. We got one more life here for Fungus. As he stays alive, one step closer to potentially getting an NMPZ round, but what a finish to that round. That, that, that's the most American Canadian. <laughs> Dude, I was so confident. I, I was, was so confident. And when they both zoomed in, like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We finally got Canada US 50 50, I, right? I, we gotta know, we gotta know afterwards why he was so he was so distraught about picking Canada. Did he know that it was the US or did he think it was Western Canada? Yeah, that's a question. It's like I think I was giving the benefit of the doubt saying, like, yeah, he's probably thought that's like, wait, this isn't Canada. Oh man. And this is probably just the US. And maybe he was just trying to rile us up. And that he did. He knew he was close enough. He's a man of the content. My God. But we stay alive. Wow. He gets a game. Canadians, we persevere. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Contus 2, Fungus 1, anyone's game here going and, into game 4. Yeah, so uh, no move. No move now. We got a Fungus uh, round win on moving. That's what he was looking for. So let's see if he can complete the alley-oop. He needs it. Grab a no-moving round. Right here in what looks like Thailand immediately. Yeah, there should be Thailand here. So this is one of those harder region guessable countries. There's immediately zooming in on the, the, I think, the insulators on those poles. The insulator, the amount of insulator ridges on the poles do have different types of region clues, but nothing that I don't think any player here will give an advantage for. We'll see if Fungus is zooming is in. A, is that a hedge? It was like right in the middle of sort of nowhere right there. Yeah, it's just getting his plonk down right now, not making a guess. Yeah, uh, th these type do. of tie rounds are just extremely difficult to region guess because it could really be anywhere. I would I keep saying this, but it's, it's pretty it's a pretty yeah, hard it's country. It's important to note, yeah, that's yeah. for sure. Um, and you can tell by the you can see the angst in their faces as they're they're starting to look around, just trying to get any valuable data, any words peeking out at them if possible. Seconds. We got a gas station. I think we see a similar hedge here by both players, just guessing somewhat central here. And, and we they, do see a yes, very similar guess here. They are by going both to players. join hands on this one. So this will be a safe one round for round one for both. They're like on the same road. Wow. Downtown, wow. Okay. Two wow, peas in a border. pod. That was a border. <laughs> is there anything that could give it away that it's a border? Because it seemed like before Not, there was like a... Nothing like that. I don't, okay. think, I don't think so. Okay. Round two, it looks like Sri Lanka. Ooh, okay. Low cam, potentially. Let's see what we got here going through. This is the Hawaii of India. <laughs> That's good. So. That's good. That's more lush, like Maui. The eight seconds on the clock. Why? Yeah, it's, it's just blocking. There's like nothing to look at. You yeah, just so got usually only... it's like pretty tropical. We have the palm trees, no big mountains. They're not guessing like like east of Candy or thing. 
but um, yeah. So we got a Western Sri Lanka look. They were so close together just a second ago. And it's Eastern Sri well, Lanka. Just a little bit wow. better for Fungus. That's big though, 261 points in Sri Lanka. He keeps going. As we move into round three on 2x damage here. Imagine we got the round five in the first semi-final. What a treat that would be. Yep, and this is new gen for Israel, should be here. Let's see what both players end up guessing is going to be minimal points here. 55 seconds on the clock. Ansis looking for any information yeah, that can get him he's slightly Fungus here. talking to himself a little bit. Going Tel Aviv. Just outside of Tel Aviv here is Fungus. I think he wants to get this one over with. Any pressure on the... Did he lock in? It looks like he did. Yeah, 10 pressure, seconds. Very, very similar guesses. And, and they both will pick up very minimal points they, here. They can agree. They, they know how to agree yeah. to hedge. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's understood. 12. 12, 12, 12. They're trying to they're trying to save their focus and energy for the big rounds. Round four. Like this one. In a country that looks like Romania or something. Let's see. Oh, okay. And Romania, that's uh that's a lot of surface area. Now I'd say Romania oh, is one Turkey. of the Turkey? Oh, okay. I, I would say Romania is one of the countries that we've seen be like you actually miss the country entirely yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's those rural roads are very tough. We have so much information here. Your low trace is really wishing you had this round earlier. Yeah, Consus. But Consus, we saw Consus like Consus pretty much get the exact town right earlier. Turkey. And I don't do we did did Fungus know the towns? Did he zoom in confidently? I, is he worried about Consus knowing that it's Turkey? Maybe he might have not known the city and said I need to instance him before he can find it. But you know what? Let's that's see. playing the game. You, yeah, you, you want to see that. But oh, he knows it. Oh my God! Wow, Fungus showing off, showing off his international knowledge now too. Yeah, getting more accurate by the round, a little bit faster as well. That was clean. Consus taking a deep breath as we go into round five. Yeah, he here. just lost a Turkey. He lost the Turkey right there. <laughs> he did. Let's see what players end up guessing here as it looks like it's going to be something like the Philippines or something, I think. Let's see, though. We got some thin trees. Is this thin Thailand? Filipino trees? No, I think this should be... I can't tell what this is. Why are the trees so thin? I'm looking. Are these like rubber? No. Let's see where the players zoom in. I think it might be Thai Peninsula. Yeah, Constant is zooming on Thai Peninsula there. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think just just at the top should, of yeah. Malaysia is that what we're looking at? Yeah, the peninsula there with these trees. Well, they both. I mean, when they both agree, that's what I know I'm confident too. So. <laughs> All right, we'll take that. Yeah. The players, and again, we see it's been very neck similar guesses. Kons is getting so close wow. on the road, just about. Jesus. And only for a few points of damage, but yeah, present for to, to keep up for them and to be so close together. A common trend, so close, so close, and so close. 3.5x on round six. On round six. And what looks like a Bangladesh. And I think, who has learned their Bangladesh copyright? Oh, is that question. what it comes down to? Sometimes. Are we at that level of sweat? Sometimes. They're going to take players. a shower That's after this a, game. We have RC that will bring out that sweat, I know for sure. We'll see if any player does zoom in for copyright here. Do you like what you're seeing when you I don't you've know got... anything about Bangladesh. Oh, okay. But it but looks like Fungus does. Fungus is very, seems pretty confident That was here. a fast Bangladesh guess as now Consus is coming in. Just a little bit off to the right. Okay. Oh. Not so worth it. <laughs> well, it's not expensive, but it was impressive, I think, how close together they were. Wow. wow. That could have been game if someone made a good guess there. Damn. Damn. That could have been. Could have, would have, should have. Potentially lost opportunity. Round seven. Ooh. And America now to... Is this Newfie or like something like that? Oh, is it Canada? Oh, my God. Let's okay. see. Round seven. I, I'm done making the U.S. call outs with Canada. I've learned my lesson North like America. four times. Just be as vague as possible. That's what I've learned. Looks like it's going to be somewhere in Canada, though. I'm, I'm not All wrong. right, I'll take Scotia. You want Newfoundland? <laughs> no, I, I actually like your guess. It could even be like Quebec. I can't see a language if it's like. Yeah, they uh, don't have the blue plates. The, oh, the, you know, your plates. Oh, oh, oh there's oh, French Quebec on that City, sign. Actually, there's oh, there French it on is. that sign. I, I can see. It. Let me zoom in. So he takes a brief look just outside of Quebec City. Consus will join him, it looks like, in just a second. Looking a little bit farther up north, the St. Lawrence now. Yeah. Listen, this could be big points. Oh, even this, yeah, this can hurt Canada really big. A little bit of pride on the line here for Fungus, Constance. knowing that it's here. Fungus. Who's more accurate? 12 seconds Just on the clock. Just outside of Quebec City. 10 seconds. Fungus looks like Slightly he's Slightly different hedges. And, oh, he's starting to move a little bit. But, man, this is a big difference in terms of where wow. they are. And it looks like Fungus is going to have a big payoff here. With 800. the multiplier, 800. And 92. That's not small. <sighs> and, yeah, so he, he's glad he won that kind of round. Um... I guess he technically won the one before, even though it was the U.S., but he'll take that. He'll yeah. take that. And this is, um, ooh, this is what we like to see here if you're... If you are... Either player, I think. Wait, I mean, we saw Constance 5K in New Zealand quite literally a couple 
uh, oh, rounds ago. That's right. So, this yeah, we had some regrets in New Zealand. Something interesting here. Ponce is zooming. Can he read that? Does he need glasses? I don't know if. Oh, oh more information there. Let's see. Immediately. Okay, Let's that's talk. large commercial industrial site. Mm. Okay. There's a big tank here with a little child playing on it. Looks like I don't know if they've shown that on screen yet, but yeah. We have constant zooming in Southern Island here. That's like North North Island behavior, I feel like. Where did Fungus zoom? I didn't quite see there. Um, is he north? He's uh, north. I think they both are. Here we yeah. go. We have another oh, island no, north, split. South. This hurt this last could be time something for Fungus. Six seconds. This hurt so much last time for Fungus, who's got an HP Three. lead, but for how long? Is Fungus right? Is he right? Let's find out. Oh! oh it's north! And you gotta... He 5K! Wait. Oh, 5K, baby! 7,000 points, and we're going to NMPZ! Wow. Wow. I cannot believe my eyes. Man, Fungus is just full of surprises. <laughs> What more, like... Damn, man. Well, after last time, as you brought up, Consus accurately getting the North or South Island just kind of just felt like he was going to get it again. Yeah, know your New Zealand. It's, it's the, it's so far today is, is what the, the me message is. The fungus is growing. <sighs> the fungus is growing. He's a very fun guy. Yep, it's, uh, that was a bit of a stinker for Consus. Tough way to that go out. back and forth all day. Yeah, this is getting... that's, that's insane that we get to round five, man. That's two That's two games you've seen in on New Zealand so far. Actually, yeah. we saw games yesterday, too. True. We saw and Oscar get eliminated on New Zealand. And it's always an exciting finish, actually. It is. It's always it's like, you never know. the best ways to go is New you Zealand. Never know. That's how I'm some trying to go out know, one day. But some, yeah. It's a good way to go out. Yeah. It's a good way to go out. Okay. Fungus, okay. Have you ever seen someone more locked in? No, dude. He's, he was waiting for this round. He had to earn it. Seriously, he had to get earn it to get to round five to get the NMPZ round, but we're talking about three out of four NMPZ victories for Fungus. Nothing is guaranteed, but that's a good stat. And this, both players here are, are playing at the best of the peak they've ever played before, and this NMPZ game will be nothing different. Imagine the road to the, the finals, potentially, oh. if Fungus was able to take out, uh, to t uh, was able to take out Debre today, to take out Harmless yesterday, to take out Consus in the semifinals. Comes down to this. Down to round five. Two, two. Man, rubber match. Listen, you guys got nothing else to do today, so it's time to leave it all on the table here. Let's give it up for Fungus and Consus. <laughs> Round one, let's initiate. And what oh, looks oh. like? What's the, what's the look on his face right there? He looks very uncomfortable. He looks confused. I think both players should get this assistant goal, though. Okay. Should be a tuba, right? Is he assisting? Wow, sure, he really did capital. go quickly with that. And well, I think they're players. actually not right beside each other, are they? It's good, close enough. Close, close enough. enough. Okay, oh, okay. he's going to it. Wow. Oh, he heard me. Oh, we're jumping around. Wow, just like we're north. Wow, just was this no damage at all? Zero damage, pretty much. Oh my god. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay, so little chip. This is it. Last round, round five here. Game five. Oh wow, are we back in North two. America? We're back in NA. Oh my god, this, this is time Canadian. It makes, it makes it's it Canadian because you see that yellow. Oh, it's Amer is that an American flag? Damn it. That's a great. Uh, oh, man, so yeah, yeah. Right there. I, was like, I love I the new Canadian flag that just dropped oh. with 12 stars. It's okay, yeah. man. It's okay. Next time. All right. Next time. USA. Uh, so where in the U.S. though? This is. Uh, you know, I would. But this is up 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 north a little bit, right? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's. This it's might going, be Maine again. Watch. I could see. I could see something like a South Carolina. Or I could see like Ohio. I don't know where Constant or Fungus do go here. I don't know who has the advantage here on 1.5x and MPZ. Where do these players end going? This photo is all they have to go off of. Oh, they cool. cannot pan. Well, this is what Fungus wanted. He wanted NMPZ. He wanted North America. He's so doing both. Let's see if he'll get beat out in his own region. They're taking Contest. all their time here. It's time to focus up Constant 1.5x damage. A big place. Constant is going. Did he, did he lock in? Did Fungus he drop looking his pin? concerned. He's not dropping his pin yet. Fungus hasn't even opened his map yet. 16 seconds left. Wow. It's like Constance is still looking. They're, they're both in, the, in a similar region going? here in the Ten northeast. 10 seconds. No guesses in yet. Wow. What are these guys thinking about at the moment? Are we, we going to have, have a, a New lock? York? A New York. Oh my God. And and, uh, and the West Virginia. West Virginia. Oh my. Oh, well, I, honestly, will this even matter that much? We'll see how much damage. Oh my God. We got a little bit closer. For Fungus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 1,200 damage. 1,200 US is kind of big. That's inflation. <laughs> nice. Round three. The Westin. Westin? That's a North American hotel chain. That. To, Panama. New Panama <laughs> coverage. The question is do they recognize the Panama, Gen Panama 
the new uh, coverage. And new coverage. It seems like every time we've gotten Panama, everyone's just zoomed in instantly. Because they had, it's been on no move, and you can turn around, look at the car, and see the car. Uh, and I see. Fungus is recognizing it's Panama. Oh, I still got it. Yeah. But uh, Con does Con does that feel like Consus doesn't know? It's I don't Panama know. Yet? If Con Consus looks confused. He's... Has he forgotten about Panama? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Fungus does, isn't actually too now. confident. That's probably a good move to put some pressure on Consus. He gets in. He's confused. Don't forget Come about on, new Panama Consus. that just dropped Consus. He, he Don't lose know. on new wait, DLC. Wait, wait, you gotta open the map. Consus. Yes, five, five seconds. seconds. Consus has to open the map. Get, get that zoom in. He, he feels wait, no, no, he's no, in the wrong no. Place. Oh my God. Oh, he missed it. Oh, many Ian. And that's gonna be a bit of pain. Look at the damage here. Twenty-nine hundred. Oh my God. Fungus is in a massive lead. Wow. And that's what? one of those. Listen. You just forget. You forget. You play the game so many years, you forget the last couple weeks ago they added a new country. Damn. Panama. But is that the kind of mistake Consus makes? I don't know, man. I don't know. NMPZ. It's intense Fungus has only there. lost like 17 points. Anyone's game needs to be consistent. Great oh painting God. here on round Every four. Every round from here on out is an opportunity for Fungus to literally end this game. Every single game. Health. Every single game matters. Every single round matters. Round four, 2.5x damage. In the PZ, this is all they have. Shall we? Let's go. Let's get it. Round four. 2.5x, and it's tense, and you can feel the pressure in the room. You can feel the mistakes being made. Question, though, I feel like this is Indo. I feel like it's... I can't tell. Can, by, by... With the still image, can you figure out is there anything I don't know how who, wrong could you be you could go you could I mean it, this could be really anywhere in Southeast Asia in my opinion Damn, but it feels like tough I mean both players probably end up going into here that I, might be I, an opportunity for Consus 38 then. seconds it could be Consus is known for his Indonesian guessing okay do we see a blunder on it it could not even be in Indonesia I don't know oh man that's my and they no one is, seems confident here yeah this is a crazy location they both wait forever to open their maps Oh, sweating. We got that on the forehead, forehead by Fungus. Yeah. He's 21 seconds left. Go. No one opened the map yet. No pressure just yet. Consus, he just looks despondent right now, just Fungus chilling. Fungus is distraught. Look at the wow. look at Nance. But does he have an idea? They zooming open the map in simultaneously. On is, Fung is Consus zooming in? Eight seconds. Wait, what's going on? He's they, in Philippines. Philippines? Oh my god. Will he Consus, go Indonesia? This is a chance oh, for Consus. No. Will this be it? Con Wait, this could really hurt. 2.5x damage. He does it! Worlds apart. Is that enough? Is that enough? It's not enough! Oh, it's basically a tie game, folks. We got a 600 point lead, but a recovery in a massive way, an opportunity oh one here from Consus. It's coming down to this. It's time to wake up, Consus. He got some big damage off. He's been so consistent. Oh. He faltered a bit in this previous round. But and now on round five, anybody could go. And back in the US, this looks like a, like a South Carolina, Georgia, something like that. I'm oh. not too sure, to be honest. We'll have to find out. Okay. When these players do zoom in. We have no front plate on this car. Oh my god, anyone's game here, 1,200 to 1,800. Constance has taken the lead. So if this does go to round 10. No front plate, he wants a ticket? What's going on? <laughs> well, some plates, some countries, or some states don't require that. Where do you go? You have to go south. These, these pines behind look like southern pines. Southern so you have, to go, pines. you have to go somewhat south, I think. All right, well, wow, we've got that. We have a Georgia guess, yeah, fungus. A Georgia I like guess. it, I like, the, I like when that guess. Doubt. When in doubt, Georgia it out. Georgia it out. Oh, and or Alabama it out, I guess. Okay. I don't, remember, I don't remember which states don't require front plates. I don't. You I know, don't, in Alabama, they do too. what they want. They do. They do what they want. That, that says a lot. Mississippi, he's slowly moving more west, not too confident. Yeah. And Where will Con Constance, Constance go? We, just don't, we don't get a window into his mind. He's he just, waits until the last second to show us here, what he's here, thinking. Here we go. Constance. 12 seconds, 10 Constance. seconds. This could Constance. be the last round of the qual Wait. of the okay. semifinals. Alabama. Atlanta. Five seconds. Versus Birmingham. Who's closer? This is game for someone. Prop, prop. Oh my fungus. god, it's Fungus who's that closer. Enough? That's gotta be the damage he needs. With the it's not enough, it's 1, not 300 enough. 300 health left, Consus stays alive. Oh my god. No way. We're on There's the first no round five. Way. It's coming down. On the Game first five, NMPZ, NMPZ round six. Oh my god. No. We are in Russia. We're in Russia. Is this where it all ends? It has to it end has here. To. It could not because this looks like Sir Goot. Who's getting the? F I mean, that isn't that scarier for Consus? He needs to be pinpoint accurate. He has to. He has to line the road up here, and Con and dude, Fungus is not happy with this round. He he's doesn't like, want that. Why can't you give me the Netherlands? He's looking for it. Is he getting to he's, that region that you just mentioned? You have to guess Sir Goot. This is Sir Goot Sand. Sir Goot Sand and Fungus. 
I mean, Constance knows this as well, but his question is who He's can line terrified. the road up better? It comes down to who can line up the road. This road's going slightly east to west, Constance it looks like. Taking his time again. Now, again, it's just, he's an impossible man to read. Fungus, obviously, always looks Fungus distraught, still manages it, managing locks it again. Seconds. There's pressure now, Fungus. Fungus. does he know, Fungus. does he know? Can he get a guess then? Where, he's, here, this is it, this is it, Launders. This is it, is Five he gonna seconds. take it? Five seconds, is it Who's looking good? Who's gonna win? Two, Oh my god, everything one. is on him. He's in it. It's right Oh my god, Constance locks it up. The it comes down to death, back. and he does it. Wow, 2,000 damage in the end. It out in Russia. He has advanced to the finals. The grand finals of the first official Geo Guesser World Cup. Congratulations, Constance. Wow. What a game. My God. What a game. It can't lie. It hurt looking at Fungus, fungus on that last you round have and to thinking, slightly. oh, he didn't feel like he could get it. This took so much grit out of Constance to stay in the match for this long. Wow. He could have easily to, folded on the Props pressure. to Funkus. He taking Constance to five games like that is insane. To the last round, slightly didn't go north enough, but man, Constance took the risk and it paid off. Man, played out of his mind. Let's go down to Paula for some interviews. Thank you, Launders and Rainbow. I'm not sure if we had a shot of that, but that was a standing ovation from our crowd for our first grand finalist. It's tough to go through all five rounds, but let me just take you back to that very final moment. Was it just a pure gut feeling that brought you closer than Fungus? Well, the trees kind of looked northern because they were short, so... But it could be anywhere in that region, so it was... I mean, more luck than knowledge or anything, but glad I got it. Cosmos, you got off to a flying start in that series, and then Fungus worked his way back in. Was there any point where you doubted your ability to take it over the finish line? Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, my guesses were way off in the third, fourth game, and he played well. He got some great guesses. And yeah, I started to get worried for sure. Constance, in the other semi-final, we've got Blinky and Radu. What's your opinion on that semi-final? Who do you think is going to take it and will be meeting you in the grand final? Well, right now I'm just very exciting to watch it, match. All right, okay. <laughs> Should be a good one. It's going to be tough to be as exciting as that one. Everybody, we've got our first grand final. Let's give it up for Constance. What a show of stamina, of grit for Constance to stay in that match. He won the first two and then got dragged through those second through. But the mentality, Bloom, talk to me a little bit about how you keep it together for that last pick. Yeah, that is so difficult. Constance going down, he has such a nice lead, is playing phenomenally. Fungus close behind, takes those two games, feels confident, and then that comeback from Fungus, truly unreal showing. That was, like, the, the level of gameplay just will not cease. It just goes up and up and up, and Consus stayed strong, got it back in the end. Oh my god, guessing Indo there. Fungus goes Philippines, <laughs> takes it back. Oh, so exciting. I feel like the point at which, at that very end bit, you know, Consus is left with, what, 320 points, and you know you're in Russia. It's like... <laughs> and to do what he does, you know you're in Russia. They both guess similar areas. Makes sense. There was some sand that's usually common in that area of Russia mm -hmm. to look for on the sides of the road. So it makes sense, the area, but just Kansas on top of it. Right? And asking Kansas, as Paula did, like, you know, was that luck? Or was it? And he's like, no, I, well, a little bit of luck, but no, I really <laughs> know what's going on. That is amazing to me, the level of like certainty that comes into some of these plongs. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, But there has to be like some luck in there as well, because one thing I think you have to remember is that although going back to the original moving, if the the New Zealand blunder hadn't have happened for Fungus, he would have taken the moving the moving round. True. So mm -hmm. it wouldn't have even gone to five games in the first True. place anyway. That would have been a four game game. So uh, it just, it comes down to like, just the fates like lie that way. Yeah. And it just really shows that anything can happen. I mean, this game is just down to the wire in these little guesses, guessing different islands in New Zealand. It just comes down to those little things that make or break the game. Well, let's talk about what it all comes down to. It all comes down to this. Looking at the bracket, Kansas is moving on to the finals. We're going to find out who he will be facing off against when he gets there. RC or Blinky, both of them 
blowing our minds in this tournament, but in different ways. Gio, we saw Blinky absolutely dominate his match to mm. get here. Tell me a little bit about what you're thinking he's going to take into the finals. I mean, the thing is, like, Blinky seems very sure of himself, and it wasn't really until the very end of his game that he kind of had that sort of like, oh, wow, I've actually done this. But I think Radu was so impressive in his game against Trabota that I don't even think it's easy to say, like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a Blinky win. Because of the two semifinals, this would have been the one that you would have thought, like, okay, I know how it's going to go. And still, we didn't know how it was going to go. So actually, I think it's going to end up being quite close. I think it's going to be quite close. I will say, uh, during that game, I went backstage for a second, and I did see Radu studying right now. <laughs> what did it look like? Describe what this to me. He was on his app? phone. He was studying Indonesia and just like looking at pictures, ready to go. And he's locked in. I mean, you saw him in the quarterfinals. Cold focus to the point some of the best GeoGuessr I've seen from him in that quarterfinal, and I think he'll bring it into the semis. Pressure is on Roddy for the Indonesia round. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that we caught him studying. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we know. We know now. Well, we've got all that exciting gameplay coming up. Still, we've got our remaining semifinal between RC and Blinky. Both of them deserving to be here, but we will see who deserves to move on against Kansas right after this break.
number of players get smaller and smaller, but the audience somehow keeps getting bigger. We are at the GeoGuessr World Cup in Stockholm, Sweden, and we are about to watch our second to last match. We are in the semi-finals. The winner of this goes against Kansas. It's, oh man, two incredible players, RC and Blinky, you guys. What are you thinking about this matchup here that we haven't already said? We know they're studying, we know they're awesome, but who do they study with? Wow, I mean, they both have their different sort of like squads and posses, as we know and mentioned earlier, Blinky kind of studies with La Ligue, which is a French group. Um, RC definitely has his own group. He was down there uh, actually sitting with Trebota, which was cool, and they were both like looking at Aww. some stuff, which is sweet. After their game together, After I assume. Game, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which was sweet to see, and they, and they were hanging out. And But honestly, when I look at this matchup, as as like touted to win as Blinky is, I really think this is going to be close. I think this could go to game five just like the last. I think this will be extremely exciting. I mean, that was definitely the thing, right, is after the game that Roddy won in the quarterfinals, the consensus seemed to be that was his best game he's ever played, or at least in, you know, in front yet. of people, right? Yeah, yet. yet. And so riding off of that, he could end up be, you see this in all esports, right? You'll be very familiar. Sometimes you just have players that thrive in front of a mm -hmm. in front of an audience. It's just something that, that completely pushes him forward. And if he's been spending the short amount of time since his last game and now just studying, then I don't know, like it sounds like he's he's set to have a really good game. Whether that means he wins, I don't, this is gonna be a hard one. Yeah. I, I won a five game match again, um, but I think it's certainly going to be competitive. Well, I think what you bring up, Gio, is actually super important. I was trying to get uh, from Rainbow before, like, can you really divide a player down to a set of strengths? Someone's great at Ballard, someone else is great at Vegetation, but we've opened up a whole new category here at the World Cup, which is who gets energy from playing on stage? Yeah. Who draws their power from this competition? We might be finding out that RC is exactly that kind of player, Bloom. Yeah, it really seems like he might be. I, he seems surprisingly a little nervous, but surprisingly comfortable in front of the audience and seems to be playing into it a little bit as much as he can. And though they both are pretty low level uh, energy people, I would say, I don't know exactly how to put that, but a little, yeah, a little more. They're chill, they're chill. They're, chill. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. chill guys. They don't give away too much. They're not much. like bombastic. Yeah, of course. But they're no RC, Debra's. Yeah, <laughs> they're no Debra's, of course. But RC. Seems to be a little comfortable, a little more comfortable as time goes on, and I think that's definitely playing into his favor. I mean, he was really excited to come and join us on the couch yesterday uh, because he hadn't actually, he'd been playing on the, the group C, so he wasn't on the mainstream. And so yeah. when the opportunity came to come and chat with us on the mainstream, he was like, uh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that they're coming, they're seeking their connection with their audience. Uh, one of the casters shouted out before, but all of them are present on social media. A lot of them are streamers, content creators. This is a great time to go and give them a follow. Check a list of 24 players that we have here at the World Cup and see who is really going to be taking this scene forward. Everyone that's made the effort to come out to this event, everyone that's put so much love into the tournament and into their practice for it, I think this is just the beginning for GeoGuessr. Yeah, no, it definitely is. This is such an exciting event and everyone is so happy to be here, and players as well. Just ecstatic to have this opportunity. We've been making history here at the World Cup, and we're about to make a little bit more. It looks like RC and Blinky are ready. So let's throw it down to the stage and see what they feel about this matchup. Thank you, Rachel and Desk Up Top. Everybody in here, what was that previous semi-final? That was some of the best action I've seen in GeoGuessr. That was incredible. Now we are going to find out if our second semi-final can top it. Two more of the four best geo guesses in the world. Let's not waste any time. Everybody in here, are you ready? <laughs> then let's welcome our two competitors to the stage. Radu and Blinky!
get some pre-match thoughts from both of you. Radu, I will start with you. In fact, I'll ask the both question. Uh, sorry, the, the same question to both of you. Were you watching that previous semi-final? What, what are your thoughts? We were watching the whole thing back there. We were like commentating and obviously like trying to see like how we would do. But um, it's like those rounds were just insane, and they both played amazing. Um, and it was like down to the line. Like that last game was like wow. So yeah. And Blinky. Yeah, I watched it with Radu, and oh, okay. you made better calls than me on NPC, so I'm kind of scared of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and guys, where are your heads at right now before your own semi-final? Um, where am I right now in my head? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of just chilling. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> I was, I was ready to like go and sit down. Like I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna play. <laughs> ready and raring to go. Blinky, where are you at? I'm trying to be chill. <laughs> trying to be chill. Okay, Radu, Blinky, best of luck on the server. One of you will be moving forward to the grand final, I think, everybody. It's about, about time to find out who it will be. You can head to your PCs one last time, everybody. Raise the roof! <laughs> Do you get the opportunity to get a standing ovation? To get a room full of people cheering for you like that? I'm still waiting for my first. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, It'll even come. a graduation, it was only my parents that cared. Everyone oh, else yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't do that in the UK. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, these players are about to graduate. At least one of them will. On to the finals. They will have earned it very well. A lot of work went into getting where they are in the tournament today. We've been laboring that at the desk, but there's something else I want to discuss too, Bloom. That is the avatars. We didn't mm. get to see it there on the stage before, but whoever does stand up for their interview, right over their shoulder, they got their adorable little GeoGuessr yeah. avatars, and they're so spot on. They are. Blinky has the beanie on, yeah. the classic in his avatar. That's like the staple of Blinky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like as soon as he takes it off, it's like Clark Kent. <laughs> yeah. You're like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who's this guy? random French dude? He couldn't find anything on Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> An average person. Yeah. No, uh, incredible group to have on the stage here, though. And I do love that we found out in the interview with Paulo that they were watching that last match. I know! That's yeah. the most wholesome thing in the world. It like, is. you know, you you could be, like, plotting your domination, it and instead you're just, like, hanging out like two boys. <gasps> yeah. Spitting image of RC, by the way. Excellent styling there. And they were both so so calm up there, as mentioned before. And I love to hear that RC doesn't actually seem like he's too nervous. He was just like, get me in the seat. I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah. 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 Hold me back. Look at that, 61% win rate, three. Three different 5Ks throughout this tournament. We've seen some impressive numbers in that slot, but you know what? Anything more than zero blows my mind. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's been doing it really well and his his fastest round there, the 20.4 seconds on a no moving mm. round. Uh, actually, Blinky even just said that he was kind of worried about how good Radu's predictions for that last series was on the no moving, so. Yeah. No, and if you look at Blinky stats too, an 18.1 second fastest one round, and that's 73% win rate. That Blinky is just really that's a powerhouse. <laughs> too powerful. Well, actually, talk to me a little bit more, Bloom, how you feel this best of five is going to change the game. We've been watching best of threes up to this point. That last match was a best of five that went moving, non-moving, over to Kansas, moving, non-moving, over to Fungus, and then down to the wire in that last one. Yeah, well, I think what is so exciting about finally having a best of five with this format is now Blinky possibly has a chance at two moving games. Ooh. So, a little scary probably for RC. So does Radu. But this is true. <laughs> yes, Radu is quite good at moving as well. Blinky, touted as probably the best moving player yeah. in the game, and that's generally known to be true. So, I think it's going to be a bit intense for RC going up against that, but he is quite good at moving as well. So, it's going to be exciting regardless. And as with anything, it always just eliminates flukes. Yep. Well, there's no use making these predictions because, folks, we are ready to get into the match. I'm going to give it over to Rainbolt and Launders. Let's check out our very last semifinal. Oh, thank you so much, Seltzer. Now, you wouldn't think that that last game was going to be that close. This one, you could actually predict it to go all five. You could. So and what does that mean for our energy right now? Do you guys still have energy in the crowd? Oh, yeah. Everybody is loving it. And we got RC, he's been loving it too. You know, if he didn't play so damn well in that quarter, I would think, oh, you know, Blinky, he's just such a force. He's such a behemoth in this 
matchup, but honestly, this is probably the closest possible semi you could get. Yeah, I mean, after watching that last game, I would typically say there's no way you're ever going to beat that. One of the best games in GeoGuess or history I think I've ever seen live, or ever. And so I think, you know, this game, this game has its, the same potential there. This lineup with RC versus Blinky. Game one, round one, we are moving. Okay, let's go. US. What, what are you thinking or about Canada. that, um, uh, uh, the Bloom analysis about how there's two moving rounds potentially for Blinky? Uh, is he is he like that much favored on a moving round? Yeah, think with the way I mean, RC's like, playing recently, that matters RC's as much. RC's also so talented, but there's so many different. The knowledge that man has in moving is just it's unfathomable. Let's yep. get into it though. You round one, game one, one X. All right, let's start. Let's see who gets off on the right oh, foot. So it here. looks like we have French here. <laughs> you know, this would have been a great game. Or was it? Oh. We got French Canada though, don't we? No, that, what is this? What kind of, I don't even know what language that is. We'll see where they. Do end up going there. Oh, into Montreal. Almost. Oh, it's zooming oh you got to lock in here. Yeah, Blinky zooming in. RC. Has, no players have really moved much. We do have, but it was interesting. We did not have the R8 on the stop sign behind us. But yeah, so both getting pretty close here. We have Montreal and an Ottawa guess. Okay, and, and it ends did, up being. Did he? Whoa, was that a 5K? Oh my God, he kicked things it's, off. It's, it's, dude, we'll call it a 5K. My God. It's things like that that Wait, just like make you like. Hell? They just like make you just like shrug and think like, what am he, I supposed to do there? He's French, but not that kind. <laughs> True, but I guess it's we'll take his, it. It's just in his in his veins. And there was like barely any moving there too. Round two looks like we're gonna be in. What's with that pylon in the road? Pylon in the road. Let's see where we a little cone. So that cone is only found on one road. And imagine, just kidding. <laughs> Both what? players immediately moving. We do have RC. No, oh, he knows the pylon. Arch. He knows the pylon. He knows the road pylon. <laughs> Imagine he found he found the so I think lock. RC He's has has lock. been has been practicing Arge a lot recently. So this could be oh wait, um, there's multiple pylons. Oh, Blinky's found information. When Blinky finds information, that's not good for you. But there's a lock. RC is already locked in. Is, and oh, they're on oh, this very similar that's road. That's getting crazy. Dude, what the hell is going on? What are we watching? Five K again. Listen, that was four nine 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 last round. I don't give a shit. We're calling that five K both two five times. Ks. That's two 5Ks That's back to back. Crazy. You're not gonna find that anywhere else besides with Blinky. But you are gonna find it here in South Africa. <laughs> a little more north. A little more North Africa. Yeah, Nigeria. Okay. We are moving. Blinky is probably the best moving player. RC is nothing to scoff over. And Blinky just sees the information, reads it, and can digest it, and actually he's it means for, something to him. He, he's speed running a 25k to, round here. To literally anyone else, that information probably doesn't mean much, but to him that means a lot. Let's see if it means anything to RC. Dude, 50 seconds on the clock. No he, way. Blinky has already. Dude, there's no way. He's already guessed. What are we Will witnessing RC, right now? He has a sign up here. Will he find anything enough in five seconds? There he are. sees information. He's digested it, and he's guessing. He's in, he's in a similar location, but I mean, are we talking about 5K again from Blinky? This is getting ridiculous. It's not okay, quite. but it's still it's the same general region that he's picking up on. That's massive points. Thirteen hundred. Oh, that hurts. Wow. Man, the kids. Man, two 5Ks this is and just... then thirteen hundred damage on the next round. Dude, this is such a hot start out of Blinky. Round two point five x damage and. Man, I thought this was going to be close all the way to the end, but like Blinky's consistency at the moment. He's not being able to pick up any points here if you're RC. Round four, let's see if he can pick up any points here in Columbia. We do have the Columbian Cross on the back of the sign. White Gen 4, 2.5x damage, moving. Let's see where the players do end up guessing here and see what information they do find here in Columbia. Okay. Immediately moving north here by Blinky, and RC is moving the same direction. Guaranteed Blinky takes a look back over his Blinky shoulder. Blinky has found a sign. Yeah. RC has found that same sign. He's There's turning around, sign, turning this car around. Why is he doing Is he looking at the back of the signs? Is that what's happening? He's or? just looking, yeah, I think so, looking for a little town name here. Both of those. He's actually keep just kind of going back and forth on this road. Is that? It looks like he's already made up his mind, however. Maybe just is trying to, to see what the road angles look like so Man, we can 5k it. Don't tell me he found it again. Don't tell me. He might have found it. I don't know. I, every guess he has, I'm like, oh, he could have 5k. I don't know why. It just, it just disgusts me. But how RC, much he can RC find is just as capable and he has just as much as information read as Blinky. Who would use the information better? Oh he did my it. god. Are you, are you serious? I didn't even have to yell. I just feel I mean, I'm getting like, crazy. This is crazy. You, you quite literally is like, how do you react to that? Because I just like, oh, like. That's Dude, Blinky. He is the map. It's not over yet, though. The map it's is in not his mind. over yet. He still has. If Blinky wins both moving, he still has to take both no move from RC and an MPZ. Yeah. So. But he gets let's two. See. Yeah. Oh my God. Let's see if RC can pick up another. That's another so... another good guess in Nigeria again. 
That is so ridiculous. 3x damage, and this is where it starts adding up here. Yeah, he definitely out-hedged last time he has time another piece of information. This is just, a, a, they both have the same information. They're both going to try and 5k this. Who can 5k it first, oh or who can God. even... This is just what clinic they're putting on here. He's looking for the 5k. It means turning around they're slightly. They're both looking. They're both scanning for these these, these city names. They're they do see here. close enough together. Who's going to get the edge? Blinky's still on 6k. Untouched, unharmed, Blinky and locked in. Blinky has guessed in. Is it the 5k is a question. Okay. You have to assume it is. What's but RC the question got? is, can RC find it as well? If there are different roads He's different down parts the road. of Nigeria. Five seconds on the clock. He's a couple hours away. <laughs> True. So One second. What kind of damage does that translate Dude. to? Oh my god. Dude. Wait, what? No Dude. shot. Another Dude. 5k? Dude. <laughs> like, what? What? I, like, I don't even know what to say, what? Loggers. I, Loggers, Could I he don't do know that, what to say. Like, online in his room by himself? Yes. Alone? He does even better. I, I, I'm at a loss He's doing words. that in person here? I, in a semi-final of the world? On the biggest stage ever. And he said, give me at least 5k's in the first six rounds. Did we just see three 5k's? Three <laughs> or four? We saw something like that. We're going to be in Ghana. I don't even know. It's I, I, it almost makes me upset how good he is. It's just, it's just so... Insane. Wow. I mean, he wants to... Uh, I mean, again, let's... Uh, he's, he's just... He's, he's immediately going into the line of the road. No, I don't like that. He's immediately going yeah, into the line of the me, road. It makes me uneasy. And RC is, is looking in the same general... He's got a new RC gen processor. As RC gets the guess off first, RC's at least he can Blinky. say, hey, I found it first. Yeah. But, but does Blinky find it better? That's the question. He's uh, always so precise. Five seconds and... We'll get a zoom in, not too much confidence, maybe just keeping it on that guess. And it that, continues be it. to be a good Truly, one. That is it. Wow, he's, wow, yep. what a round. What a, give it up for Blinky, that's, that's unbelievable, just, man. What can you do about it? Is that the most dominant round ever? You got three, five Ks, no damage RC taken. RC didn't even play that at all. Wow. We keep saying this, but like, that was just insane. That was, that no, was no, one can, no one in the world can do that besides that man right there. That was filthy. No one and in the world. Also, honestly, man, it was the speed. It wasn't all the way to admit it on every round. Yeah, Blinky, and, and you'll miss it. And That's you see, exactly you see right. Blinky. He speed ran that round. Blink and you'll miss it. That's a message. That's a horse head in the bed of RC. Wow. And we'll have to go but, into no moving. And this is where RC feels more com comfortable. You know, but also, take it for granted. I mean, he probably 5K'd most of those rounds with, without moving anyways. Yeah, like, he there's didn't information even for, There's information present on the rounds immediately already. He literally took two or three steps in some of those rounds, just immediately looked at the ground and locked in. RC like, can't get, let that get in his head. We're on to moving now. But you can't blame him if it does. You, you can't know? blame him if it does either, because yeah. that was... Yeah, exactly. It's, that was undeniable. That was I mean, undeniably say? just uh, a performance that I've never seen before. Holy. But Is this what goes on in your up? weeklies? <laughs> right, yeah, pretty much. If it's if it's moving, yes. Okay. All Round right. two. Game two, no moving. So basically, last game they can move around. This game they get a 360 panorama, and that's all they get. No information given here. We will not be seeing a 5K. We will famous not. Famous last words. That's yeah. Famous last words. <laughs> I, went, said, I can't believe you said that instead of yeah, Blinky right. at the moment in his presence. I mean, we are going to be in Colo. We have, we have Colombian fences here. Okay. And and with how dry it is, it's going to be pretty arid. Arid how, with how dry it is, it's going to be pretty north. Okay. I think. But the question is so where... That sounds like 4K information, at least. Yeah, it's at least 4.8 for eight. Blinky. Okay, there it is. North, Colo. And Blinky, I mean, he's got the time now to, like, look around. And we know that's when he's at his most dangerous Both RC. going north. In the same region. RC going slightly more south. Both good guesses, in my opinion. Not going to be sure who is closer here. It's honestly, it's not even about winning at this point. It's about sending a message. <laughs> True. Blinky is just... Blinky has already sent that message, I think. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, message received. It's like at least 500 texts sent. Yeah. And RC! <laughs> oh, whoa! There we go. That's what we like to see. Signs of life momentum. RC. Momentum round one. He needed that. Oh. He needed that. That is refreshing. He needed that. As we look on to round two, what do we see here? Love that. We see a massive blur that I am going to leave to the players. Okay. Looks like somewhere in Africa, though. But I don't know. It's a Ghana blur. It's like, could be like South Africa or something. I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Could be Mexico. No, I don't know. Let's see where the players end up going I see here. a cheetah in the distance. Oh, is this a trekker in the park of a Kenya park? Does he know Kenya? They both know Kenya. Wow, they Kenya do. Trekker. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Or at least this is a, a specific car blur for uh, the trekker cover. Or the way Blinky zooms in all the way is just alarming. Yeah, it's, it just, is it's, just, alarming. it's just so confident. So if you guys don't know, national parks and GeoGuess are, are typically covered with different cars that do have meta. So maybe this car blur is distinct to different coverages in different national parks. You see them all across Africa. So Kruger, all that. So assuming they've both 
Oh, there's the lock. And Blinky oh, is in wow, there. Blinky is just an animal, man. He sees a dirt road and he knows the park. But you know what? At least RC wasn't that far off. Yeah, that's that's that that's RC around. RC was like, maybe I get points here. Nope. Yeah, that's around. A lot of people, I, I presume, do blunder. But round three, no move. Let's keep going as we are going to be in Europe. Let's figure it out with them where we're going to be exactly. But it's it's got like, uh, is it, it's got UK vibes or no, no, not UK vibes. Yeah, I'm not sure what vibes we're getting here. I'm gonna have to rely on. Wait, is that black on the back of that sign? That could be. Let's see what the. What does this? What does the architecture tell us here? Oh, we have Blinky looking at the copyright here. It looks like. Oh, we're getting nerdy. He's with zooming it. in the copyright. Okay, buddy. We like it. We like to see it. And so uh, presumably what he's doing there, I'm not sure what he's trying to decipher between between the copyright, but Ooh. it could be something. Those are some Austrian mounds on the ground. I'm thinking. Could be. I don't think this will be. I don't know where I go. Maybe like a like a like a Slovenia or something. I almost go. I don't know okay. where I go here. I'm I gonna really take. Don't. I'm gonna take. No, I don't know what I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm. Uh, kind of, the players are the like players they confused too. Like I'm. I don't know if I'm just a lone wolf here. But eight seconds left. Some information. Czechia, makes sense. Czechia is. Is that a hedge or no? They yep, both go both Czechia. Czechia. Well, check it out. One second. Let's see. Oh, uh, and Latvia. wow, okay. Wow. Jesus. Okay, it was a Riga. It was a Riga. I know Peter would have got that one. Peter, that's, yeah, that's, he might have seen his house from there. That, <laughs> I mean, you just have to laugh at that. Yeah. That looks nothing like a Baltic country I've ever seen in my oh, life. really, yeah, I've yeah. never seen, I mean, that's like the largest hill in, in Riga, probably. Right, you know? right. Like, Peter lives atop the hill. <laughs> true. All right, round four, no moving. Ooh, this will be fun. Let's keep it going. On 2.5x damage. The, what's there some, there's lots of words everywhere here. Yeah, lots lots of words, lots of flags. Oh, flags. That's lots of information. Indonesian that flag, right. gives advantage to both these players if okay. they understand Indonesia and its Kevin Oh, okay. So straight up into the city. Both, you know, you, Blinky does know every single Kevin in Indonesia. I'm not sure okay. if, if RC knows his name. He's zooming on to the west of here. It looks like he might have found it. He's sitting presumably... They're both the pretty place. close. They're both pretty close. Are they? I think Indonesia is definitely big, so it could be wrong. Mm, close enough for it not to be like game ending, but still could be pre pretty big. I would RC be so intimidating closer. knowing that Blinky could just translate anything on here. True. True. RC is closer to the same road as Blinky now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they oh. even scoot over. Oh. Wow, RC. He scooted over last second. Well done. Register. Well done. A 178. And that's, that's, that's what you get when you learn your Indonesia. Okay. Round five. Ooh, this will be fun. Yeah. Looks like a little Oz action here. Looks like a little Oz. What, gives Oz, what gives Oz away? I'm having uh, trouble with Oz. Eucalyptus, I guess. Eucalyptus. And the trees here. Or the... I've mastered everything else. This looks Oz. like it could be Taz. Let's see. Where RC going goes. Taz? Ours is go or RC is, is going Tasmania here. Got an instant Taz. We do have the Tasmanian possum guard on the pole that Blinky just zoomed in on, I think. So the green possum guard is in Tasmania. That mean like possum Tasmania. crossing or something? Or? Yeah, it's just to, you know, stop the little buddies from going up. Yeah. Okay, wow, they're very close together, actually, in Taz. Wow. wow. Blinky. What the? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's everyone's reaction. That's okay. everyone's reaction to like, that. I expect the map to be so much more zoomed out when they make their guess. Yeah. And it's just like, it's like oh, they're, they're, they're both like on the road. basically in street view again because they're yeah. so close. And let's see who has the advantage here. No moving on Japan. Japan. We have Japan here. Round 6 of 10, 3.5x. You'll see them both immediately zoom in on the poles behind them. Assuming they, yep, here we go. Looking for any any type of meta on the train on the transformers or on the poles. Looking for maybe an air code. Blinky saw something that he might. He's laughing. Oh really? Why? He's been here. He's been here, folks. I don't know why he's laughing. He had a little giggle, a little little giggle. Not sure what that meant. This Does is he, where he know grew something? Up. Is this he, is where is, he grew up. Is he trusting a meta? <laughs> it could be. Is that Z Z Zag Zag? Is that Zigzag? I don't know. RC's could like, be. how do he figure that out so quickly? Hold on. Is this going to be painful? Oh, wow. okay. God damn. They both knew something there that a lot of people probably did. 400. Wow. Wow. What a great guess. A year ago, you would never have guessed like that in really? Japan. This is new development. But that's not even with the plate. Why? why what's with the, tra the... The poles, transformers, things poles, like that. transformers, okay. Round seven. Quick guy wire, things like that. Round seven. Let's keep it going. Looks like we're going to be in Zaw or something. Let's keep it going. 4X. Oh, there is something there. That was actually quick. Wow, RC absorbing that information. He's going Kruger. Is this a new Gen 4 Kruger National Park? 
It what's, looked like it what's is. What's the blur there in front of the car? Oh, Can't see. we're on it. We're picking between two roads now. RC, he looks like he's almost made up his mind, honestly. Both players scanning Kruger right now, it seems. Kruger did get updated Gen 4 this year. Usually it was a pretty obvious car meta. I'm just thinking RC looks like the guy who's just right about to guess on the mark. Blinky zooming in now. RC with the lead going into round seven right now. Can There's he a lock. It? it looks like they're going to be, this is going to be a pretty agnostic guess from both parties. Uh, where They're both currently oh, looking. Oh, on the same road now. Incredible. Incredible, man. He did it last second. That, wow. That is incredible. A 5K for RC. Now, this series already has the most 5Ks that we've seen. I mean, this this series might have more 5Ks than the entire tournament the so entire far. The entire tournament combined. It like, this is getting it. insane. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is getting wow, really beautiful. insane. Round, round eight. Oh, slow cam Swiss. Okay. Ooh, Let's see. Okay. Wait. Oh, I can't believe you said that. I never said that, guys. I never said that. Round eight. You didn't say that because you said <clears throat> Japan. Japan. Oh, okay. That's a that's a meta player right there. That's what they do. It happens to the best of us. Okay, guys. Everything I've seen from Blinky in Japan has been terrifying. So, let's see. Yeah, let's see what information they have. Wow, that's a lock. Pressure on for RC. But he's so close wow, to Hiroshima. Man, just a little bit of damage. But it's a 4.5x multiplier. Even that will be a couple hundred. What a guess my both players. Gotta love the J Japan rounds, honestly. Wow, um, this is another great round here. It's this a is this just is this, this America? This looks no. like New Germany. Let's see around nine. Is this the auto bond? This is like on a, on the note moving to have this many low like a high score fifty two to forty nine. Yeah, wait, what? Wait, what round are we on? Round we nine. Round nine. So with we have five thousand health each. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't think we've ever seen this high health what going in going around nine. On? This is just consistent five k for instantly both for die, both players. But probably it's not going to happen. Blinky, I think, has learned his Germany. Let's see if RC has 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 as well. Man, both it, players going somewhat east. They're looking for an HP finish here in this situation, based on how consistent they've been. So right now, Blinky, he's you know four hundred damage off. Will it pay off? RC yeah, needs to make sure if they get small if they get small country round ten, this could be a lot. And every single point here does count on five X. Oh, every okay. single Berlin, point. Berlin just outside of Berlin. Who will be closer? Blinky's looking for a party. Ten seconds left. Oh, and RC goes a little bit more north up the road. Feels like they're actually on the Blinky's same highway. The on road line up. up. Oh my don't tell me it's another five K just There's no way. Please. There's no way. Hold me. RC! Oh, Jesus, RC! Oh, that's big damage. Oh, oh, we got one more round, folks. We have one more round. And that's a massive lead. That is... RC needs a small country here. Blinky R is hoping for something that gives it... Wow. Is it? Is this? Is it? Israel? what It is. It's Jordan. It's Jordan. Oh, my God. Okay. That, Wait, so does that mean it's a lock for RC? It's looking pretty good for RC is right now. Is there a world that this goes wrong? We'll have to see. There could be. RC needs to play this well. Blinky immediately going in so for the 5K. There's a way for RC to, to blunder this. Is that what you're saying? For the content, yes. For the content, yes. Okay. Realistically, probably not. Now, Blinky going in pretty fast. RC, again, yeah, he's been one of the most accurate contestants so far at the World Cup. You wouldn't expect him to blow it in this situation. I mean, 5.5x, you could lose 20, like a... A pretty significant lead, RC's and RC closer. will be even closer. <laughs> wow, that's a round one. That Zero. is a round one. Wow. After... After one, literally one. round one, I didn't think it was possible for RC to get anything. It's moving versus no moving. Different skill sets completely. True. Different skill sets completely. Blinky not happy with that, but he played well, and he's going back into a moving. We'll go back into moving. That's Now, if that's supposed to be a given, the moving, that's two rounds that are one for free. You only need three in a best of five to be able to win the whole thing. So a lot of the game could come down to this very specific round. Yep. You know, we, we saw one more moving or no move. What we just witnessed with Blinky in moving was unlike anything we've seen so far. It's literally, can he do it again? Because if he can, there's no way to beat that. How do you, you can't beat someone who gets four you, or five Ks in one round. You just have to hope for information not very far or not very, not very close. I would be like trying to throw things over the divider <laughs> to distract my opponent. <laughs> right, just, I just don't know what else you could do. Off. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, like, you just have to hope for a good seed, really, if you're, if you're RC. Hopefully there's low information. It's rounds he doesn't really know. It's rural Europe. It's rural somewhere, U.S., you know? Yeah. RC is hoping he's the best, probably, you know, U.S. and one of the best U.S. and, and, and the best, probably Ukraine player. But so, is, this the, is he the best Thailand player? Uh, Japan. Japan. And we'll see. 
And not Switzerland. Not, not Switzerland. Switzerland. That's not. what's important. I, I've learned. I've Tropical learned. Switzerland. Exactly. Round one, one hex damage. Let's see if Blinky can continue his moving streak oh, here. Yeah, the moving streak, man. This is where it just, it's just such a, it's honestly such a, jo a pleasure to watch. Like it all is. jokes aside, it's like incredible. It really is. So, I mean. Watching people at such a high level of games play at their best is man, such a satisfying he, thing. He can barely see the sky. How's he supposed to be able to find the road on the map? RC is just going in. He says, I don't need information. I'm guessing Tokyo. Okay. Speed it up just Let's outside of Tokyo. if he does do that. He didn't lock just yet. 35 seconds. Oh, we've got we've got some language. Oh, RC found information. Oh, they both found they the same info. They both found sign, yeah. All right, here we go. Everyone zooms in to see if they can read the Japanese there. Jesus. Blinky. Oh, my God. He is a manimal. Blinky. Dude. How does he do it? What? Like... Round um, two. Okay, and... Round two, and... Now, the Middle East. And Argentina. Damn it. Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> One day, man. It's, it's, it's arid. 1.5x. We do have arch poles. It's pretty pretty arid. It's going to be pretty west. The question is, how north do you go here? You do go west on the Chile border, but how north do you go? Do you go north? Do you go near Salta? Wait, how do you know that this is a border? That this is by the Just border? Just because it's like more dry in the uh, area okay, of, of okay. Argentina. Let's see. I mean, like, if Blinky sees a sign here, which he probably oh, will. Oh, there it is. RC has found information. That's all the info you need, in. right? But do they both he find is going it? Salta. They both find it. They, they both, both found it. it. Oh, dude! Like you have to figure out how far you are from each of these three places. Yes, exactly. So it tells like, you where. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All Which right. they do practice. Let's see some quick maps. Does say Salta on there too? Yeah, they're both currently out scanning. the same spot. RC's going for a, a drive. He wants to see if he can get anything else out of it. Maybe it's too hard to figure out just on that alone. Another yeah. sign. I mean, listen, Man, it's, it's like it's also the compass, right? You've got to figure out which direction. You have the compass. I do like yeah. how both players are using the old compass. You can't see it on screen on the bottom left. Oh, RC, wait, RC doesn't, doesn't know. Seem He's given up. Super comfortable with that. Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait what? Wait, Why is RC it? on it? Oh my RC. god! For someone that was like so. Wait, bro. What was that? I'm not sure gestures? why he was. I don't understand how Maybe this he good. had the 5K and couldn't move to the 5K? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, okay. We'll see as uh, as we keep going into game three. Let's look at the game real quick. Looks like this is going to be, or the round. Is this, is this going to be a Russia? Looks like. This is Russia? Looks like a moving. Wow, okay. it, it, it could be. It could be. It could be Ukraine, I guess. It looks like we have Russian plates here, though. The thing about it, it should be Russia. Where does it where does it look like this in Russia? Like what? Probably more south. But the Russia thing is, south? is like when you're okay. moving, these players they have to learn Cyrillic to be able to play this, and they have yeah. to be able to when they see signs in Cyrillic, you have to be able to translate that into Latin, and you know, be able to read it. And that's what they can do, or? Yeah, yeah. I think both okay. players can do that for sure. Wow. Both players are gonna be able to do that. So who's gonna be closest? Who's gonna be best? I don't want to spoil it around too much here, but right. yeah. How's it's, your Cyrillic? Uh, it's not good. Not good, man. It's work in progress. Letting everyone know that. There's a yeah. there's some there's some stuff up there on the sign that you can see just straight oh, we do up. see Cyrillic there, yeah. We did move into Gen Four. Oh, this is Gen Three. Let's see what we see here. Yeah, I mean both person. I mean I don't know where exactly I would go in Russia here. And it, I mean it's such a big country. Yeah, like I haven't played a as game, much as you guys, right? But when like, I look at this, I'm like yeah. I don't recognize what part this could be in. Yeah, these players will. And you know for RC though, if when you get moving around like this, Russia and. It's almost kind of good because it's a big country. He can pick up big points even if uh, if he gets if he knows the general region or the general cities. He knows that, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Yeah, that would so. be massive. Again, this moving round could dictate the outcome of the game because this is where Blinky's shown so much power, and uh, it could still. I, yeah. It's just that he, he, I don't I don't really see him make a big miss. Like, is he just gonna miss? Just because no. I mean, he'll understand. He'll find information on this round more than likely and be able to get a good guess. The question is, who gets it first? Is is more and who gets the other person less time? But yeah, this is this is going to be interesting. This will be an interesting round, and we'll say a lot, I think, about how this game does go. Okay. Or it could just be two 5Ks like we have seen in the past. Is anyone lining up a road in this situation? Yeah, probably. Oh, wow, okay. In one minute, it might be tough. One minute might be uh, tough. I'm ready for but that. But we could see something similar to that. Uh, Blinky literally, literally only takes 20 seconds on his hardest round, so... Yeah. All, right, All right, looks like we have the go-ahead. Let's do it, shall we? Yep, let's, let's run it. Give it no more time. Round three. What do they see? What do they like? 2X. Let's read some facial expressions here. Everyone, they look focused. They look ready. They are locked in RC. Look at this movement. You can always tell like how good the player is by their movement immediately. Immediately, this is such That's clean movement. Same as in Counter Strike, actually. Yeah, it, it says a lot. Sir, like on everyone, just looking for any any piece of information. There's so can... many like unique structures here. 
Um, but it doesn't seem like they've just like no one's opened the map just yet. Um, Who's scanning? I mean, th there's a possibility you get an address in one of these places. Obviously, with RC the amount of like there, advertising. Going super south. Super south. And the, you know, game. I did get the, the said, southern yeah. vibes. Yeah. Blinky is also. Wait, whoa, whoa, where's Blinky going? Blinky can't find Russia. He found it. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. He, he does know where Russia it is. Be, it and they are bigger. in pretty pretty similar areas here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, see, I wish I could tell tell you what they were reading there, but it, it must be tempting to keep driving because there's so many signs to look at. Yeah. And now it's it's going to be the round They're ended so here. Close. Let's see where they get. Oh my! Wait, he did it. wait, what? He did it. He did it. He did it. You said he wasn't going to do it. I told you. He, I said it'd be hard to do it in 60 seconds. I, I realistically think he would. No, I did it. Oh my God! But that's what you get when you get Blinky. Ah. <sighs> oh man. That's what we think. We got Bangladesh. Blinky can read Bengali, but you know what RC can read? What can RC read? Copyright. Copyright. So, okay. And we will see Wait, two which different. And there he useful. goes to the copyright. Oh. Look at my man RC zooming on the copyright. Well, what's the how 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 close of a region does the copyright RC is one you? of the best uh, Bang Bangladesh players. It's it's a regional. You can I don't know I don't know what it means, but this guy has has out meted. Bangladesh and knows. Wait, he doesn't Wait, like his guess. Blinky's. Oh no! Yeah, he seems like he's worried about what Wait, he just RC put down. doesn't like his guess. And it looks like Blinky might be. He looked like he was about to line up a road. Honestly. Oh, oh. wait, wait. What the? Oh my goodness. Well, that certainly could have been worse for RC. That feeling went copyright wrong. Wow. Wow. But listen. That's why you got to play GeoGuess for the natural way. Okay, none of this nerdy uh, stuff. No, nah, no. Nah. You know what? It's kind of fun. Copyright meta. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going here. What, what we got here? What we got here? Uh, it's definitely. Looks like a Spain nope. or something. Let's oh. see what the, where the players go. And 3x damage, round five. Is this Gen 2 coverage? Is This This will be Gen 3. Gen 3, okay. But let's see where. I, I don't want to look too much into the round here. Let's see where the players this looks do like go. Very, very everything's very like, smudgy right now. We do have a Spain guess. Yeah, we have RC Northern immediately. Spain. And the pro strats are when you start opening up the map and moving at the same time. That's like when you really know <laughs> when someone's good, and RC just did a little bit of that there. Wow. But. Blinky is just going down the path. RC has guessed. That's a lock. Blinky took a took a. Is whoa, this, whoa! Wait, he is this, changed wait, into is new this, coverage. Wait, is this not? I don't think this is Spain anymore. Really? He just changed into brand new coverage. This is is it an Italian sign? Wait, what the hell just happened? That was an Italian sign. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh no! This is oh gonna, no! This is gonna be a big oh, no. damage. Wow, that is crazy. Wait, is that it? Oh, That's it. 7300. Wait. What? He moved into new coverage, right? Yeah, and then he suddenly moved into new Gen changed. 4. He found the main road. RC thought he knew the region without having to move. He didn't. Wow. He guessed Spain in Galicia, and it was Italy. Oh and that is my a blunder. God. And that is two moving rounds, one. RC not happy with that guess. Yeah. How can you be? Is He He doesn't obviously even know it's, what Blinky just saw. So what's he thinking? He assumes. He assumes he saw it. Maybe. But if, if RC moves even a little bit more, he does see that it is Italy pretty obviously. So how come? I mean, even you mentioned uh, you even mentioned Northern Spain. They zoomed in on Northern Spain right away. But how does it suddenly go from Northern Spain to Italy? Like within? I mean, just from the, no, the no move around there, it looked pretty Spanish to me. We right. had the long antenna, which yeah. is very common in Spain. But then you instantly knew it was Italy as because soon as... Because there was a there was an Italian sign. Oh. And it hit black on the back of the stop sign there, which oh. is it's found in Italy as well. That's why you got to use those moving rounds to drive as fast as possible. Listen, listen. RC already won one no move. Can he win another one and bring it to NMPZ here? That's true. Or will Blinky take this and advance to the finals? I am not holding my breath to make a guess here. <sighs> and this will be no move. They get one 360 panorama right here in Thailand. Let's start, start round one of 10. As we go in, you know, I think I think Blinky can read Thai script. And do oh, things. okay. Just so, a, another weapon in his arsenal. Another weapon. I wouldn't put past RC though. He's a very dangerous man. Yeah, this guy. All the CIA jokes should go to this man, not me. Honestly. Oh, true. Yeah, well, you're a professional stalker. <laughs> We're not gonna forget okay, that. Okay, okay. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's see what where they guess here. I mean, Thailand with like, like he's zooming on the pavement there. And it's down into the south. See both players. We see RC zooming into Bangkok there. We'll see where Blinky is going. He's going Peninsula. That could be big points for someone here, depending whoa, on who, whoa, who's whoa. closer. Yeah, I'm not sure who's right. I mean, Thailand's so uh, it's so hard to, to. We do see palm trees there. Maybe that does include. In, in, like I just don't Get know. Get more in the south. Yeah, just yeah, more coastal. South you go. Yeah. RC zooming on copyright. RC does, has spent a little bit of time studying Thailand. I don't think he spent very much time figuring oh, anything out because it's such a hard country to find. Oh, we have big Malaysia. points here for someone here. Oh, well, Three seconds. So who's going to be closer? Lock. That's the lock. Who's going to be closer? Blinky comes in first. It's Blinky. Wow. 
Wow. So much confidence. Oh my god, that's big damage on RC, round one. You can tell he's visibly upset about how his last couple of guests have gone. We can't, 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 can't feel too bad about can't. being off in Thailand, though, no, right? No, you can't. That's not an easy peninsula, in my opinion, as we move on to the next round here. Lots of and people get lost in Thailand. True. In Brazil. Round two. And this is where, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're RC, you can, like, no move. You want these big countries to, to get these points back here. Brazil, it's not going to be an automatic, automatic by any means. But we do have information. And I feel like RC does know a lot about Brazil. So we'll see. Who knows more, though, is a question. Who can make a better guess? We just see Contest lose or, or go out earlier on a Brazil. Oh, yeah, good point. What information can be gained. And what about this, like, glare in the sky? Does that matter at all? Uh, to some people, probably. Okay. No, not really. RC, who knows? <laughs> but, yeah, so he's going pretty south here. I'm both players going. They we have one South guess here by Blinky. It's crazy how fast they both process at the same time. We have Piranha guess here by by RC. We have a Piranha and a Sao Paulo. Who will be closer? Is that where Both they... pretty close. Blinky's hedging a little more north here. Okay. RC sticking in Piranha. And and a bigger area than it looks, so maybe some points to be had. It is still only 1.5x. 10 they, seconds they left. Are, they're pretty far apart right now. Let's you get see one if good guess here. It's a lot. You bring the game back. You Five get confidence. Seconds RC and, oh, gets the state RC. right. Let's go. There we go. Great guess for RC. Bringing back 900 points. Hey, almost a grand. It's close. Walking close. home with it. Blinky Still looks tilted happy. from that previous round, yeah, though. Yeah, both players don't really look happy here. It's a fun I, game, though. They're like, why, why do I have I to work so hard? Game. I promise. And, <laughs> you know, it's fun Canada. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Round three. And a country that often you people think is Canada, but it's not. I think it should be Finland here. It does get uh, a very Canadian vibe sometimes, though. Lots assuming of this stuff is Finland. in common. Yeah. It is no move. We do have Bollard. Maybe it could be like a Sweden or something. Is All the Nordics do look the same. We have a Bollard. They definitely stole our trees. He looks at the copyright. He says, can this be Finland copyright? It can oh be. Oh, my God. Wait. What? Okay. And Blinky we've got also an also Finland, to Finland. That just confirms it's Finland. Yeah. Finland is kind of hard to read, I guess, if it's not north because of the trees. But both oh, guessing Jesus, pretty, pretty that's eastern that's Finland. A solid guess. Downtown Russia right there. Yeah. 160. Wow, that's and big we have money. the we were playing wow. Geo Guesser. And that's how you know it's working. Is he he was playing BR Countries. That's where I made my heart right there. <laughs> wow. Wow. I that's just his OG find, game. You just mode. found him live. I wow. I love that. Round four. See, it looks like it's gonna be a colo here. No move. Let's keep it going. Man, the amount of sandwich. times that we get colo. Colo. Colo cross. I mean, yeah, yeah it's 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 it, 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 it you have to learn colo here. You gotta learn colo. You get a lot. Both players are gonna know. The question is, who can region guess better? What information can they see here? That gives them the edge. That bus stop needs some love. Holy. <laughs> it probably does. It probably does. But yeah, so it is pretty green. We're not going to be too north. We have palm trees there. Does that equal coastal? And we've seen disagreements inside of Colombia, so I, I, I definitely wouldn't be surprised if they're not exactly on each other, but... RC going fairly north here. We don't have too many big mountains. Oh, that we got a road so line up. Do we? We do. Thank you. Thought about it. This is game four. 15 seconds First person to do three. so. 10 seconds left. RC needs some points here. Blinky is up two to one right now. First Five. to three does win. Five seconds and a guess will be made. Blinky jumping back and forth. And somehow it works out. Wow. But and, not too many points But just still. a touch of damage. You have like a yeah. very small amount here. 200. 3,900 to 5,000 going into round five. We'll call it a skip. And we're going to be at 3x damage right here. Is this what I think it is? It's just what I think it is. It's not. It's not what you think it is. It's not. It's it's just Russia. Round five. Oh, okay. I thought it could have been a Ukraine, and it could have been really good for RC. For RC, right. But this looks like it will just be Russia with a black car. Trade specialist. And they're looking at the antenna of the car. This looks like very Ukrainian pavement, though, I will say. So maybe we're is close to it. Is that possible? Is it possible? No. I mean, if black car is only in Donetsk, but I don't think this is there. Okay. So it should be Russia. All right. Well. That confirms that RC is not even thinking about Ukraine. It's going just north of Moscow. There's so much information that they had to have studied for Russia, learning all the types of different antenna, vegetation, trees. RC's in. And he, wow, that's, that's confident. I feel like he looked confident in that room with that sin that quickly. Yeah, but Blinky taking his time and going somewhere slightly different here. This could be big points for someone. 3x yeah. damage. And Blinky has some time to work with. He's going to no let move. that lock in, it looks like. RC needs to win this. And RC, RC, RC is so close. It. Oh, my God. How much damage are we talking about? With the it's about 4,000. 4K.
Blinky has 900 points left in his name. RC needs to win this on round five. He's trying what to control victory. his emotion RC. right here. That's, lock in. That's, that's Blinky, the lock most, in. That's the most anyone's done to Blinky, I think, at this point. If anyone can take him down, if anyone can take down Blinky, it's him. Next round looks like we're going to be in Turkey. Ooh, we do okay. Have water tanks here. Let's just keep it going. Deep breaths, everyone. Wow. Deep breaths. 4K health. It could vanish six. like that, but honestly, RC's consistency right now. It could right come now. down to this. Who is better at Turkey? And in your Who? opinion? I, it's anyone's game here. Anyone's game. Anyone's okay. game. I don't know. I would go east here. I would go east, though. I do not know where where they... I don't know. 45 seconds, though. Both players still looking at different information. Would they rather be in a more... Sp okay. Looking down. I don't know if... Uh, would they rather be in a more open environment, or does Blinky. it help to have all these buildings? Blinky, Blinky going, he's going standing, in he's near standing. the Not middle sure he's of Turkey. Going, going more south here near Syria. Looking for something. He must have something. I'm not sure what he has, but he has something that he is standing for right now. Yeah, this is, uh, he's got the laser RC pointer out. is looking for something as well, and he has his pin down again. Kind of near where that same round was We're that Contest was at. 15 seconds. This could this be, could be game for someone. It, it, Blinky yeah. could win here too, or that's, he could lose. That's true. 3.5x. Big country. This could be painful. Seven seconds. RC's life comes down to this. RC does not want to let anything go wrong. He Blinky, can just head and win. Here. RC doesn't know where to go. He RC can't looks confused. Wait, oh, and he RC. doesn't. He's so close. He smashes it. He does it. 5,000 damage just, on Blinky. As we thought, we couldn't have a better game in the last game. Wow. We're back. We are back. Game five. That is well earned. They trade moving and no moving, and now it all ends on NMPZ. You can I mean, see Blinky's hands are shaking right now. There's an opportunity lost in that spot. RC didn't even look like he knew where that where to plonk it, honestly, but he, he yeah. was right. He was right. RC, yeah, he... <laughs> Surprised himself, maybe. No one knew where to guess there. Blinky looks visibly upset here. We're going into NMP, NMPZ. Well, I mean, Blinky's not known for NMPZ. Yeah, RC's he said he, not also not known for he, NMPZ. He said he didn't want to be known as just a moving player, so started to you know open up and become better at and NMPZ. He is. I mean, he's better at everything. But oh, man, oh he's, wow, he's visibly distraught here. Wow, he really wanted RC to. RC also coming back from him, quite of a distraught round there we saw from him, and yeah, you know, has the momentum right now, but can he keep oh it up? Oh my God, game five again, folks. <laughs> I cannot believe we're getting this free that, like this content right now, dude. This content is. Just oozing out of every orifice at the moment. So much content. And then PZ, the image they see right here is the only image they get. This looks like someone smeared <laughs> Vaseline on it. <laughs> Where? On the image. Oh, okay. Sure. Look at the Vaseline, Vaseline on the trees. Meta. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Round one, and then PZ. Let's do it. Round one. Let's go. Stare intense. This yeah. is the only image you get. Is, he, it is, does. is Blinky scared of going into NMPZ right now? Oh my god, look at this zoom. Uruguay. I mean, yeah, it's Uruguay. Instant. RC has made some insane Uruguay wins Whoa. before. Okay. Well, wow. maybe he wishes this was a later round then because it looks like he's literally found the freaking road. There's no way he found the road, though. There's no way. I'll there's say no, no way there's he no way found the road road. because last time you said that, you were wrong. NMPZ, so. there's no way you find the road in your road in Uruguay. No way, he there's says. No way. no way, folks. Remember that. Oh, okay. I, fine. I remembered. Okay. 200 points. 127. It's hard to reach you guys. Uruguay, not really. No one's taking the time to learn such a small country. Yeah. If it's even learnable. And PZ, you got to take what you can get sometimes. And this is the great painting we get in NPZ right here, round two, in what looks like in the Yeah. I would. I would. Uh, can, is it possible to get Isle of Man? Mm, it is I've possible. I've been waiting for a round but of Isle of Man. But this is just going to be Gen 4 coverage, which cannot be Isle of Man. Oh, right. It's Both Gen players, 2 and Isle of Man. Is yeah, Gen 2 only. Okay. Yep. 55 right. seconds on the clock. 1.5x damage. RC, Blinky, winner of this, does Manchester. advance to the finals to base. Consus. Blue skies. Where'd they have blue skies in the blue UK? Blue skies. This is a rare day in the UK here. True. Manchester. Maybe the happiest day ever in Manchester the right now. The happiest day in Manchester. Blinky going more south in England. <sighs> Anyone's game here. Anyone's game. Um, and oh, Blinky. The stage is made. Wow, Blinky. Looks wow. like it's just over the Wales border there. Pays off for him. You 400 know, points. He was a little tilted after that last round. This takes it off a bit. We're in the in round five. NMPZ and Blinky's gotten more chip. And this will be fun. Round three. We have an interesting location here, to say the least. She's got to get out of the road. I will just say, let's just start this round, okay? She's got to be careful here. Let's just start the round. And this looks like we're going to be in Colo again. No stoplights. Yeah, this is... Um, who can who can get better region guys here in Colombia is a question. RC is a very, very good player at Latin America, but Blinky just instant, instant zoomed in into 
a, a city, then he sees mountains south in the city. Do, do these mountains line up? This is like when you found the Google car in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, like chasing like it around. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Horsey! Oh, oh, How did he know it? Oh, shut the hell up. Damn you, 5K, 2700. RC is looking for a grand finals. How did he and get he that? And he is halfway there. He knew the city. It was. It had to. It had to have been the mountain that he lined up in the back. That just made sense. He. He had to have seen. You kidding? One of the best. One of the best lat, lat AM characters in the game. That's ridiculous. And this is the only image they see right here, round four. It looks like somebody of Spain, presumably. I hope it is, and I hope RC does not go Italy here. Oh yeah. Well, we've seen RC go Italy sometime. Well, actually, Spain when it was inconvenient. There's too many clues here for the Spain. But we won't be so driving into new coverage. They do not go. They do not go Italy here. There is a sign with the, without the white border. Gotta reach like in the middle of it, or how can you how can you tell if you're like by the water, for example, in this situation? You, you can see water, I guess. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they know wow. the island without. Oh. Oh, okay. A little bit, a little bit farther off. I would have, I would have guessed the middle too. So yeah, that's a safe hedge. Safe hedge. Yeah, it does not look like the Pyrenees <laughs> at all. Ooh, well, great. The fact that we're we're just panned on information it will be extremely fun for the players in Indonesia here, Indonesia. and they will immediately start reading this and use that to their advantage as both play, both players get about two inches away from their monitor here, as we will see see if they can read it's the IRL zoom. Linky says, shaking his head as if he doesn't doesn't know if that means anything. RC doesn't know either. This is how you get a, a tan on your nose from the monitor. <laughs> True. Looking around information, is there any polls visible? There are regional polls and assuming, um, yeah, I'm not sure. There's no regional polls, I don't think, visible in this location. That might be distinct. We would have seen the guests already. I presume this might come down to vibe guests. Vibe guests based on how many tree, how many like types RC, of trees. We're going all the way down. It's Malaysia. Oh wait, is it Malaysia? For RC, that would be embarrassing if it's Malaysia this whole time. I'm just saying Indonesia. If that's okay. That would be embarrassing if it's Indonesia. You know what I mean? Because True. RC's in there. So uh, I, actually, I like the Malay. I like the Malay. Uh, let's see what uh, what Blinky is up to at this point. Blinky not zoomed in yet. Yeah, and you know what? He's got to because we're down eight seconds. Blinky, what's it going to be? Wait. Wait. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. It, it, wait. What? What's right? What's right? Apart. I don't know. What's right? Miles apart. And oh, wait. Blinky. Is gonna profit. That's huge. Oh, oh, my oh my god, we're down to 500 health. Oh my god, you can see RC shaking. You can see him shaking. RC. That's almost too much to sustain. He just can't let that get uh, in his head. A miss it's like impossible. that. It's just an island away. 4,000 damage, and Blinky's back in the driver's seat. Winner advances to the finals of this game. Game five, NMPZ, round six, 3.5x damage. And we RC saw has 500 health left to his name. 500 health left. He has nothing to play with. He can't hedge. He can't do anything. He has to hope he gets a big hit off because Blinky's coming. Blinky is coming, and we are in Spain. Again. Spain again. It looks like it looks like it's going to be Spain. And they haven't been great on Spain, even within Spain. It's been it's been damaging for both of them It looks them like sometimes. Spain to me. It could be like Portugal. It looks like Galicia or something like they're that. They're going Northern in for it. Let's see. We're it see does that. look like Northern Spain. Let's see where Blinky's going. He's going immediately in. And Blinky wants to put some pressure on right here. <sighs> you know, RC, do you want to let him think? You want to let him think about how much, how little health he has at the point at this point. Does, R, does Blinky play more safe or does he go for the kill? You know, he, that's a good question. With 3.5x, he might be wait, a little bit worried. That's a lock. Wait. No, it's not a lock. RC, is RC zooming in on France right now? 35 seconds. If this is another Wait. missed country, imagine. No, I don't there want could that be to be a comeback. Country. Someone's right, There's but no in my shot. opinion, I think it's Spain. I don't know. If that's going to happen. It has to be Spain, right? Like, this is, is this ever France? Seconds. Does, does is this ever France? Someone wins here. Valencia I'm not sure who. Is for, for Blinky is in Valencia. RC. 13 seconds. Is RC switched back? Is he back? still in France? He's by Monaco. I... I'm, I, I don't know what to say. Six seconds, We're five, down seconds. To five seconds. It comes down to this. Only one of Who them is going to be right, the folks? Who is it? There's the lock. It's Blinky. It's Blinky. And the headphones come off as Blinky secures the victory to make it to the grand finals. The prophecy is foretold of a round five victory on NMPZ. You can tell he didn't want to play this round, but he showed up and won it anyways. Yeah. Knowing RC, he's going he's going to let the hang over his head, those guesses, but he can't. He played amazing. And Blinky, well played to him, well deserved. Damn, what do you think happened there? Were you feeling more confident about 
France or Spain. I thought we popped out Spain immediately because of the road lines, and right. it looks like on the back of that yeah, you side. Seem like you were trying to get RC to come over. I, I really want RC to come over. It looked like Spain. I yeah. think in, in hindsight, RC plays that in his bedroom. He goes Spain ten times right, out ten. Right, and that's the, that's the fact. I mean, this is a huge a huge amount of pressure. You can make an innocent mistake like that, and it can cost you so much HP. And the, it was the back to back rounds too. Malay on Indo, and then Spain on France. No, it wasn't it easy, happens. but it was exciting. And we've got some exciting interviews as we talk to Blinky and RC down on the stage with Paula. Once again, everybody, a five round epic. Make some noise for your winner of our second semi final, Blinky! <laughs> Blinky, you came out on top, but that was a tough match, mate. Yeah, like, I didn't play well on the, the moves at all. I was too scared to lose, and I. I, I played way too safe and I doubted every decision I made. It was horrible. <laughs> Were there any big doubts coming into the final game, NMPZ? I mean, yeah, I was really scared. Like, anything could happen. And like, he made some pretty big mistakes, which I thought was kind of a surprise, but I guess he had the same nerves I had. <laughs> How have you been able to control your nerves through this whole process? As we all know, you've been seen as one of the favorites and you have made it to the grand final. Yeah, I mean, I guess luck was on my side. I did play well, but also not so well. <laughs> so. so humble also in victory. One final question, Blinky. So you're heading into the grand final and you're going to be playing Consus. Yeah, Consus is definitely a very scary opponent. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. Like anything can happen. I just hope I do better than this semifinals. Anything can happen. Everybody make some noise once again for our second grand finalist. It's Blinky. And in that grand final, he's going to be playing against Consus. You know, guys, I don't know if our players know this, but I can tell you we are getting a lot of love all across the grand esports community from Counter-Strike to Rocket League to all sorts of games. They're noticing that this yeah. is going on, and I think they're a little bit jealous. Yeah, I had a, a very good friend from other esports that I know message me being like, this is the most insane esports tournament I've ever seen. And it, it, yeah, it's being noticed. People are talking about it on social media, yeah, and, and with, like they're realizing. Yeah, with games like that, I mean, yeah, come on, no, you have course. to. Like, <laughs> this is so intense and so unbelievably fun to watch. We've been so spoiled. Yeah, we've been exceptionally lucky, and I do want to point out here, we talked about at the beginning of yesterday when we still had all 24 players that if we had to pick one person it'd probably be Blinky in the finals if we had to pick two it'd be Blinky and Kansas and you know what I love about this we're getting that high skill cap final that everyone suspected but they earned it they earned it every inch of the way yeah and the crazy thing is it could have it could have so easily ended up being Fungus versus Radu and so just the fact that these were four so similarly skilled players but Blinky and Kansas really is gonna it, it's yeah. gonna be something. It's pinnacle. <laughs> Listen, if it doesn't go to five games, we've been done dirty. We've been done so <laughs> dirty. No, they, they truly deserve to be that here. And though this was predicted as a very likely finals, they had to fight to get oh, here. Yeah. Tooth and nail. Absolutely. And, and you know, I'm so glad that you said you wanted to go to all game five, because yeah. every time you say that, you know, we do get all five games. Oh, well, you know, that's Thank actually why I was that. hired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was our uh, bracket that we just took a look at there. But it's all come down to this. Only two names you need to memorize now, and that's Kansas and Blinky. They, from the very beginning, were named as the most feared players in this tournament. And game after game, we have found out precisely why. Now we're going to go both, let them both get ready, relax. But here they are right after this break, facing off in the grand finals for a prize of $15,000 to first. No move. Red Bull. Instant gas. 
of you two. Los Angeles. Ooh. Mountain climbing. TikTok. Blink. Bollards. Kebab pizza.
to stack home Sweden. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. These players have worked all weekend long and for many years before to get here. Now, the grand finals featuring Kansas versus Blinky. Two players that we were told from the very beginning were the players to fear. Now, they've taken down Titans to get here and they are ready. One of them will claim the victory today. Bloom, Geo, we have had the privilege of watching them fight through this tournament, and now it is the final that everyone predicted. I'm so excited. Yeah, I was just saying, I've worked in, I think this is my 17th game I've worked in, and this is actually genuinely one of the most stoked but I've ever been for a final. Immediately top five, right? Oh, 100%, top 100%. Like, I, I'm genuinely just so excited. Yeah, it's truly unbelievable that we've made it here. The hype from the crowd has been incredible. The level of play that we've seen has been some of the best GeoGuessr that the world has ever seen, that I have ever seen being in this game for a long time. It's been such a pleasure to watch the, the true talent and skill be put on for the world. Absolutely, and I know we might have a lot of new faces joining us. I know a lot of people were sharing the link and inviting in their friends and family to watch the GeoGuessr World Finals. Well, we'll give you a quick rundown. We started yesterday with 24 players. Then we had our quarterfinal knockouts till we got just four. We saw those matches just earlier today, leaving us with only Consus and Blinky, but they were nail biters, all of them. And if you like the taste of this match, I definitely recommend going back to watch the VODs. Oh, yeah, especially the Fungus versus Consus game. Uh, there were standing yeah. ovations all around. People were absolutely losing their minds. Um, yeah, there were just some wild guesses yeah. in that one. That was definitely the game of the weekend for me so far. That one was incredible and everything to follow as well. Even the games yesterday too, there were some nail biters, truly <laughs> exciting games. This entire tournament, it's been so amazing. Now Bloom, you've been part of the GeoGuessr community for a long time. This started out just some friends online playing some games. Tell me a little bit about what it feels like to go through those years of play, to build that community, and then to see that community in person here this weekend. Oh, it's it's truthfully so beautiful and, and really like warms my heart. The amount of times I've gotten emotional this weekend has oh. just been, it's it's been a lot. It's like it's there's been so many people in this room see. that you've known for so long. Yeah, for years, but only online and just to meet them in person and just to have all that love and friendship still there and coming out is just so beautiful. And we really did start years ago with mainly going for world records and not a lot of like player to player competition in terms of like live and just to have made it here is, is phenomenal. Absolutely. It means a lot to make it here to a stadium like this, to an audience like this. But then to see the level of play that you have seen, there's got to be some pride in that too. Yeah, just to think even a year ago, the amount that these players have learned and studied compared to just a year ago is insane. The level of knowledge that has been gained about what to look for in this game, to find the more regional clues things like a year or two years ago, it was just getting the country. And and now you, we really see this just vast set of knowledge that has come from the increase in competitiveness that has led to such incredible regional guesses now. We've gotten down to just the amount of 5Ks. Can we talk about the amount of Blinky 5Ks we saw? <laughs> like, unbelievable. You know the wild thing though, is that by the time the 2024 GeoGuessr World Cup rolls around, I'm scared. It's, people are gonna, they, they're gonna look at the performance here and be like, Mwah. That's not even that impressive. People are going to have Thailand down by next yeah, year. You know yeah, what I mean? I believe. And you're going to look back and be like, oh, yeah, like we didn't know whatever thing that we don't currently know yet, you yeah. know? Oh, what an incredible line in the sand to draw for their first World Cup, the attendance, the skill, the gameplay that we've seen. Gio, you mentioned you've been part of a lot of different esports. Mm -hmm. How many final days have you worked that were Three O's and, and over in like 45 I, yeah, minutes. No, that's happened. That's definitely happened where, you know, you get so hyped for a finals day and it's just kind of like a blowout and you're like, oh, yeah, uh, you know, and so I feel like the adrenaline here is going to take like a little while to actually get over because I'm glad there's an after party later to burn it all out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to have to celebrate something after yes. this. And all these players, I mean, you saw it right there before that uh, that final interview with, Blink, uh, with uh, Blinky. Um, he, he wanted to, to shake RC's hand. He wanted to call him back on stage. He wanted to share that moment because yeah. 
more than competitors, a lot of friends here, a lot of camaraderie like you touched on, Bloom. Uh, great community to, to get involved in and a very welcoming community. If you're watching and you're thinking, man, I want to play some GeoGuessr, tell me a little bit about where you'd send those people. I would definitely first send them to Twitch or nice. the Plonkit Discord or community. GeoGuessr.com. Yeah, or, well, geoguesser.com <laughs> first, stop. of course. <laughs> but if you want to find community, definitely check out the, the Twitch page at any time. Every geoguesser Twitch streamer really is so welcoming and so happy to teach things to anybody who comes in. And uh, if you are wanting to uh, get into a, like a Discord community where we hold some like records and things like that, plonkit.net or their Discord community is really great. Absolutely, and so educational. Uh, I had to say, like studying for this event, Chicago geographer, absolutely huge in my education. Rainbow indispensable to this scene. Uh, Gio, anything you want to shout out that you found as an amazing reference? Well, I was just going to say one of the really nice things and actually to kind of refer back to what you were saying about Blinky wanting to pull Radio back on the stage is that because so much of the progress in this game has come from the sharing of information, I think the players understand that when they win, it's not just their victory. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's their performance, sure, but there are going to be things that they've learned from each other. That, yeah, they want to pull each other onto the stage because without those other players, they wouldn't have even been able to get there. It's true. The level of knowledge we have is a shared knowledge. It really yeah. is. When people find things, they share it. And so the reason all of these players are so good is a testament to the whole community and not just themselves as individuals. So much. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have plenty of space to cry because Geo Bloom, it is now time to head on down to the stage and kick off the grand final. Only one challenge remains, and the stakes have never been higher. will rise above the rest, conquering continents and claiming the ultimate title? Who will map their way to victory in the grandest challenge of them all? Get set for an epic clash as we crown our GeoGuessr world champion. Everyone in this room, how are we doing tonight? Now, can I ask for one final little favor? Can we all get to our feet? Let's stand up and get ready to welcome our players. First, let me set the scene, a quick little message. This is it. This is the moment that you have all been waiting for. It is grand finals time! Years from now, you will be able to say you were at the first GeoGuessr World Cup Grand Finals. How does that sound? And without further ado, let's welcome the best two GeoGuessers in the world to the stage, starting with the flying Frenchman, Blinky, and the Dutch destroyer. Let's keep it short and sweet. Anything going through your heads right now? Are you totally locked in and ready for the grand final? Exciting. Excitement, conscious? Excited, I'm ready. I need to hear nothing else. One final time, everybody. This is the grand final. We've got Blinky, we've got conscious. Raise the between the Kansas flag and the Blinky flag, although they do look quite nice flying side by side too. Yeah, no, it's great to see the support like that. Uh, I also want to know like how much planning had to go into getting custom flags made for, for this event. And in such a perfect likeness. Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. I love seeing those big flags. It's so exciting. And while we're on the topic of likeness, we've been making a study of our players' faces as they've been on the player cam, as they've been preparing themselves. What can you tell me, having looked at these players in the eye all weekend long as they prepared <laughs> to battle, to see their faces now? Oh, they look calm. They look surprisingly ready to go. It's almost how they've looked all weekend. They've just been holding it in, focused. 
Both Contest and Blinky seem to be the sort of players that when you see the emotion, it's when something's done. They won't show the emotion beforehand. It'll either be after an insane guess, after the game is done, or after something's gone really wrong. And it won't be extreme emotion, but you'll see it and you'll know there's some in there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, tell me a little bit about what that's like to be looking out through their eyes. Bloom, you've played this game at a high level for a long time. When you are in that clutch situation, when time is running down, when you have to make a choice like they have to make, what are you thinking about and what are you putting to the side? Oh, there are definitely times where you'll be in a, in a clutch situation. Your opponent has made the guess you're on the clock and you just have to lock in. And really, at the end of the day, sometimes you just trust your gut and hope for the best. And usually, with the amount these players have played, it works out. Now, Gio, if you had to get out there, and you know probably a little bit more geography win. than me, but, <laughs> you know, what, what are you focusing in on? Um, winning. Uh, good Probably answer. the Solid country answer. that I, I think why. I'm in. No, I mean, I, it's all about playing to your strengths, right? Um, both of these players have proven to be really, really good. I would say it's about not necessarily dwelling on the mistakes that you have made. Both of them have mentioned mistakes, times that they've gone wrong uh, over the weekend, which admittedly have been seldom, but they have still been there. And it's just about not worrying about that. Focus on what you do know. We know that both of them put in some studying time. They know what they're great at. Just don't overthink it. As I've said a couple of times, don't deep it. Don't deep it. Don't, don't deep make it. it too deep. You got to get onto that next round. Yeah. We're taking a look at our stats of our players as they're getting ready on the stage there. Eight out of eight moving round wins for Blinky. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Blinky moving <laughs> is like, it. I think it can be a fact that he is just the best moving player in GeoGuessr history. I think it just has to be true. Blinky really is unstoppable moving. We've seen it time and time, time and time again in these last two days. Yeah, and I think that if he can actually hold to what he said at the end of that last game where he said, I kind of got in my own head a little bit in the no moving rounds and I thought about it a bit too much, that's the kind of thing where it's like you don't want to dwell on that too much. And I think that if he can get to that, and kind of meet his moving skill with those just intuitive, no moving plays, don't overthink it, he could end up doing really, really well. Well, it's all up to fate now because we're heading into that best of five moving rounds, not moving rounds, and of course, a no move pan zoom if we make it all the way to the fifth game. But that is up to the players, and I'm gonna hand it over to the casters to take us through that action. Thank you to our wonderful desk, and thank you to everybody who has been here for these past couple of days, who have watched at different watch parties throughout Stockholm, who are coming to show support for your favorite players, for Rainbolt if you came to find him. <laughs> uh, give yourself a round of applause right now before we get into the grand finals here. It has been a wonderful experience. The positivity is the thing that's jumped Amazing. off the page for me. Yeah. Everybody being so supportive of everybody who's competed. And now we've got what is probably the two most likely, the two most consistent, the two strongest players battling in a best of five grand final. Sometimes you, you can't write a story that's this, this, this perfect, really. So I don't know who's going to win from what we've seen. I, it's, it's really anyone's game. There's no, there's no way you could tell. There's no way you could tell. The, the, I mean, we saw the stats. Blinky eight for eight on the moving. Contus five for five on the NMPZ. And five for five on NMPZ. Now we've talked about how no moving, for example, might be an advantage for players in this event, but in the grand finals, in a best of five with two moving rounds, that could be Blinky's ticket. And I just, I, I honestly just can't wait to get into these games and see what these players do. The games we saw from Blinky from moving were, were just, he was putting on a clinic every single game, wasn't missing anything. Contest with. Blinky's the best moving player in the world. Constance has to be the best no-moving player in the world. Wow. And they're battling it out right here, right now. Now imagine. Who will be the world champion? Yeah, and we're going to find out who's going to be the world champion. Who's going to tear into each other's stats? Because what if Constance beats Blinky out on a moving round? What if Blinky beats Constance out on a no-moving round? That's the kind of pressure that is mounting right now. So let's find out. Let's do it. So we get game, into game one, one of the grand finals. Do you guess her? Make some come. noise. Let's do it. In New Zealand, round oh. one. New Zealand has been treacherous in, on so many different occasions, but for some reason it feels like with these two specifically, I don't think any more Both massive players. mistakes will be made. Immediately, Blinky is moving off the bat. That does make sense in a moving game as we keep going. Let's see what they do see. They're looking for information. Take full advantage. If you don't move right away, you might not move ever, so 
Exactly. Let's I'm, go. I'm interested in seeing if we ever see more quick guesses from Constance to put pressure on Blinky, Blinky in these games because it could, like, you just have to make sure he doesn't find information in some cases. And right here, they are just looking for any sort of information on street names or street signs to see if there are any clues or just big highway numbers, anything like that. Right now, nothing specific they are looking for with 23 seconds left on yeah, the clock. They're, they're not in a big city, right? They're in a small town at best at the moment. <laughs> So does there, is there any clues as to at least if they're north or south? More than likely, yes. Um, hills? Sure. I don't know. L I mean, both players here. I mean, we've seen players go wrong island all day. Oh, um, yes. It's happened so many times. And here's a confidence play by Contis going up top. I mean, we're going very far north. Okay, he's going for it. Wow. Oh. Both players just going south of Auckland. Yeah. And no one able to find enough information for round one there. 311 points down goes Contis. Okay. The first damage has been dealt. <sighs> first blood here from Blinky. Oh. Round two, in. and it looks like French Canada. In French Canada. We, we saw that like we Blinky have... was literally lining up roads within milliseconds in French Canada in his previous round. So. Let's see if that French is telling the truth here. Round two, 1.5 x damage. This will be exciting. Grand final. And with moving up, obviously, is a temptation to Blinky keep going. Blinky has sure Blinky not knows. lost a moving game. Not lost a moving game. In Constance fact, take one. he's got four 5Ks in a moving game. He's had a flawless moving game. He's just looking to set brand new records every single time he plays. And that is what he's doing. There is actually Consis with the confident early zoom again. Going, he has a guess in 15 seconds on the clock. Blinky oh. disinformation there. Will he use it? Yes, he will. Okay. He's going into Montreal, but there'll be very minimal points here on round two with 5x damage. They are very close to each other. Oh yeah, and they're that's neighbors. What you get. They're neighbors. When you have these two high level players, you're gonna see similar guesses. Yeah, and that's, that's a, that is what it's going to be. And like, as you mentioned, every little bit counts in this situation. So. Consis. Tricked into believing it wasn't exactly in Montreal. Deep and breaths. Basically, it's just a show of strength as we move into round three. In South Africa. South Africa, 2x. Who is better at South Africa? A good thing about South Africa is there's a ton of information. If you do find a road, very greatly available. Let's see if he just hits and the gas pedal right away or not. He will hit the gas. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Needs to find the main road. Right now, they're in like a little suburb, just, a little neighborhood. Just literally trying to figure out how to get out. You as have fast to find as, out. Yeah, yeah, as fast as it's possible. It's like a maze. But, you know, Blinky with expertise, he probably is better at getting out of neighborhoods than Contest, but we'll see who does it first. Looking for any sort of information. They both probably have good region clues if they want to make a guess without information, but the key here is to find info. Okay, and it looks like Blinky has freed himself somewhat. Contest as well, although they're in different areas, which is risky. Watching this, either one could get critical information at any moment. And now Constance we're going to have Constance once again, Victoria. three out of three times I like going this in for the guess. guess first. I like this region guess, and he's putting the pressure on. He's hoping that Blinky did not find very much information. Oh, Blinky oh, has there's some a words. sign here that might have information, oh, let's but see. it ends up being exactly where they're both clicking anyways. If they're so. all talk, so that just confirms Constance's confidence. Once again, three out of three, moving in first. Max North. Wow, and, and Blinky's just a, a touch closer, a touch closer. 186. If you're conscious, you have to be glad you're not seeing Blinky just start 5 k every single round here. Yeah, yeah, seriously. But this does look like a 5 cable round here. This looks this, like a 5 cable round. There's a lot of water, a lot of mountains. This looks pretty distinct. Let's see where they end up going here. It looks like it's going to be like... 5K in Turkey? Um, This will not be Turkey. If that's okay. What, yeah. I'm not sure where we're going to be here, though. It looks like it looks like it could be is it Portuguese. We'll see. Oh, wow. There's okay. France, I think. I think it might be France. Oh, man. Well... That does make it sound. I mean, if it's Portugal or France, then maybe there's there's a chance for damage. Oh, he's going coarse. Whoa! Blinky's, I mean, look, you're oh, not going to be the Frenchman on the course. He's been here. Oh, that looks he's perfect. Been, he's that been, looks perfect. That, that, that's it. The that shape has to be of that. Constance, will he go coarse? D I well, mean, he has eight seconds. If he doesn't know yet, does he know? And he he's coming. He has to. He's, he's coming. Zooming. He's coming. He's, he's going start. You got to make that guess. He's on Sardinia. Wait, we're not even in the same He's on Sardinia. He's in the wrong country. Oh, no! Oh my god, the 5k from Blinky, 1300 damage on Pontus. Pontus yeah. is almost lucky to have gotten that close. That, there's a part of me that thinks he accidentally zoomed in as they're starting there thinking it was course. Oh yeah, yes, so did I. I, I got I've, so close that I've done that safe. one too many times before. But round five here. It's like a chaos theory moment. Yeah, it's like, oh, it looks close enough to shape. Let's, yeah. let's just zoom in. Okay. Round five of 10, 3x damage in Europe. Let's see where pretty, specifically we're going to be. It looks somewhat northern. Little neighborhood. Both players now oh, looking for information. Northern, how, like Northern Europe here. Yeah, let's see. They're going to look at this little language here and see if they can... Norway. Could be. Actually, I think you're right. We'll see. Looks like it's Sweden, actually. That's we'll it. No, no way it was Norway is what I was... Look at this small, small, slow movement there by Blinky. He's getting 
both going down the same direction. Looks like 30 seconds on the clock. Reading signs. They still. Do you think they're still just like fine, kind of deliberating on the country itself, or? I think they probably know country by now. Okay. They, they had enough clues going in, going into these. Um, they're right now. They're just looking for at least any sort of information that gives them a more specific town name or a region, and the country. Which will be fun to see if anyone does get that in the next 16 seconds. Yeah. Time is not enough. Yeah, Let's see where they do get the region guys off here. Oh, 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 there's a sign. There's a sign for. For Blinky. Centrum is Swedish. They both got something, but Blinky, Blinky, Blinky's getting real Standing specific. Standing south. Cons is also zooming south the on the exact same region. My god, these Look guys. They're, I mean, let's just... That's insane. You just gotta let the genius Blinky. work. That is crazy. 213 points down. 213 points for that. For that. For that. I mean, for just East Coast, that. Central Sweden. All that work. All that work. Is this what I think it is? It's the Isle of Man. I think this is our first Bhutan of the, of the day. Oh, which is, which is quite far away from Isle of Man, unfortunately. Right. I'm just praying for an Isle of Man. Round 6 of 10, 3.5x damage. Let's see where the players do end up guessing here. And this is a country that I don't think we've seen today in this tournament, or maybe even yesterday. There's not very many locks it, in this map. It, it, it's the Vaseline coverage again. Yeah, exactly. Vaseline. <sighs> Who is better at region guessing Bhutan is a oh. question. Who knows where they are in Bhutan? Kant feels like he might know. He's going into roads that looks look like they do, could line up. Oh my Scanning god! Blinky is going fast. If he figures this out, he Blinky is looking the for any shadow dragon right here for any sort of information. Oh, oh, that's he, a lock. I, you know, I did he know. get the road? Did he get the road? It says something. Can he read it? Oh, Ten can seconds. Can he read it? Can he read it? It's always a question with Blinky. Question can he read it? The, and they the, almost find the exact same they spot. They found the exact same there spot. There is no way on but, earth we're watching this live. Are they finding the road? And the time? lock comes in. Wow! Oh. Equidistant once again. It was a white road. Incredible scenes. I mean, 56. I've never gotten so excited about 50 damage. I mean, that the I, fact that, that, yeah, the fact that they both got to that same road says a lot. You know, there's probably information there that they were looking for. Round seven. This yeah, will round be seven. a this very also, interesting it's round. Greasy, it's greasy coverage as well. Yeah, greasy Vaseline. Yeah. Australia, not greasy. Not gre Well, where does it get greasy on Australia? Maybe. Or like, is it just wet? Literally, yeah. is the lens wet? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Okay. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Wet lens meta? Wet lens, yeah. There you go. Cloudy coverage, round 7 to 10, and 4x damage in Australia. Who knows more information in Oz, Blinky, or Consus? Grand finale. And they, I swear Consus goes the opposite direction of everybody he long plays. For, long for primary school. Oh my god. Oh, so no. How many, how many has primary more schools has he remembered? Blinky in? has the road, road and well, no, information. No, no. Longford, Longford on his oh, screen. Man, Blinky on has his, found the 5k. On his goddamn screen. Can Constance find the He's 5K got the in 10 seconds? He can literally he take sees a break. It. Can you get there in time? Oh my god, he's Six so seconds. close. Oh, he sees it. He needs to He knows where to go. He, he knows where to, to go. He, he, oh, he, doesn't, he, doesn't know where, he doesn't know where it is. He doesn't know where it is. He can't find wow. it. Oh, it's pure pain. Another 5K out of Blinky. That's not game though. Woo. 400 points left to Constance's name. No one has beat Blinky yet in a moving game. Oh, The odds are god. against Constance right now, but he is not done yet. Round eight. 4.5x damage. Man, the one the one minute limit is is not a handicap for Blinky. That's all the time he needs. And you would think it is. It is not. Round eight in Poland. Oh, Let's keep it going. Poland. This is where dreams are made. Dreams are made. This is where comebacks happen. These trees do look Polish. 4.5x damage. All right. Time Blinky, for what is, what is to make doing? It. Whoa, what is, Blinky's what, been what, here. What is he doing? No, no, what is he no, doing? no. What is he Blinky, doing? Stop. Okay. Okay, that was close. Whoa, Blinky, okay, stop. Blinky. No. Constance is still moving. Blinky is he's acting like he knows where this is already. He's looking for something that he knows is there. It looks like it. He he, he, he found it. I think he found it. There's no way he found he it. He locked. He locked. He locked. There's no way he found it, though. There's surely no way. He just got a 5K. 10 seconds left. Put a pin in that. Constance needs to keep his 400 points. down to 5 seconds. He's coming in a little slow. Constance is going way more north. He's going to take whatever he can get. Two seconds. Blinky does it. Oh, he's on it. Oh, oh my God. God. This guy is what an absolute he? mogul at moving. How does he know? How, how does, does he know? How much information is underneath that meeting? We've seen a similar thing where Blinky wins game one moving, but then goes to no moving, and is he able to pick up the win here is a question. You literally just can't get shaken because, you know what, at this point, nobody can beat him in moving, so it's, you, you, you have, just gotta let it go. You have to almost just count the moving game as a loss. You gotta let it go. You, have to, you can't get mad about it. You, you can't, if you're conscious, you're, you're like, I have to win this. Yeah. If, if I don't win this no, this no move game right now. You said five out of five, no move for Consus. He's got that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Consus has to win this no moving game, I think. Yeah, because it's going to be hard to beat Blinky in another moving right after that. Yeah, like, who's how are you going to beat him in moving? How are you going to beat him in moving? Like, I, I don't know. I do not know. He actually, they will find a way. 
Yeah, I, is I don't enough know. information for the entire world. Blinky to get it down to the road. Looks locked in. Is he? Constas versus Blinky. Wow. Best of three. This is the grand finale. This is the grand finale. World Cup. The first official GeoGuessr World Cup, and Blinky is up a game. And we are going to game two of first game of the No Moving Though, right here in what seems to be Romania. Let us do it. This is where the statement can be found. If Blinky can take a round off of Consus and break his stat, that would put him in the power position with a One moving game following this. On the clock. Lots Both of pressure on Consus to deliver his end of the bargain. Both players scanning. Move, no move is a completely different skill set than moving. Consus does have the upper hand here. Blinky is still very good. And this Who is, is better? Very interesting location with so much, you know, so many mountains in the background. Yes. Very beautiful. And Blinky is zooming into Romania, very northeast. I do like his guess a lot. Oh, okay. And I think Constance will have a very similar guess, as we do that's see right what, here. That's not what Constance wants to hear, but it is a similar guess. It is a very similar guess. And I mean, we're round one, we'll see no damage. Wow, Constance just man. being slightly closer. What is, how? 39. I just. 3-9, going into round two, and we're back. We're back in Australia. We saw, we saw Constance lose points here earlier. Will he keep him this time? Round two. Okay. Consus up, just a touch. This is intense. Uh, uh, Australia can hurt. Australia. Looking at the poles, poles do help in Australia. Let's see, this is no move, this is all we have. I haven't seen too many blunders within Australia, as be between these two, especially. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure where I would go here. Australia is a big country. Yeah. It is a big, big, yeah, big we saw, country. We saw Perth versus Sydney uh, earlier yeah, today. And that's where you lose a lot of points because you can't commit that. Yeah, that's it's, tough. A, it's a hard thing to commit. This will not be Western Australia. Okay. So we will see good hedges here. Question is, where in Eastern Australia are you? I'll take Melbourne. Melbourne, I like the pronunciation. You just got bonus points from Thank all you. the Australi Australians Let's watching. Let's go. And I do actually like Blinky zooming in here on NSW. We'll see. I don't think it's Vic. It could be. But usually you do get concrete pulls in Vic. And how close are we? He's Wait, hold on. In. Wait, he's has he been he, here? No, he find man, this guy. Road lined up? I don't, don't, don't tell me he's been here. It's, it's just like a, it's just a show, right? He's just putting on a show. Blinky, or Constance is also zooming into a similar area. Yeah. Does he have the road? Getting some perspective. Listen, with, yeah, if Blinky this is this close, it could be painful I mean, still. Consus! Oh my god, Consus! Consus! No, that's a no guy. move region guess. Getting that, the right road right. That is beautiful stuff. That was damn near 5k. Let's see if we get the prop from Oscar down there. Let's keep it going. Round three. Wow. Oh, what an incredible, I was incredible thinking, no move guess by Consus in Australia. Blinky getting there earlier, and I was thinking, oh, maybe he's got it, but Consus has been Two consistent. X damage. Who is consistent in Europe? Let's see where they end up going here. It looks like pretty northern again. Deep breaths for pretty both players northern here. northern again. But how how far? Like, are we talking uh, it's like, like... It's like Denmark or Sweden or something like that. Oh, okay. Both players still scanning. They Looking got it for in any, the summertime. It's a great information. time to drive through. It is a beautiful, beautiful time to drive. They got two months of this. 33 seconds on the clock. No player committing a country yet. Where will they end up going? This they, they, are you Constance. feeling confusion here? I, I I don't know where it is. They probably do. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. I certainly don't want to spoil 20 it. Twenty seconds, <laughs> exactly. It might be Canada. You know, <laughs> fifteen seconds. Both players oh. are going right, Sweden. We have Blinky going Sweden, and we have Constance going Sweden. Wow, man! I it's do like, like that they guess. just they message each other. Say, okay, you can choose. You can choose. Come, come here. Come to Sweden. Five seconds, and they're again both so similar guesses. Man. And Constance oh, Constance is just again. proving why he's the best no move player in the world. Wow. Best and no move player in the world. That's the title. It has to be. It has to be the title. Well, Listen, it, he, it he certainly hasn't lost is any these points. last two days. And again, coming from the prequels, right? Not losing a game Ooh. up until this point. And we're back. And we... In Australia. We're back in Australia. With information Three this time. Three Australia. I, we will probably see a, a 5K here by one of the players. We have so much information right here. We have a road. Both players will immediately read that and go and start scanning. And Blinky is immediately in and knows exactly what to scan for. No. But so does Consus. Shut up. He's locked He found in. it already. He's locked That in. might be the fastest 5K we've don't, seen this don't, don't get scared because it looks like Consus is off to the west a little bit. Consus he is started a second he's guess. He's in T. He looked like get he got Queens shaken. On Consus. He got shaken, but now he's coming he's back. He's there. He's going to found the A2. He found the A2. Three seconds. He's on it. Three seconds. Will he find the intersection? He's up the road. He's up the road. Very close. He found oh it. Oh, my God. He's even better. Consus. How does he do it? Like magic. 333. Wow. Like magic. Like magic. And he, he was off to the west for a second after the 15 seconds locked in. He got a little second guessed himself and came not back. It's about how you start. It's about how you finish. That's and right. we are here, right here in Spain this time. We have the yellow reflector on the guardrail. 
Both players will know Spain. Who okay. is a better no move region guest in Spain, Blinky or Consus? Let's find out. Looking for a statement. Consus yet to be chipped. 6,000 health oh, still. Can remaining. he read that road name in the distance? I don't think he can. I have an astigmatism, so I definitely can't. <laughs> True. Spain. Will the S be silent for one of these players? It's going to be a, yeah, a painful round, maybe. Especially because it's no move, at least. Spain can get very confusing, as we saw. Yes. No move. They get one 360 panorama of the round, and then they get to guess. There's, Blinky going south here. There's the zoom. 30 seconds left on the clock. Well, Where will Consus go? Or not. Consus has not lost any points yet in this no move series. He's trying to keep this flawless. 23 seconds. Consus okay. zooming in. Consus we have different region guesses in. in Spain right oh now. Oh my god, is he going to go north? We have way different region guesses oh, in Spain right now. He's going up top. Who is closer? Wait, it's not very flat there, is it? I he's, don't know. He's seen some mountains it's in the flat. distance. It's, they have mount mountains where both but players they're are. Going, oh my god, Blinky so is different. Who's closer? Six it, seconds, five south. seconds, three X. He's going even more west. Oh my god, this could be an opportunity this for Blinky if Consus for doesn't know exactly what's going he's on. He's going more east. Consus. Oh, it's Blinky. Oh. But not close enough. Wow. Only picking up 500 points. God damn. Consus is losing his first 500 points, or first points of the No Move series yeah, and, and that matters finale. to Blinky. Like, Blinky didn't have the perfect guess there, but he did get damage off, so... He did get, dam he did, he did get damage, yes. And it, it, it's confidence boost there for No Move as Blinky and Constance here go in to round 6, 3.5x damage on No Move in New Zealand. We've New seen, Zealand, we've seen death by New Zealand today they a lot. They are getting haunted by New Zealand. New Zealand, New Zealand, New Zealand is wow. the story of the night. Who will be better? Constance has made some good New Zealand guesses today, but so has Blinky. We'll see. We have pizza there. That looks good. Great view for pizza. This will be interesting. We, we, it has to be a pretty distinct lake here. This is where they filmed uh, Lord of the Rings. Just out there. Officially, yeah. And he's taken in the views to make a decision. This is very specific. Oh. We've got the thumbprint. Did he find the, the east? He, Did he find the thumbprint is there water on the east, east coast. Look, he's on the thumb. Did he find it? I mean, does, does Blinky know about this? Uh, Blinky also looks like he has something that lines up a lot. It looks like Consus has some esoteric found water knowledge. Do, do they know who has the right body of water east is the question. But what's his Blinky's look on going Consus's south face? island now. That's the first time I've seen Consus talk to himself. Blinky is confused. Bl he's, he's flabbergasted. New Zealand. Is it going to be death by New Zealand again? Death by New Zealand. As long as they split up, we get blood. Three seconds. And that's Who's going to be closer? See, folks. 3.5x. Or Blinky. Oh! It's Consus! God damn, Consus! Is that a win? It's a win! 6,300 damage! Wow! And they both maintain their flawless records on moving and no moving. Wow! What, what a game. What a game. Going New Zealand. Death by New Zealand. Blinky oh, is hurts. upset. He hates it. He hates it. He hates losing he, in this he, situation. He has to win this moving game. Yeah, but and he has been. That's the thing. He has been. It's obviously a little bit scarier if you're conscious because you get the moving first. Yeah. So you get the moving first. You get the moving third. Yeah. It's almost an advantage towards Blinky having he has the another book. chance. Yes. On no moving Blinky has afterwards. has one more chance on no uh, on. That's to say, if it is a given. Now, if it is the case that Consus wins this next round. And who the hell knows what's going to happen? No, it's not his I, game to lose suddenly. Not I said the fox. Blinky still looked locked in. We see the Blinky flags and the Constance flags in the crowd. Yeah. This is getting intense. Who's, loud, who's louder, the Blinky fans or the Constance fans? <laughs> Got them cheering over each other <laughs> just to get everybody cheering. Yeah, exactly. Constance and Blinky. One, one, first of three does win as we start right here in what looks like a Bulgaria. Oh, it's Bulgaria. It looks like it. I, you know, I've made some wrong calls before. Let's see if let's see what happens here. Man, this in round one of the moving, both players are able to move around it. and travel right here, right now. Blinky has not left, lost a moving game yet. He's nine for nine of the day. Oh, this tour bus looks lost. <laughs> Where are they going? Wait, those are uh, turkey garbage bins, though. No. Yes. Oh. So are we in Turkey? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> let's, let's go. go. Let's go. You know, Bulgaria does border Turkey, but good call out there, Launders. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. 40 seconds on the clock. Okay, Both let's players see who can are 35 seconds on the clock. Gobble up some points. We've seen Consus consistently make good Turkey guesses before. The question is, can he do it again? And he's, he's, it looks like he stopped looking for information. He's going to use... Wait, does, does wait. Consus know it's a moving game? What's going on? He hasn't moved yet, I don't oh, think. Oh, he hasn't even thought about it? Wait, he's like really scouring this map, but he hasn't been moving around. 
He hasn't. He said it, is this information he's looking found? for something. I'm not sure what he's looking for. It's like he's got a faint memory of being here once, and he just wants to go ahead and, and skip walking around, just go right for finding it. Both players looking for constant adjustments in. of the pin, and it's, it's actually it's going to be sorry. Is that Blinky with a little bit of an edge? Two hundred points. Two hundred points. Two hundred points. Round two, and we're back again. Is that New Zealand? This is going to be Australia. Australia again. We have the Australian ballards right here. Oh, and we're going to be in South Australia. This will be good points. Good points. Maybe. Well, when, I mean, when both players South are Australia, to... what cities could it be, roughly? I like... mean, any, like anything east near Vic, probably here. Okay. But it actually won't probably be big points. They're both going to see the Stopey Poles here, oh. which are only found in South Australia. And um, both, looks like Constance has learned to move. There we that go. good news. Taking advantage of moving. There is something to be said about these no-moving players doing better on their no-moving rounds, but... Yeah, that's, that's, you just trust your instincts way more when you're playing no move. But like if we look at uh, Blinky here, we are definitely seeing a lot of movement. Blinky is Shout out to Ninja. moving a lot. <laughs> Not seeing enough. <laughs> 30 seconds left on the clock, 1.5x damage, both players going south. Damn, they are breaking the speed limit at the moment. They're currently looking for signs or town names or anything that gives away an info of where they could eventually be, maybe a road name or road, road number. They do know it's, they do both know this is South Australia for sure. The question is where are we in South Australia? And Blinky has turned to the pavement, and which Blinky's means he about is to tell us it looks like. Did he just do a lineup? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. gotta feel like wait, wait, yes, right. they, he's just they trying both. to find a road that goes in the right direction. They're north think... of each other. Oh, Blinky, Blinky, Blinky the monster, no, and that's Gambier. big difference. That's 1400 points. 1400. That's chunky. That's that one is. of the rounds that we'll remember if Blinky ends up pulling this out. Australia, we've seen a lot of Australia. Blinky looks locked in. True. Constance also looks locked in. That was a good, good guess by Blinky. Could have been bigger points there in Australia. Mm. 4,300 points. Constance needs to win this. What kind of blur are we working with here? Panama blur, I think. Panama blur? This, looks is, like this has been an be. interesting test for people. Who was it that didn't, under, that didn't uh, pick Panama? Was it one of these two? It was, it was Constance that went Colo, but now it was an NPZ. But is this Panama? What is that truck? I don't think I've seen that truck in Panama. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, yes, it is. Yeah, they are going in but for yeah, it. But yeah, so um, you know, that's one of those things where in NPZ, you can't see the car behind you. And so now the players both can't. And did Blinky just zoom in on the road? That what was like happened? very he, confident. He, it looks like he just spun his mouse wheel and clicked. That was impressive. Well, and now Constance is about to follow suit. And you'd think it's going to be about the same, but oh my god, what? He just looked like he went 1, for a flick shot and lost Not giving up yet. points. Second to guess. He can win this. But better yet. But Blinky imagine. is still holding on. Round four. Oh my god, imagine if Consus through. takes a moving round. That would be insane. That's that's. And it. this will be one of those games in Greece where someone can't pick up points if they can read Greek. If you haven't learned by now, folks, there's potential for anything. You have a Greek lamppost, wooden poles, all Greek signifiers. Where do the players go immediately? They will go downhill here and try to find a city with a town, or at least a village or anything they can read. Yeah, they gotta and go at Blinky, light speed. Uh, I went Whoa, past Blinky's Blinky. found like a, a turn into some more populated area. I think they're they're not exactly on the same road. Both still scanning for at least any information, trying to find something. Tell me, Blinky, Blinky, Blinky can read Greek? I think probably both can. Probably both can, okay. Both players still scanning. Supermarket is found. No no city on it, no town. They're really looking for something to read. That's Close what they're the focusing on. Turkey bins, but not quite. Keep going here. We do have double white road lines there. It is very common in Greece as well. Both players do know the country. The question is where uh -oh. what country what region of the country are we in? Blinky's kinda it feels like onto nothing right now with this road. It doesn't seem like it's gonna give him anything. Yeah, there's it's no information. You have away. to read you guys based off vibes here. Wait, we're and, talking about seven seconds, six seconds. Five seconds. Get in there. No information given besides the climate and What's vegetation. What's the guess? Oh, this one's this one's this one's big damage. Both times. Oh my god, Constance again. Wow, in the late scrambles. 900 points. Oh my god. And this is a moving game. Man, Will with, he no, get Blinky with the first no time loss? to stare, Constance scrambles and comes out ahead. He's done that a few times. It's insane. And we're back. With two or three seconds. We, like, this seat is insane. We're I, just getting Australia. We're just getting Australia, Australia, New Zealand, Oceania. Are they awake? They better be. Wow. Round five, 3x yeah. damage in you Australia. sleeping through this. Is that an NSW Gargoyle by any, any chance? I don't know. Could Bo be. Both these guys are right now about the same amount of HP. No 300 difference. This is moving. Both players, Australia is pretty pinpointable because of 
how the road and the road sister system and both players do know how it works. Consus, assuming you find information, you will you will find the 5k. Consus can sense the opportunity at hand. And Blinky oh, is a first find information. That's a that's a massive sign, right? Wow. He I sees mean, Paradise Beach Golden Beat. This is just instant here for Blinky. He Did sees Consus pass that sign? He's, he's there. Okay. He's Thirty there. seconds left. Will Blink, Blinky put the pressure on? All right. Let's see if there's any points. Fifteen to be seconds won on the clock as they both lock in on Southern Consus. Australia. But wow, Who's look closer? how far apart they Nine are. Seconds. They are it's so far apart. It's close enough, though. It's close enough. It won't be game, I don't think. But could pick up big points. And Constance oh, is getting closer. getting in closer a little bit. Oh, he's, he's jumping closer up a little closer. bit. And wow, Blinky. Blinky's right on the mark. Wow, devastating. Wow, lucky Only 411. Con Constance slowly got there. He Con slowly got Constance there. Constance is trusting his instincts, though. He's not just sitting on something. Yep. He's saying, okay, it doesn't feel right. doesn't feel right. I'm adjusting. Well, we're in uh, Southern Amer so South America the now. First Guatemala so. of the day. I think both players will get this. Who is Bear Guat? Let's find out. Who's the Guat Pro? We have the Guat car. We have Alto on the stop sign. Let's see. Players will move. What move directions will, will they move though? Consus is er, Consus is heading north. Blinky. Oh, there's a lot of information. Well, maybe it's not useful. A lot of writing on the wall. But uh, this town's gonna offer up something for sure. 35 seconds. Guatemala is a small country, so even if you don't find information, you can make a good information guess. It won't be very big, but it could be devastating for any of these players if we keep going into these late rounds. Any points matter. 25 seconds left. No information. Both they, oh, we've got a street, at least an intersection that Blinky's Blinky found is going to start scanning for inside something. of Guatemala. How deep does that memory go? Blinky... Looking for a road. And they're both going Guat City, so it's going to be very minimal points here. Not exactly. You're, you're, you're fighting for at least 100 points here, max, Okay. Well, maybe just the pride alone will be worth it. And if there will even any, be any points, my god, the damn 5k from both. 11. That's about expected for Guat, but this will be fun. This will be fun, and it looks like we're back in the south of the USA. Ooh. Who, Who is, is better, better in here? the USA? Who is, is Blinky a U.S. expert? Consus doesn't seem to have any weak spots. Who would you give know. it to? I don't know. I, I mean, you have to give Blinky the moving edge already. True, it's Blink, yeah, it is moving. And and Consus's lead is gone now, of course. That little bit of extra damage. Yes, he's down just, just 100 points. So, wow, Blinky. Blinky's he's, zooming in immediately Jesus. into Alabama. What are we Consus, looking at oh, at we moment? do have the Alabama. Okay, we do oh, have information here. We see the Alabama outline with highway. Birmingham is just north of both of their pins at the moment. Or they expect each other to find this information. 30 seconds left. Anything interesting coming out? It looks like they're they're still they're, they're still just scanning for the close. roads. And Blinky is this is where Blinky thrives the most. I don't know if Blinky has the same information that RC does or as Constance does, but I think he does. He's finding a needle in the haystack here, but that's Blinky's specialty. Montgomery. Um, this is just eight seconds left. They're kind of far apart at this point. They I are mean, pretty far apart. This could yeah, be big points for someone for actually. It could be potentially enough. Uh, the question enough. is, yeah, if, they're close, if they're close damage, enough, you need 1k Does damage. Consus do it? Oh my god! Does he do it? Consus! Holding his is breath that his is chance? enough! It's not 3,000 points! Oh my god. Oh 1K my god. remaining, but what a play from Consus. Oh my god. I didn't expect him to beat him out in America like that. That is such a massive Consus. win. Can he steal a, uh, a moving game from Blinky? That would be insane. And we're back in the USA. It looks like we're back in, in Vermont. Consus is looking more and more like Thanos by the round. It looks like we're in Vermont. Looks like we are in Vermont with these green plates. Both players should know this. Oh my god. This could... I, Blinky, Blinky on could a lose. moving round. His first opportunity to lose a moving round. And it's going to potentially be here in the grand finals. He's zooming into Vermont. Blinky does know. Does Consus know. He sees the city he sees name. A he sees a, is that a is school? Is that a fire station? It could be a fire or station. A school. Okay. They both. Do they both? Blinky is, is Blinky in? Blinky's yeah, it's in. Definitely a fire station. And Constance is right there, right behind the them. And they oh both my god! They gotta just double 5k right here. Looks like they wait. Are they in the same place? Constance yeah, finds Jesus. it. Jesus. Seven meters off. Wow. Seven Five. meters off. We're going into round nine, and this is where it gets scary. Anywhere in the world, and this you're seven meters off. Seven meters. This is where it gets scary for Blinky, because right here we see an Eswatini, small country, Eswatini. on round nine. This that one's means, for you, Peter. That means Blinky, true. That means Blinky has to pick up big points here. 
He can't win here, I don't think. Oh, yes. Ricky round cannot nine. win an Espertini. He's such a small so country. So he has to bite his time to get to round 10 and hope he it's a bigger place, right? He has to round 10 right? where he can pick up points. Or Constance will take this game. Okay. But that's well, a big if. Let's as take we a look. Let, let's watch Linky's face as we get into this round to see let's the see. reaction. <sighs> round 9. So obviously he needs X. something, but he's dug himself this pit where Constance is so far ahead. Yeah, he looks, they're both concentrated. I think they're both going different directions here. One person could find information. I mean, this is a type of game, and Blinky said, oh, he said, I'm just gonna go for it, man. I'm yeah. just lining it up, I don't need to move, okay? There we go. I said, maybe he's saying if he if he gets it, he gets it. I don't think he could put the pressure that he wants to though, right? Because Constance knows that this is Eswatini. Yeah, Constance knows, so and he has, he has, he has he, he information there. He does want to be as accurate as possible. It's I mean, you could 5x lose. damage, I mean, you can't even take 200 points anymore. Yeah, I mean, you can, like, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. You have to be better. You have, you have to be like a pre, have a pretty standard region guess here. But I feel like even no move, Constance can get a pretty good region guess. And yeah, we've seen Esfetini. that. We've seen yeah. his lineups be extremely Linky's standing dangerous. For Rhodes. You have 15 seconds left on the clock. Constance has not opened the map yet. He's still looking for information, and he found it. He found it. Oh man, is this what Blinky needs right now? Constance with information in Eswatini, locking he in needs potentially five seconds, the three south, seconds. southwest. He's a little bit farther away. This could be death for Blinky. Five X damage. Oh, and oh my God! Does he ever win he's in Eswatini? It. He's no. sitting on him. Five hundred points. points. Oh my God! Constance is hoping for a small country. Blinky is hoping for a miracle. A miracle. Let's see if he can make magic points. happen. We're can on. he do it? To round ten. Constance is hoping for a small country. And no. It's Greece. It's Greece. I think. Is there a chance to get... I mean, we just saw Constance... 5.5x multiplier. We just saw Constance's region guess on no move Greece. And it was like, got the village right on. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, my God. This it looks like Greece The first potential loss for Blinky on move. He needs to get a good guess here. Or Constance goes up 2-1. And he just needs to win the last moving game that he won before. Oh my god. Blinky zooms in on the Greek island immediately. Consus. Blinky's gotten in there very quick. He's scanning Greek He's islands right now. He's looking a couple right of islands, yeah. Consus is scanning, is still using moving to his advantage. Looking They're kind for of the playing. correct shape of it. It looks like he's found that inlet and, I, okay, still moving around. Consus hasn't made up his mind. I like the I strategy don't worry by Blinky, about Consus though. When he takes his time, it always pays 15 off. 15 seconds. Consus needs to figure out where he is. There's a lot. If he wins this round, he wins the game. He just needs to not blunder he it. He just needs to pick up, not lose at least 2,500 points. A good and He's going to the same island. Same I don't island. think it's winnable for Blinky here if they're it, both right. It's too far away. And are they split? I don't think that's enough. That's not enough. Oh my god. Consus wins the moving game against Blinky. That's insane. His first loss in moving. Consus. Has made history here at the World Cup. Just getting that. The knowing first now this championship is in his hands. Grand finale. Constance needs one more win. There's only one player with a perfect record in their strength, and that is Constance with no moving. Keep in mind, Constance was playing in the qualifier for this tournament. He was not auto invited. He played his way through another tournament where he did not lose a game, and he has earned his spot more than anyone here. He was for this grand finale spot. Quickest person to get to five wins yesterday. Blinky was the only other person to do so. It's only fitting that they go head to head here in finals, opposite side of the brackets, naturally. And now the pressure, all the pressure in the world is on Blinky. The first official GeoGuessr World Cup could end right here in this round. Cons is up 2 1 with a chance to get three. And the best of five means that'll be it. Game so no four. moving in game four. Let's go. No move. Where are we? It looks like we're back in the Baltics or something. I don't even want to want to guess. I want to start. Grand finale, Consus, no move. Blinky needs this game. Can he beat Consus is yeah. the question. Oh. One minute on the clock, no move. There's no more trading blows. Now they have to beat each other at their strengths. Looking at the architecture here, seeing what makes sense. Looking at the copyright potentially there by Blinky. Consus is looking at the architecture just right behind Blinky. Just 45 do. seconds just for the chance to get to play the NMPZ round. This will be a fun game. One of the best series in GeoGuessr. Let's see where they end up going here. I, I feel like on the dirt. I personally would guess something Baltic here, but I, I'm not too sure. I do like the Estonia. You do have the white flowers there. Common meta in GeoGuessr's white flowers does equal Estonia, oh, real wow. and true. White flower meta and Contis. Does he think about Estonia in this situation? Constance will think about Estonia. He will probably go Estonia with Blinky if it is Estonia. Oh, He's going Poland. Oh, Poland. Whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Are we getting a big round I one? I don't know what this is, to be honest. Are we so getting a big round we one? We could see a big round Sub one here. Sub 10 seconds. Eight seconds. So they who's are right? Three countries apart at this point. So let's see. Constance Southern committing. Estonia versus Northern it's Poland. Poland. And it's Poland. Constance.
What's this? Eat your heart out, buddy. That is insane. 1400 that is not on round an one. easy pull in at all. Wow. I don't know very many players that go pull in there. Uh, I would say most players in them, uh, they go ball, they uh, go Baltics. I got zero pull in vibes from that situation. Those trees did not look Polish. Wow. Game four of five, 4,500 it's a, damage it's left. It was crystal clear, huh? Crystal clear. It's just, that's the instincts in him. And he wasn't even far away in Poland. But Blinky is not out of it yet. He can still pull this off. What are we working with We're here? We're working with the Switzerland. Ooh, okay. <sighs> round two, 1.5 damage. Blinky Man, has to win this game. That was so much damage for a first round. Consus in his element. Can he pull it off or can Blinky come back? Gets the opportunities. Foaming at the mouth Blinky. right now. There's a side is going to zoom in immediately, it, like the legend he is. Is it a sign from God? Let's see, Kans is getting is in there. moving into Switzerland here as well. Both having pretty good regions. He's got a, he's got a road, there aren't too many, that's one thing. And it looks like they're maybe nesting in the same area, just a small drive away from each other, getting even closer now. Maybe no points wow. here, but it'll be same a slight road. edge to Blinky. Only 68, 68 points, points down. Hey, any, any points matter. Any yeah, points do matter here. First bit of damage is the hardest again. Blinky has the harder rote here. He's yes. got to beat Constance on his home turf on no moving. Round three, two X damage. And we're going to look like we'll be back in Europe here. Indeed. Which player has the advantage here? Looks like it's going to be like a Hungary or something. Not too sure, to be honest. The players will. There's no, there's no, there's see. no, there's no poles. There's no. Wait. Looks like we have Antana with a flag, which okay. is like Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia, Romania. And then this road looks, I guess, we'll see. What baller is that? Is that Hungarian baller? Maybe couldn't see it. Both players scanning. Can see for so see. far in every direction. Kons is trying to hone in on any clues. Oh my God! And he's going for the Whoa, road line. The road lineup. Hungry. Hungry. He's feeling great about Hungary. He's feeling hungry. He's starving. He's hungry for a win. <laughs> Can he get it? France representing France? Blinky against Netherlands. Kansas. Both players will get hungry is here. He lock? No. Thirty seconds. Timer still going. There's no moving. Oh, it's Kansas to actually lock. Kansas is locked. He's center hedged. Wow. And it's both of them have just been your head. The hedged. contest gets a little bit extra. Just a little bit extra. 172 points down. You can get chipped down a little bit You're like this, but eventually. Slow and steady. Yeah. This is getting round four. Constance only lost 70 points. This can very easily Blinky become is down 1,600. Quick maths. Yes. Round four. What do we see here? Let's start the game and let them figure out where they are. It looks like Japan. Is, is this even low cam? It looks like low cam Japan. Man, Japan can always be fun, no it feels move. like, with these guys. This will be and interesting. That blue signpost is that is that a bus stop? Is that what that is? Potentially, they're going Hokkaido. Did both of them just go Hokkaido? That makes sense. Sure. Get it to the Hokkaido cabbage that zigzag ate. Yeah, that was that was a good video. Very niche reference. I like it. Okay. Oh, we Both got players. a lock. Cody or er, Blinky is lining up a road here. Who, are they just beside each other? It they're looks like, like yes. They're, they're very close. Yes, they're That's very close. They're, this should be minimal country. points. We're talking about tens Blinky of... Oh, my God. Does it. Blinky, whoa. Wow. Oh, go on, then, son. That's 400 damage. And that that really matters. That really matters. You know, this lead was, it's, uh, it's was anything, pretty big for a matters. second. It's, it's anything. It's, it's confidence. If even... Is this a weird arge? It should be, unless it's like... Is this a weird arge? Or not weird arge, but sometimes it's like, oh, is this arge or US? You know, it kind of looks the same at points. But I would probably go Arch here. We'll wow. see where the players do end up going. Who is building these roads, man? This they can is look crazy. at the sun. I think I don't have a compass on my screen, but if they look at the sun, they could probably find the hemisphere. But they've probably and this looks like that's stranding. Going into Argentina in the Salta province. I like it. Very, very arid, very dry. Does he go more south? Constance has made some great some great Argentina guesses and he's oh, going max whoa, north. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, by the water. Just north. But I Blinky's like river yeah, that he sees on the map looks better than the bigger body of water that Consus was by. Yep. You always have to trust Blinky on the pinpoint over anyone, really. He's looking for that thin river, right? Looking and for it. Yeah, they're looking to find this bridge. But that's on the wrong side. That's on the wrong side, isn't it? They're looking for something that lines up here. They have 15 seconds to find something. Does Argentina Blinky... is a long country and big points can be picked up here. Oh my God. 10 seconds left. Okay. I'm not sure how close they are, though. That's the problem. This... I don't know who's closer. That just means there's a chance for Blinky. There's a chance for Blinky Five to seconds. try to even up. Three. Two, How far one. apart are they? Who's gonna win this one? Blinky! Oh my God, Blinky! How many points is that? Another equalizer. That's huge. Three thousand points. Oh my damage. God! No way. That is how you maximize an Argentina. Six into Turkey. Wow. Wow. And Constance only had 1,800 points left to his name. Blinky takes the lead, going to round six from a five damage. Constance has been thinking about Turkey recently. He has. 
and he's had some good guesses, and I think he will continue good guess here, as both of them will. 3.5x in Turkey. Do we see an NPZ in an NPZ again? NPZ. Imagine they traded rounds. Winky reading the sign that has information on both of them reading the sign. Is that enough information to gather? Is the question. Contest is not glossing over it. He's really thinking about it. 45 seconds on the clock. We need big points here from someone. This could be game for Constance. He needs to make sure he game has a good guess Contus. here. I mean, if he gets if he gets a, ro a wrong region guess here, but Blinky is on, it is game. When yeah. it's such a big country with 1,800 points on 3.5x damage. It's massive. But they are going. Channel your Geolotris here. In a somewhat here. similar region, Constance is somewhat more south, and he's scanning more north here, looking just over the Turkey, looking for something. Blinky is trying to line the road they up. Are, the worry, the more worried you it. get. Can he find the road that lines up here in between these mountains? Man, it's so Turkey. frantic between these two searching their maps. 10 seconds, or 12, 13 seconds. They're pretty far apart right now. Extremely far, far apart, apart, actually. This could be game for someone. This could be game for someone. Anybody. Okay, 3.5x damage, five seconds. potentially. Is Blinky switching? Plays your best, Blinky folks. wants to switch. Is he going to switch? Who's going to grab One second. this? It's Contest. It's Contest. Does he win? Oh my god, it's a massive advantage. 700. No, 2,400. in total. 1,900. 3.5x multiplier. And oh Contest my wants god. to see another day. Contest can end it all here and now. It's an even match going into round seven. Oh. No move. Constance wins this game. He wins the GeoGuessing World Cup. And it comes down to India. It comes down to India. And we've got, you know, Blinky in this situation is scary, isn't it? It's scary. It's scary. But how much has Constance actually studied that we don't know about? This lead barely matters at all. 1900 damage, 4x multiplier. It could literally end now. It will probably end here if someone gets one good guess. In India, it's such a large country. Let's see. All right, folks, you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some blood. Round seven. This could Blinky be for the in. World Cup. Constance reading. Blinky reading. Both players so, taking in information. Such an unbelievable amount of signage. And as you mentioned, with Blinky able to read Blinky everything. Zooms Blinky zooms in. Blinky's going in Blinky super zooms in. fast. He's looking to survive to edit Constance. PZ. Here we go. Both in very similar areas. Zooming in, it looks like. Wow. There's no way. Do we survive this round? That survive would be insane. Round, do we have the World Cup winner right here with Constance, or do we see Blinky advance? He knows the chances there. Did someone just lock? We have Blinky locked. We have 12 seconds left. Oh my god. And they're so close. They're so close. They must have read something. No way. This will not be game. But how close? And, unless Constance switches. 4 will he switch? Five seconds. You gotta be careful. Will he switch? He's staying. It looks like he's staying. Five, six hundred points, and that's all you need. Wait. Oh my god. Constance just ahead. That's Slightly. not gonna be enough, though. It's going to be a few hundred. 384 points. Blinky starts to get chipped down. 1,600 remaining. One more round. We'll see. They both this, survive. Blinky, you have to get, his heart rate has to be at least, oh my god, it comes down to Brazil. Brazil. This. One of the biggest regions that you could possibly get. Oh my goodness. This is exactly, you know, what you want to see if your cons is on a round like this and no moving. It is. It, it, it. Let's start it. Let's start it. Let's run if it. If you're Constance, you almost are hoping for like a couple of gimmies where, well, but Constance, Blinky, who's better at Brazil? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, there is Who so has much information. Is there, this it? There's a lot in sight right now. We'll see if anything is recognizable. 1,800 points, 1,600 points. Any of that means nothing in a country like Brazil. Yeah, they're we just, make one good guess. They're both on the edge right now. 40 seconds to go. The pressure is here. This is where mistakes are made. This is where champions Blinky are born. Goes max north. Blinky is all the way up here, man. Where will Constance go? 30 seconds Does left. Does Constance have the same idea? Sometimes he's coming late, but Blinky. he's been even more accurate. Hand on the space bar. Will he submit? 26 seconds. Constance wins he's this round. He knows city. he can throw away They're the entire game They're both going the exact with this. same region. Oh my Again. god. But look how far apart they are. It, they, it, it's they not are far enough. 15 to 1800 points apart, potentially. We'll see how far away their guess is to it, the exact closer. location. I don't think this will be enough. We found the road. Blinky, is, that oh enough? is it enough? Blinky. Is it enough? This could hurt. It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. 599 points. We're going to see another round. Oh my god. It's getting closer. Will it come to round 10 is a question. Or I will can't. it end here in round nine? I can't. Every will single time. How many multipliers do we need for these Ge guys to go down? Geo gets World Cup grand finale. Constance versus Blinky. Constance needs one more win. 5x damage in Malaysia. Malaysia up around. Looks like we're going to be in Borneo. Let's see if I'm right here at round nine. It's winnable for it, someone. It is. It is winnable. And this Deep is where. Breaths, dude, I'm freaking out. One so someone's going to sleep with regrets tonight. Someone is going to go home smiling. This is a massive Blinky opportunity in each Saba. of these rounds. 
Yeah, that which is quick Borneo. into Borneo. Consist, where will Consist go? Blinky, it looks like he is wait, Blinky. Wait. Where is he going? That's a risky guess, Blinky. Will he commit? Oh my God. That's he, such a risky it's not, guess. It's not even a road there, is it? Where there's he, a white road. Who knows if that even has coverage? Oh my God. Wait, they're That's both crazy, going. But they the know something. Hold on, but he's going for the yellow road closer inland. Does, but does Blinky? Does Blinky know something? Does Blinky know he something? He looks like he knows something. Five seconds. Would is you this take gonna a be risk like that? Plus, if you get closer. Something. Here's where it comes Consist. down to. Oh my God! No. I think Consus might be closer. Just by a hair. 700. He takes the lead. 800 points. And we're going, going in round 10. 10. A oh. smile breaks out of the mouth of Consus as we go into round 10. He's got a little bit more damage. Blinky needs all. one good round right here in. Wow. Europe. I don't know where in Europe this is. Is this? Cr oh my God. Somewhere, is this central, somewhere in Europe. Northern. I don't know, bro. I, 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 I'm, I'm done. Let's, Let's go. start round yeah. 10. Final round of the first. Of the moving game. Yeah, of the moving game. Consist. That could be the last. Consist, Needs win, a if win. he wins this, he wins the whole damn thing. Blinky, if he wins this, we go on to NMPZ. Consist needs to make sure he doesn't lose 300 points here, or he wins the GeoGuessr World Cup. 49 seconds. Be the Where first will they go? Official Comes down to champion. This. That's what's on the line. They look still in the face. They look ready, but they have a million Blinky. things running through their head right now. Blinky looks stressed. 36 seconds. Consist, this is where he's in his element. You gotta play to win. 30 seconds on the clock, taking their time. Can't play not to lose in Consus, just taking a gaze out into the far 25. forest. A lot of things are covered right now. All they can see are cars and roads. Consus or Blinky, will we go to NMPZ or will we see a Consus victory right here, right now? Are we missing poles here? Do we need anything that... Does anyone even know the country? It looks like Consus has an is answer for you. Cons is going Finland. Finland. It gets rural Cons is going Finland. Finland. This could easily be a Where's ton of Blinky damage. Where's Blinky going? Blinky's There's also going Finland. Blinky's going Finland as They're well. Going Finland. Is they come down this? It's locked in. Cons is. Cons is. Is he the winner? Did he get it? Cons is 748 damage, He's and he will win. He is your world champion. Cons is the first official Geo-Gesser world, world champion. champion. He's done it from the qualifiers. <laughs> He's done it. He's done it. He didn't lose the a round. Best player. He's done it. Blinky. What a game from Blinky as well. He had but to take him out on moving. What a game. Just to get to know Consus. moving and clutch it on round 10. The amount of pressure that he's had to survive and the mutual respect and adoration across the board, of course, <laughs> because you're talking about I love it. the elite of the elite between these two. Absolutely incredible what? performance and Consus Blinky going through the and Consus. Wow, Consist coming from the qualifiers. He earned this. He earned he this. He earned this. Blinky, shout out to Blinky. What what a clinic they both got at the highest level of gameplay we have. That couldn't have got more impressive, more close. And even when there was so much pressure, <laughs> how impressive. How impressively accurate, precise. The I'm precision from Consist in those last moments. I'm just so proud of both of them, man. So proud of both of them. All right. They both deserve it. Congratulations to our winners. Let's throw it down to Paula to rain them in. Thank you, Lawners. Thank you, Rainbow. Fast things fast, everybody. A heartfelt commiserations to Blinky. Everybody make some noise for our second place contestants. Blinky, I'm sure you wanted that fast place finish. How do you think the match went? Do you think it could have gone better? I think I made some really big mistakes, like pretty poor decisions. And like, obviously I wish it had gone differently, but it's really hard to keep uh, my nerves on stage and really big congrats for, for, to Consist for really doing really great on that. Like, amazing guesses. So. Anything else that you'd like to say to everybody watching at home and here in the audience before I let you go? Thanks everyone. <laughs> like, thanks for the support. Thanks for, uh, to the French committee, to all my friends, to Nadia. Thank you. Once again, give it up for Blinky! But now, we have to turn our attention to our first GeoGuessr World Cup champion. He is the Dutch Destroyer. It is Constant!
cup as you watch the distribution of medals, as you see Coxus hoist his trophy and his check for $15,000. Know that this was just the beginning for GeoGuessr Esports. We've had an incredible showing all weekend from 24 amazing players. And now, Coxus stands your champion. Woo! Oh, wait, yeah, my mic's on again. <laughs> well, I think I'm so excited. We seeing can him get lift the trophy. I'm so stoked oh, about no. it. Classic esports moment. You love to see it. Oh. You love to see it. Oh, seeing him lift that trophy was so <laughs> beautiful. He's tears in his eyes. He's so emotional. And how many incredible opponents he had to go through to get to this spot on this stage holding this trophy. Absolutely, and he's standing up there as an excellent representative of the entire GeoGuessr community. <laughs> Blue, maybe you can speak a little bit to what this means for them at large. This really, truly is such a big moment for the community and the game as a whole. Consist, congratulations. You killed it, man. Truly having this opportunity for everybody to come here and compete and just show out what this game can be as an eSport, the true level of competition we have, and to see that incredible finals was a treat. And we got the audience on their feet. Everyone's still snapping some photos of their champion and all the yeah. runners up. A lot of love here in the studio today, not just for our players, but for the excellent games they brought us and for the wonderful community that everyone is now a part of. Yeah, I mean, you have to consider every single person in this room has been brought together because of this, this pioneering event for the GeoGuessr community. So many people in here knew each other, our friends are meeting each other for the first time from every single corner of the globe. It's just an insane thing. You have to wonder if the size of this crowd is an indication of the ability to follow directions and find the right place <laughs> because everyone managed to show up here in Stockholm. We are so excited to have brought you this show up. We've so excited to have brought you this show. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> Paul is down on the stage, so why don't we go talk to him and our champion? He's had his moment, but we've got to hear from the champion himself, right? <laughs> Consist, you were feared coming into this tournament, and you produced <laughs> the results that people thought you were capable of. How does it feel to be champion? Unreal. Unbelievable. I'm full of disbelief. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. In your wildest expectations when you started playing this game and then started playing the competitive aspect of it, did you ever dream of anything like this? Not at all. But, nah, like, when I started this game was so small and I was just like enjoying playing with a few other guys on Twitch and that was it. And now we're standing here at World Cup and I'm even winning it. It's crazy. And now, Constance, you are our first GeoGuessr World Cup champion. Is there anything that you'd like to say to everybody at home and this amazing crowd that has carried this auditorium throughout the day? I mean, I hope you all enjoyed the show and uh, that's it. One last time, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in here and at home, make noise for the legend himself. It is Constance! will be the first to write his name in the Hall of Champions for GeoGuessr, but he most certainly will not be the last. He's certainly set a high water mark for a lot to reach and given a great demonstration of GeoGuessr skills. It's been a joy hosting this tournament with you all, and while our players have been a special part of it on stage today, there's more players that we saw yesterday, 24 of them, in fact, that came out to compete. Let's take one last look at the bracket and enjoy their names again. All of them putting so much effort into this tournament. Quarterfinals is who you saw today. Started off with four incredible matches. Ended with one for the books. Truly all, truly all incredible, incredible matches to watch throughout this entire day. So much excitement, so many incredible guesses, so many clip-worthy things, I'm sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
I feel like I was there, you know, while we were watching. I had my camera just ready to get every single round. But no, it's been absolutely insane. I think so many people, both here and just on the internet as a whole, have been really taken aback by how incredible a game this is and how exciting it can be as an esport. Perhaps back when it was first put together, just invented on a whim, they never would have thought that it was going to get to this point. Consus never would have thought that it was going to get to this point when he first ever clicked open GeoGuessr on his browser. And now look at this. It's just nuts. When he's racing around Italy later in the speed car. Yeah, when what? he's spending his he's on his car and jumps. Yep. <laughs> I hope he thinks of us. And I know I'll be thinking of this tournament for a long, long time. And a big part of that was thinking of you wonderful people who brought us all the information, all the entertainment all weekend long. It's been a pleasure hosting for you. My name has been Seltzer. I've had Geo and Bloom on the desk and on cast. We've got Rainbow, the incredible mind, and a huge part of making this tournament happen. Casting with Launders, who is getting smarter and scarier yeah, every he's, day. He's, he's yeah. going to be the champion next year. <laughs> and Geo Peter, you're the best of all of us. Thank you so much, Geo Guesser. Thank you, Black Molly Entertainment. And thank you, everyone, for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. And we hope you go out and join the Geo Guesser community. Welcome to Stockholm, Sweden. Welcome to the very first GeoGuessr World Cup. He said thought it, but this time he gets rewarded. <laughs> hey, Shout out to Google. That's my guy. Just a minute there, I Have you ever met Google? Him. He's excited. Yes. Damn it down. The nice Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Out on round two.
soy, pero todo me ha llevado a reconocer que de ti me he enamorado. Te quiero de verdad, te quiero de verdad, no importa lo que digan los demás. Te quiero de verdad, te quiero de verdad, por ti lo dejo todo sin duda. Te quiero de verdad, te quiero de verdad, amarte nunca fue casualidad. Te quiero de verdad, te quiero de verdad, contigo se acabó. Let's get it together. 